You cut them just simply. Hmm. Okay, it's been that long. No, no, no. Sonic doesn't hate me, but Santiago does. <laughs> oh, God. No, I said Santiago, not Santiago. Uh, Trio Smick, Mr. Plow, 92, uh, Plaza Phoenix, Low Power, and Blue Dino, thank you very much for the tier one. His Mexican non-union counterpart, yeah, is Santiago the Hedgehog. No, I'm doing this fine by spot. Thanks for asking. It's a Saturday night, you know. You know, the last time Sega made Sonic DLC for the express purpose of kicking their fan base to the dick, we had to pay for it. So this is an improvement. Yeah, I gotta say, it. I think. Out of every takeaway I can gather from my experience with the third update is thank fuck this is free because if it wasn't this would be impossible to get through without a bunch of shit flinging worse than it already is I should say oh my god uh, <laughs> let me let me let me unmute the microphone we're already getting started here okay yeah, there we go. Let me to the main feed. Yeah, I just wanted to switch over to this. Is this all right? Oh, wait, do I have Romani on the thing? Yeah, it's still Romani. I wasn't sure if it was Jonah or Romani. <laughs> yeah, because it does happen from time to time. Uh, okay. Because it's free, an invisible force field destroys all complaints. <laughs> oh, yeah, my well, God. Yeah, we grateful bastard. It's free. Why are you bitching? Jesus you fucking mean? Christ. Christ, folks. Like, I know this is a 14 stream. <laughs> but Let's I, I want to fucking rant so hard about the Frontiers DLC. <laughs> but I don't want to, uh, like, I don't want to get too much into the details because, you know, free or not, it's still just dropped and folks might be experiencing it now. Uh, but so, so the fun thing about, uh, Sonic Frontiers while revisiting it was so when I originally played the game uh, last year for the video I played it off the PlayStation 5 because that's the version I was committed to getting for myself uh, but then like on the same day I also purchased it on Steam because I figured uh, next Sonic hacking contest there's likely going to be some Frontiers mods so it's it's good th it's good to have just in case but you know what I'm also I think for the round two since I'm planning on replaying the game from scratch right with all the updates in tow uh, I'm gonna go play the Steam version because you know I played PS5 last time I'm gonna play Steam version so I play about two minutes of the Steam version before I decide to stop <laughs> because one I noticed that why are the cutscenes so low res like in the Steam version and also, did the environments always look this shitty? <laughs> the, the, the answer is yes, but you know, at, at least on like on consoles, I think it was better optimized so that it's not as obvious. So I stopped playing the Steam version. It's like, you know what? If, I, if, if push comes to shove for the Sonic hacking contest and I need to have like 100% save file, I'm pretty sure uh, I can get my hands on one just fine. So I went back to the PlayStation 5 version. But instead of starting a new file, uh, because curiosity got the best of me right then and there. I loaded up my old save file from last year where I had all the islands completed. So I played the game and immediately as soon as I load the file, it tells you, okay, uh, the the alternate ending story pathway is open if you want to head into it and start completing the new uh, challenge we have for you. So I just jumped right into it right then and there. And 
first off, I want to say, like, from the get-go, without really getting into all the details, the fact that we we, we uh, have a playable Amy Rose uh, Tails and Knuckles in a 3D environment, like, right out of, like, the fucking adventure days is great. You know, it is... That is a fantastic thing to see in action, and I'm happy that they're finally, you know, trying again instead of just saying, you fucking don't like the friends, this sort of bullshit. So it, I'm really happy that the devs are finally, like, taking them out and letting them stretch their limbs and all that sort of shit. Because this is, this is, clear, like, update three, if anything, is clearly a test bed for what they want to do with future games. But holy fuck, dude, they got a lot of kinks to work out because this shit's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> the characters are fine. The maneuvers are fine. But the challenges that it comes with do everything in their power to highlight every fucking thing wrong with Frontiers' engine. And I'm not just talking about control and all that sort of thing i'm talking about the draw distance problem the level design problem the aesthetic problem this game the the update three is so ugly <laughs> like i can't fucking take my mind out of the fact that da -da 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 -da, fucking i got i got my flight as tails i'm flying to the next destination i wonder where i gotta go oh i didn't see it because it hasn't fucking popped into the screen yet Folks, that happens all the fucking time <laughs> in this game, especially with the flight characters. I think out of the three that's available, uh, I think I liked Amy the most because she's pretty, you know, no nonsense. She has a triple jump. She has a hover. Uh, she has a boost homing attack. She's got the whole nine yards. Amy is Amy rocks in this fucking update. Least favorite was probably Knuckles. And it's a shame because like, in terms of just basic exploration, Knuckles is fine, but they do things with him and his like his kit that just annoy the fucking shit out of me. Yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna spoiler free. I'm not gonna be getting into the nitty gritty of the content itself because it just came out, so don't worry about that. But in terms of just like base ass control, Knuckles could have been a whole lot better. You know what I fucking hate about Knuckles the most in update the uh, three DLC? Whenever you start a glide, he has to stop in place. And then start fucking gliding. You know who does that too? Tails. And it's like, folks, this ain't hard. You got it right in Adventure 1. <laughs> like, you fucking jump, you hit the button, and you whoosh. You fly immediately. But Tails, he has to fucking aim his tails downward first to get, like, to start revving up the boost. Like, he's about to take a mean as shit, right? And then he finally takes off, which is, okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. But Knuckles fucking pauses in place every goddamn time right before he starts a glide and the turning is so goddamn wide <laughs> why is the turning problem i had with frontiers and forces by the extent is accentuated so fucking hard here with some of these challenges but i can't get into it because some of you guys are still probably playing it for yourself all i can say is if you haven't done it already assuming you don't give a fuck about the difficulty change that shit to easy mode i am not kidding folks this shit is not fun <laughs> it is not fun there are there are glimmers of a great product here i know ultimately at the end of the day this update is just testing the bed to see what we can make good for the next you know mainline sonic game but as it is this shit worries me <laughs> yep um uh, they're frozen my camera froze <laughs> <laughs> why did my so camera cool. freeze <laughs> <laughs> you're talking shit about sonic Time this, look at that camera. man I'm, I'm talking about the size of your pee pee <laughs> it was this big. <laughs> that, and that was erect. Oh that my god! <laughs> Why did my camera freeze? You? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Maybe I can go to the. Fuck! If I deactivate, it, right? If I activate it again. Here, yeah, I would yeah, turn on and off. It's probably gonna <laughs> freeze again. I don't know why I did that. I believe the trees. Oh, the trees! <laughs> 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 Fuck! Oh, I, I I wish I could talk about shit, but I can't. 
<laughs> I can't, man. We're going to. It's the same thing with, as usual. We're going to give it two weeks before we talk about the updates and all sort of shit. Like, oh. <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> all right, folks. We're getting ready to start this session here. I'm almost done my coffee. It, my coffee is not in the, uh, the, the throw mug, so this shit will get uh, warm really fast. So I'm going to finish this up first before we get started. Uh, it's going to be a pretty chillax 14 session tonight, folks, because we're doing all the side content today. We're doing all the side dungeons uh, that were available. Yeah. And there's there's a number of them, but it's not, um, you know, it, it's not going to, it shouldn't take all fucking night. Uh, let's see. One, two. Yeah, warm really fast, as in dropping from piping hot to warm. Nothing makes me gross out more than lukewarm coffee. Uh, how about just below it? Hmm. And yeah, there's eight uh, side dungeons. Let's say they take about, what, 15 to 20 minutes? 15, most. 20 minutes a pop. A couple of hours. We'll be here. Uh, that sort of thing. Were you joining me with Zeal? Or are you just gonna. Uh, uh, I'll join you as Zeal. I'm currently at Oxon. That's where we are. I've unlocked the first one. Yeah. Uh, uh, send me did I mix. fucking do my gold saucer challenge logs at Romana yet? Let me see. Fucking. I yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay, good boy. All right. Man, I'm so happy I'm finished with that for now, but god damn. Yeah. I hate Leap of Faith. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, um, actually, let me go to the gold saucer real quick and see what's loading up. No, no. You know, I'm only I'm only I'm only gold saucer conscious now because like 6.5 is dropping in a couple of days, folks. Uh, mm -hmm. And they did confirm that the gold saucer shop is getting new triple triad cards. Oh, fuck, I'm back on my bullshit already <laughs> because they're dropping <laughs> yeah, four yeah. of that shit. Yeah, I got to I got to keep up to date. Like ever since ever since I grinded my ass off for the triple triad mount on my main character, folks, I've had this bug with triple triad. Now that when a new card get, drops, I have to have it immediately. I got to get it immediately. A new opponent drops. Light. Fuck the MSQ. Fuck the Alliance. Fuck Savage. I'm going to play some triple triad. In real life, it's Yukio. In 14, it's Triple Triad. Yeah. By the way, the Keeper's over here. Yeah, I know. I was testing you. Sure. What was it? <laughs> I, did, I did not fucking read what it was. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Uh, slice is right. Slice is right. Oh, okay. This is... Uh, I like doing this one. We're going to play this one real quick. We got five minutes to kill. We can start... We also, like, take this time to catch up with the chat and all that sort of thing. Because there's, there's, there's quite things happening in the next couple of weeks. And I want to see what you guys are... Uh, Looking forward to the most because October is looking pretty fucking packed content wise and just in terms of shit to play, you know, as a 14 guy, I got 6.5 coming out in a couple of days and that's going to be pretty good. We got Mario Wonder coming out this month. We got Sonic Superstars coming out this month. I think Spider-Man 2 is also this month. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, me uh, what else am I missing for? Just Spider-Man 2. Right. Oh yeah, fucking Mario Wonder it comes out the same day as uh, Spider-Man. Is that right? Am I reading that right? Uh, let's see, Mario God damn it! Two. Uh, so now I wonder. Yeah. No, I know where I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Mario first. Yeah, it's the quick, <laughs> it's the quicker game. Uh, Does it's that make me 20s. weird? I wonder. You got fucking Spider-Man no. two, and you got Mario Wonder, and I want to play Mario Wonder first. Because Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm not, not really shitting on Spider-Man too. It's just that I'm looking forward to Mario <laughs> Wonder more. You know. You hear, you heard here, people. He does like Spider-Man. He fucking, fucking hates Spider-Man. Fucking JJ here likes Mario Brothers more. <laughs> what I think about the teaser for the DMC anime? It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Man, I'm kind I'm of the... flummoxed by his design though, because Dante's design seems to be taking things from every incarnation of Dante. <laughs> like known to man, including the bad one. Yeah, fucking the amulet design is from DMC. So I mean, I hope it's good. Yeah, I mean they've been pretty on point with their animations, and I think the Devil May Cry will lend it well to that type of animation. Uh, I played God of War Ragnarok before Frontiers, despite me being a big Sonic fan, so you're not alone. I don't know why, uh, man, you know, I still have not fucking played any of the reboot, God of War. <laughs> uh, God of War 1 is really good, I recommend it, and also uh, I might be biased because it uses my old uh, mythology in it. Yeah. And they pay really good respect to it, like including the 
main villains, like how you defeat him, it yeah. makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. And I absolutely love it. So as an Icelander, I can yeah, just Yeah, because you're a fucking, as, as, a myth, as a myth buff. Buff. Yeah. Like, I love myths. Like no, that. that's good to hear. No, no, it's like, like, I know, like, when I'm getting into those games, like, I'm gonna, I'm in for a great time. It's just, I don't want to play them around. <laughs> they are long. I think that's my first playthrough of God of War uh, 2016. It took me around 50 hours. That was just me. I didn't even do everything. So if July had Barbaheimer, does that mean October has Wonder Man 2 or whatever it was best it was called? I don't I think we don't want to put too much effort in like making them like some sort of like poor man toe of names. I, I, I more like wonder if I'm going to have all the fucking time to play these games. I'm like, and the answer is not. No, I... If it, in terms of like new releases that I'm going to be making videos for, like right then and there, it's going to be Mario Wonder. It's going to be Sonic Superstars. Like I'm going to make a video on Spider-Man Two in due time, but it's just that that is probably going to be on the back burner for a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Well, let's see what else is coming out soonish. I know that Mario RPG is in November, right? Uh, yeah, I want to say Mario RPG remake is in November. Let's see. That gives me some time, at least, for at least, you know? Yeah. Let me relax. <laughs> you want to enjoy the holidays? Does too update bad. 3 affect the main story? Because I feel like it's been its own DLC story. Uh, it's an alternate ending, uh, Retro Foxhound. Without spoiling anything, it is an alternate pathway. My fucking camera froze again. What's going on? <laughs> Let's see. Um, Why is my camera fucking acting like a little ship now? It wants a race. And well, it's not going to get one. <laughs> then it just takes a book and you then just take a book and put on it. Let's see. Fuck it, man. I'm just going to leave it off. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to keep doing this shit while well, I'm about to go live, well, fuck it, what the hell? Uh, hmm. You should, you should just cut on. Chinese face <laughs> after playing update three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a little more with a furrowed eyebrow. Uh, and like uh, beat red eyes because I was high as shit last night, like playing this fucking game. And I mean, oh, Lord, uh, it was putting people to sleep, myself included. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, yeah, there's not a lot of big hits. Oh, you're left in off here. Uh, yeah. fuck me, man. I'm probably just gonna turn the camera off. Uh, right, Nick All Star Brawl 2 is also in November. <sighs> I'm really glad that they finally taken the time to finish the first game. <laughs> you know, they're <laughs> really happy for them. Uh, but no, like, 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 no shit. Like, Nick All Star Brawl Two does look like a genuine improvement in almost every sense of the word. So that, like, I'm happy that it, folks are excited for it. Let's see. Will I get bummed? Yeah, I know the camera froze again. I'm probably just going to disable if it's going to be an all day thing. I think I might know what the is the issue is, but. I don't, don't want to fucking fumble for like 10 minutes and leave you guys hanging for no fucking reason. Yep. Excuse me. Uh, I just wish they could have enough time to get all the veterans back. No, Adam Bomb. They do. They're just going to make you pay for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, here you go. This is my PNG uh, tuber. This is it. The PNG is me. <laughs> <laughs> it's frozen yeah, that, in that place. Is Actually, then it's like a badly added, I have to, like, yeah, actually, um, I think I, 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 consider my curiosity peaked. Are there PNG or VTubers that it's just a photo of themselves that moves like a VTuber? <laughs> I think there is. <laughs> I was just imagine it's just like someone badly animates your load, you all just come in, all mm. open and closing, and that's your PNG tuber. It's a stream, John. People hang around and wait, but I, I feel some sort of way about that psychotic gex, you know? Technical issues happen all the time. I'm well aware of that, but it's, you know, it's like, I don't fucking want to waste the... I don't want to get frustrated over this shit. Now, this is Slices Right. We showed this came off a couple of times in the one or two gold saucer streams that we had. And I like to consider myself pretty fucking decent at this game until we get to the spinning cups, and then it's just RNG. Well, unlike whatever the wind, where the wind blows, but it's just completely RNG. Yeah. One of my friends made a PNG thing of Yuji Daka after their ballast streams after he got arrested. <laughs> but he have like okay, bars so over the PNG graphic or some other shit. Oh, is he wearing those like white and red? Uh, yeah. Oh, he's wearing one of those orange jump suits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
Don't tell John that I stole the functionality of his face cam. Fucking right over there, officer. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> I there have you I have AFK in the center there and just die the moment uh, the first that's... bamboo spawned. Uh, this is point blank. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Eat shit. <laughs> You're cringe. <laughs> oh, these are two P. These are two point blanks. Yeah. Uh. You can you can. Uh, this is not just for you, but this goes for the chat too. You can tell which way the bamboo is going to fall based on the slice. Uh, when it's when it's a singular diagonal slice like that, that means it's gonna fall on one side. If oh, it's God, sliced, it. if it's sliced down the middle, it's gonna split in half. If it's sliced all over the fucking place, it's go it's a point blank AOE. So just don't be near it. Oh boy, do I risk it? Uh, uh yeah, you can risk it. You mean risk going for two? Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Fuck! No. <laughs> <laughs> it's my ass, you fucking dog. No, okay, no, I'm not no, gonna no, no, no. <laughs> He's coming Shit. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't grab it. I didn't get. That's the first time in a long time I didn't get shit from that. You know, every time I try to get it, I just get. Oh, yeah. Uh, these are uh -oh. halves, so uh, like. Right yeah, here. I think we should plan here. Yeah. I think. I think a lot of things. Uh, point blank on the left. So over here. Gotta go over here. Yeah, this is where Put it gets it. me. Uh, point blank, uh, both. Move that over here. Please don't. There we go. Oh wow, that was close. Oh, uh, that is half. Point blank again. Here. No wait, oh that one's gonna fall in half. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, okay, so this is this this uh, the, the cup spinning is RNG. Like you either get it or you don't. It's a thirty-three percent chance. No, a sixty-six percent chance of moving on because only one is wrong. It's the dog. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, don't try to follow these. I do. This is the part I hate. I think that I think it's this one. You're gonna run to the other side, aren't you? Probably. Coward. No, no, I'm committed. I'm gonna sweep. Are you? If I die. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are following me. <laughs> I was following Zeal. <laughs> well done. I was following Armani. Oh shit. What's the dog doing? Oh well, that poor fuck is getting disconnected and yet doesn't get blown away. Uh, I don't think they were in the game in the first place. Which is why they're just ignoring everything. Because this should like fucking just dink them. Ow. Oh, Joaquim's still in the game though. You got a Joaquim. Go ahead, walk in. You got it. I think this is the last one. I think so. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. One more. <laughs> this is it. Don't panic. Don't don't have a stroke. Don't have a stroke. You got it, baby. Hey. Miles of Congratulations. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Uh, would you like to join me for a trial in Normal Raid real quick? Yeah, sure. Okay. You too, Joaquin. <laughs> you won. This is your prize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys would like to join me for a trial or Normal Raid roulette real quick, uh, you can just surround me, I guess, and fucking... Let me just summon this up. Stop moving. I can't invite you. <laughs> Get the damn tapeworm out of your ass. There we go. Oh no, there's too many people here. I mean, I can swap to a healer. I don't um, want to, but I can swap to a healer. Here, I'll call him you too. Oh, we got two spots open. How do I know they're watching the stream? Fucking, uh... Let's see, is Aaron watching the stream? I don't know. Aaron, if you're watching the stream, give me a bow. <laughs> <laughs> He's being very subtle about okay, it. Okay, okay, yeah, they are, they, they are. Sorry, I don't know like who's watching the stream or not. Like, all right, you can. I'm going to give you a, a stream too. Okay, I'll just swap over to a healer. Hey, Silver, how's it going? 
Greetings, I may not watch much, but 64 months, let's go. Thank you very much for the uh, support, Silver. Also, um, fucking... It was funny as shit that you were involved in the, the fucking Alliance shenanigans over a couple of days ago. We got Puppet Spunker for an Alliance Roulette, and I was doing that with a couple of friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, fucking Alliance B did the funny haha thing, and they aimed their stack laser at us and killed everybody. Oh, God. Uh, and we did the same shit afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Like, well, yeah, fuck no, you. No. No, yeah, the yeah. camera broke. So um, yeah, like let me fucking actually. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna replace it with an image for tonight. Let me. Uh, what do I have? Mm, good question. I have a lot of memes, but nothing. Wait, hold on. <laughs> do I want to do that again? I Johnny reaction. Just put that. Actually, wow, you can't. Oh uh, uh, fucking. Yeah, you know what? Let's, you let's, like, let, let's bring this back. One second. <laughs> Just gonna bring that back for tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit off though. No, oh. no, no it, it's it's fine. <laughs> you squatch his face out next time. I'll remember that next time, Santiago. Mm -hmm. All right, let me do a ray check. Make sure everyone's good to go. All right. That's hot. Where'd you get that picture of Linky? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm already halfway to V tubing. It's great. Yeah, he's now a pillow. All right. Uh, there you go. Oh, no, what? What the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, that? That's his modeling career. All right, let's go. By the way, I'm doing this with color, and I fucking hate playing with color. Oh wait, shit! Uh, I'm his monk. I, I didn't mean I, like to, I didn't mean to go as monk. Hey, is that a banana in your pants, or is that a Nicolas Cage? Just <laughs> what? <laughs> Gotta get the MW. Oh well. Uh, what is the uh, Mortal Kombat one Quan Chi kill them face, uh, Santiago? I did have to get Mogul Mark. I mean. I guess it's the closest we get to a Halloween thing. <laughs> yeah, happy October, but it's not October yet. Yeah, I don't it's know. not October uh, yet. In, <laughs> in, in, 30, in 30 minutes, it yeah, will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, hold on. It's, it's already October overseas. Not wrong. Yeah, uh, please. I, mean, I don't I'm want to be my the first. I have rent due. <laughs> I mean, I, I wanted to be the first. I'm getting my pay. And I also have rent due. I was in the middle of a battle where, yeah, what the fuck is the Jaws picture? Uh, my webcam's uh, doing that thing where it freezes. So uh, rather than taking the time to figure out why it's doing that, I'm just you know I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'll get some wrestling gifts. Oh, I still have the uh, Steve Austin and Eddie Guerrero one. If there's more you want to get me, go right ahead. Oh, I got pl I got one. <laughs> oh, you got plenty. I was like, ooh, I thought you'd never ask. I've been waiting for this moment for the past two weeks. Actually, so it's going to keep coming up. Maybe it's reduced that Switch version face of uh, Johnny Cage. That's my avatar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love that one. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's, you. it's not just Nick Cage, it's Nick Cage and a banana. Oh, I don't have any dancing on 24s. Uh, the only one we have the closest is... Oh, goddamn, it's too late. I guess I'll just do this. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, I did see that one, uh, Santiago. <laughs> that edit of uh, Quad Chi for Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah, uh, fucking... Uh, I saw an edit uh, image of where it's uh, Quan Chi's finger inside Shang Tsung's mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what class job is John again? I'm playing Monk. Uh, this is uh, this is Romani's main job, uh, but for Heaven's Sword, I want Dragoon. And I, I just forgot to switch to Dragoon. But it's okay, I love Monk. Monk is fun. Very fun. It's very oh, active. There's, an Andre, there's yeah. an Andre the Giant one. <laughs> I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm not moving. 
I'm casting heals. Will I, I swap I the samurai it. for Stormblood? That nope. Uh, Stormblood's good. Like the, like, I mean, Heaven Sword is the only sort of exception where I'm like actively leveling up the the the, the job of the expansion Covers, because uh, the cover, yeah, the, 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 the cover, cover job, job of the expansion essentially. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck I was struggling to think of that word, but um, because uh, with a uh, Stormblood, I'm gonna be leveling up Dancer and Shadowbringers, I'm gonna be leveling up Sage because oh. the idea is to have uh, a, a job in every major role. Uh, by the uh, by, the beginning of Ann Walker. Yeah, I've been focusing on that as well. Uh, this is why the tank buster, the tank uh, stack is coming up. I should be finding Walnut. There we go. Done. Excellent day. Is there ever a point where you're starred for EXP? No, not really. Because they cranked up MSQ experience so big that you should never ever be level locked out of something. Yeah. I have, I've had it happen to me a couple of times, like uh, like in Stormblood and Shadowbringers, but the game has been updated since then, you know? But like even yeah, then, it was like, okay, that just means, all right, go run like two more dungeons, yeah. usually. Or, or, dungeons a couple, or a couple of fates, you know? Yeah. It's really not that big of a what this game is really not that grind heavy, unless the the only grind heavy things are just like your weeklies and like tombstones, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was perfectly timed. Thank <laughs> God. No, just a, just a funny little funny little thing that happened there. Don't laugh at me. Oh, that also means that if you're on the free trial, you hit you risk hitting the level cap and wasting EXP. At the same time, though, you're on the free trial. <laughs> so it's, it's like you're not paying for it in the first place, I guess, is the, their justification for it. You know, and uh, fucking 6.5, couple of days. They're adding Stormblood to the free trial. Mm hmm. Then you get Samurai and Red Mates. Both yeah. really fun jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, fucking uh, ultimate raids are going to be locked out of the free trial, though. So. Uh, any of those that had the hopes of becoming budget legends, uh, sorry to say, they're locking out ultimate raids. But you still will be able, they'll be able to do Eureka, I think. Do so if you really want like a, if you want a challenging uh, like piece of content, uh, fucking do Bob Destiny and Arsenal Savage. I was gonna, I was gonna say you're in, you're in Storm's Blood and you haven't bought the like the actual full game yet. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> At that point, just I'm pretty sure it. by the end of Heaven's Ward, you probably know if you're gonna continue playing the game or not. Mm -hmm. I kind of did a free trial back in the day until level 30, and I got first today that I was locked behind a goddamn gate. It's well, I do Eureka? Yes, I'm doing everything with this character. Um, Yak. Um, actually, because it's also October and uh, starting tomorrow, uh, I think my next stream after this one, we're going to start Palace of the Dead. Godspeed. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> uh, vanilla uh, Palace of the Dead is really no problem at all. Yeah. That's the, it's more when you start going into the post level, level floor one hundred stuff. Yeah, where everything just it, everything is now not fun anymore. It's we're in serious mode because yeah. we actually want to make serious prog, and then we DC uh, and <laughs> lose all our progress anyway. <sighs> oh, that or you some or you step on a mine and everything notices you. And yeah. Just decides, Fuck you. Yeah, you sure as shit. I speak from experience. That happened with me in Orthos. Fucking hated that. Man. Heaven, heaven on high. Uh, no, I never had it on heaven on high. I never had it happen on Palace of the Dead either. Orthos was my first DC that just wiped out my fucking progress. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're definitely skipping here. Slap his little lily face. Yeah, because it's already oh, fucking cool. 42. Ah, uh, this is a mechanic that I absolutely fucking fell in love with. <laughs> what, the active type of it? It's so easy, yeah. though, too, because all you gotta do is hit a button. Like every, every, I, I shit you not, guys. Every time you see an active time maneuver, all you gotta do is hit any button on your keyboard, your mouse, or your controller. 
You don't have to um you don't have to mouse over this gray button that you see here. I'm gonna show you right now. See this gray button right here? Yeah. You don't just have to hit that. You can hit any button on your controller, yeah. your mouse, your keyboard, and it counts. Yeah. When I and people, still have, and people still have issue with that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because it's not clear. You know, because they see that they see the big gray button, right? So if your mouse and keyboard, like you think, okay, I'm just gonna click this. Oh shit, they want me to mash it for this thing. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna keep mashing it. And I was like, I mean, you can do it that way. Sure, if it gets your results, go right ahead. But you make it much, much easier on yourself. I fucking did Celestial Revolution. That's cringe. Uh, you make it much easier on yourself if you just go ham on every button. It, it makes every ATE button mash a non-issue. Attack oh, the okay, shield okay. from the front. I just remember when, like, this when this came out, and people were like, "I don't know what to do." It was like, you just press the button. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing mouse and keyboard. Just press, just press any button. Like, just press any key. I don't know where the any key is. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Which like that turn to start. It's almost turn out to turn and see the sacrifice. So right. won't be. So the funny thing is now, who's gonna die to this optical side coming up? Whoever gets the prey marker. I hope it's me. You wish misery upon yourself. Um, oh no, guys, we're fucking, we're kicking it. Oh, it's me. Give me a hug. No, me get away from me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, there's also the problem on PC where you accidentally press the enter button and then you're typing instead of like actually. Oh, I've the done button. that before. I fucking failed yeah. the uh, 5.3 trial because of that shit. <laughs> and I can't imagine that. God damn it, man! Like, oh god, I hope they. I don't want to get into the like now, but I hope they fucking change that fight. Because <laughs> every time I get that fight in a trial, there's a sense of dread. I mean, there's an easy way to fix that. Uh, how do? You, what do you? What do you mean? Uh, just play on uh, controller. Oh, okay. I mean, that sometimes happens to me when I'm when I'm doing oh, certain trials. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> oh, did you see the picture? There's no. Uh, there is something I have to. There is something I have to change real quick. Uh, give me a second, mm -hmm. folks. <laughs> RS Ray caught it too. Uh, give me a second. I forgot okay, I got yeah. a couple of dances on that are modded. No, it's not a nudie mod. I don't fuck with my character. Why the fuck? No. Oh, God, don't tell me it's the one I think Hello, it is. Hello, police? Uh, no, uh, I have three mods that are, I have three dances that are mod. If they're funny, haha, -ha, like Fortnite, like pen, uh, fucking uh, PUBG mods, you know, like the gritty and that sort of shit. But uh, I don't want to risk it <laughs> uh, while we're streaming. So let me just turn those off real quick. Yeah, there, there are a lot of mods for this game, like, and they're yeah. really they're really easy to find. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to uh, report to John. <laughs> yeah, report to John because he, he's uh, definitely because breaking I'm the, a TOS. I'm the, cap I'm the captain. Captain, I'm reporting everything that you did to yourself. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Is it that bad? Oh, you know. <laughs> uh, let's just say uh, you'll be lucky if you ever see a blue sky again. Default dance on the final boss of Ed Walker. I mean, you could do that. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend streaming yourself while you do it. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, Square is here. Oh, you've been demoted. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Be... Uh, I gave you like two more gifts. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Uh, fucking, what am I going to use now? Are you supposed to unmute it? Uh, images uh, for your screen. Oh, images for screen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, do I, do I have that Disco Inferno one? Yes, I do. I, <laughs> I, think, already, I, think, uh, I yeah. think I've posted the Disco yeah, Inferno yeah. one <laughs> It's such a good one. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking man, that's not even a wrestler. That's just me in a suit, <laughs> like in the background. <laughs> Thinking they know shit about wrestling. All right, hold on a second. Fucking, my camera's still frozen. This is horse shit, dude. I mean, I also got a somewhat topical one, I guess. All right. Uh, this is fuck? fucking quality content. There we go. Oh, leap of face up too. <laughs> so this is perfect. Come on, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! It was still the 
out of everything from a final cut um, uh, gate, it had to be the fucking leap of faith. I think I'm pretty sure I yelled about doing that. All right, let's get in here. Why well, is everyone joining me? <laughs> you guys don't have to do this. <laughs> Which one is it? Is it self? Uh, let's don't me tell see. me it's the self one. It's the self one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the worst one is when you have to jump on the acorns. I hope this is. I hope this loadout is not miserable. I the, there was one layout with uh, this course that was just so dog shit that I did not finish mm -hmm. it. I think I think I also got into that one. I managed to get like through most of it in one go. Yeah. Hold on. Oh god damn it! I missed the character that I just wasn't able to clear the same place for three minutes and then. Uh, out of time. Yeah, the fucking uh, the Fall Guys course for 14 should be releasing within the next patch. It's not; it won't be available this coming Tuesday when the patch drops. But mm -hmm. we may not be waiting very long for it. Yeah, mm, that's so Although, topical after what just happened. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that, 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 that's it's kind of fucked up, right? Because we got the fucking Fall Guys thing coming out after we like we'd get in learning that a lot of the fucking staff was oh, laid fuck. off. Yeah, I think that pretty much the entire I think that the entire studio got laid off. I, no, no, it wasn't the entire it studio. Just, it was like it uh, wasn't entire, It was just uh, well, a lot of people got laid off of uh, anyone that was owned by Epic, apparently. Yeah. Uh, because all of you guys in chat did not buy enough uh, Fortnite skins and dances, so shame <laughs> on you. It's all your fault. <laughs> I don't even play Fortnite. Much to see? my student. See, there you go. There just you because go. of that, trio, you, made, that, you made us do fucking fall. taking yeah. away fall, fall guys, sp specifically. Well, it's autumn right now. Never mind them, like literally, like buying Fuck. others, like a lot of other studios and shit. Yeah, no, definitely not. That, that. and that and also like buying their exclusivities and all that stuff. No, 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 no. The CEOs are rich; they probably do nothing wrong. Rich people don't do anything wrong, right? I'm actually making through this without fucking. It is kind of funny that like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD is come up. Uh, the new one and two is coming to Steam. Yeah. After their studio got for, uh, was forced to be merged into uh, Blizzard. Ugh. We man, talk about a company that went from one of my favorites to being the absolute worst in a span of two years. Let's see, where am I right now? Uh, you're in the Southlands. Leave of faith. Oh, okay. Alright, guys, this doesn't roll off the tongue, honestly. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Okay, my GPS will tell me I'm currently in Ulda. Hmm. And every every time I go to a different country, I kind of have to reset my GPS on my phone just so it remembers that I'm not somewhere. It doesn't automatically do it for you? Uh, my old phone. My new one does, does that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that's fucking your old phone turns out to be like a brick from like a car in the 80s. Yeah. I mean, when I was in Paris, it was part of the reason I got lost because of the complex and the damn thing was just messed up. So, if I was facing west, it would make, point me southeast. Fuck. Oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. Just... The way, Andre gift going... is really appropriate for this fucking shit. <laughs> no, damn, no. Man. And this uh, shit's still fuck. easier than the Frontier shit. <laughs> <laughs> How did that go last night, by the uh, way? I don't want to get too into it because we have a two-week spoiler like threshold for streams. Uh, oh, did you beat it? The, yes, I did beat it. Like eventually, I did okay. beat it, but I was fucking miserable for the whole way through. Yeah, uh, did, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, John, just to give you a heads up, my roommate had the same issue you had. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one for this kind of shit, man. <laughs> Good. Someone else is suffering. Well, he was also stuck in a forever loading screen. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. Where are we going? Oh, this okay, one. I'm done. I'm waiting for you by the entrance. Please get over here. You can leave. <laughs> yeah, but what's the fun in that? I could do the other jumping puzzle challenge that once I did tried to do and kind of screwed me over. Fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> PTSD is added, coming in. Oh no, infinite in, in Frontiers, well you can mod him in. Well, you can mod anything in Frontiers, that'll be fair. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I was supposed to. I was just going to replay the game again from front to end uh, on the Steam version. I ended up not doing that. I just have it now just in case the this year's Sonic Hacking Contest has Frontiers mods. Considering the way that Warzone is acting and is optimized, I'm honestly surprised that it hasn't been downloaded to hell and back. Actually, I'm going to go check out what the... Uh, what's I mean, it, it has the Nuvo, so that's been having issues with people. Why do I have so many Sonic games? Yeah, I bought the PC version as well. I got to turn off names so I can better see myself. Although I just caught a Steam version su uh, suffers from pop in. Isn't that just every That's Sonic every version. version? That is That's every, every version. version. <laughs> and that, and that pop in is um, N64 yeah. levels of shit. No, that's an insult to N64. At least N64, N64, the graphics would fade in. Uh, so S Saturn. Yes. Kind of. Why, <laughs> yeah. why is it said that very positive? Fuck me. Because I love the Saturn, but goddamn, like, Daytona USA on Saturn fucking is pretty bad. Mm hmm. Oh, you're gonna do that one. Okay. Don't fall down now. I mean, this is. Not that hard. Yeah, and you know, then I managed to fall off there. Done. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I'm asleep. Now oh, the attention span of a gnat. Is update three the final update? Because I'd be surprised if they patched some things. Uh, update three is the final update. Um, to as far as we're aware, I think it is. Um, but in terms of like stability patches, outside of like a couple of quality of life updates, no, the game is still pretty like unoptimized as it was when it originally released. Again, the most egregious thing is the fucking pop up. Like it's still as bad as it was when it originally released. And so it's just the uh, that's just how the game is now. Uh, okay, um, let's get started on the optional uh, side dungeons. Uh, do we have a list of like order of release? Uh, I I have it up here. Right? Yeah. So what's to... what's what's first? Hey, never reap. You have to go to Oak soon to get uh, the Sea of Clouds. Yeah. Okay. And the one you want to find is reap what you show. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna teleport there. I've already gotten all of the quests to open, I just haven't done any of these yet. <laughs> Did anyone notice Salt X moving its release date to avoid cop uh, avoid competing against FNAF? Yeah, Ellie was telling me about that earlier as well. And it's the, the it's the funniest shit. He's actually gonna go this week to go see it too. Uh Salt X, I mean. Oh, it, it doesn't happen in space. Please tell me it happens in space. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, reap what you sow. Oh, uh, great. It's going to be Jason X all over again. <laughs> That's exactly what I was referencing. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Ray is hounding me. It's like, I want that party invite. <laughs> <laughs> Let me smell your skin. Oh, no. Hold on. Okay, wait. I opened that request, which was a mistake because now I don't rem remember where the fucking thing was. Uh, does anybody else have an issue with the Discord for some reason? It listed in my app anymore. And my account is synced and current. It might be um, it might be some app, the aftermath of the fucking shit that was happening with Discord yesterday. Yeah. Uh, because Discord, I think, I don't remember the exact issue was. It has something to do with Cloudflare or something going uh, out it, of whack, or it got DDoSed. It got DDoSed, and yeah. it took him a while to fix that. I don't think I'm kind of surprised when I woke up and saw that shit. Hmm. But yeah, it basically said that you were blocked because of just... A lot of people were trying to, of course, go back into Discord after the problem got resolved. It resulted in another set of problems. Too much traffic. The Garland bike? I'm assuming you're talking about the two-seater with Alpha in the... Uh in the passenger seat. It's cute. It's 35 fucking dollars, but uh it's cute. 
And you bought it. It's a small price to pay to have a chocobo racing. Yeah, weapons. yeah. I mean, yeah. Like I, I'm speaking as someone who bought the the bike. You know, so you know, not not cast in judgment, but it's also like, you know, like I I got it and I rode it for a little bit and I just want to go back to my gob walker and my crab. <laughs> you know how many of these fucking big shell crabs I've farmed with the, the with the damn Moogle tomes? Like, uh, I got the big shell for myself because this is an Ish Guardian restoration mount, uh, if I recall correctly. I already had this on my main character. Same here. But it's a it's a mount that you can sell or trade with other folks. So once I saw that that was available, I started farming tomes and just getting big shells and putting them on the market board. I made like three million on big shells alone. <laughs> yep. You really want that big sale. Time for crab. All right, so we have unlocked Never Reap. Uh, Trail Scooter. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, here. Zeal. Why, hello there. You're more popular, hotter <laughs> cousin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sister, actually, but. Uh, sister, okay, never mind. Mm. Uh, That's the end of I know you're coming with me as well. Look at this lazy uh, motherfucker in the Because in the fucking uh, Ray was stalking me earlier, we'll invite him to. <laughs> Uh, well, we need a healer though, so one of you guys is gonna right. have to switch. Yeah. Alright, done. Du -du 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 -du. Alright, I'm doing a ray check. Du -du 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 -du. Okay then. Du -du 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 -du. There's a magic bed mount? Yes. Uh, this is, well, this is the, um, this is the second bed mount. This is no. that, this is you get from faux leaves, I think, uh, for the unreal stuff. There's this the other bed though is one you get for treasures, uh, treasure maps. Yeah. That reminds me, I need to make one for Seal and the chair. I, yeah. love, I love the floating chair. Oh, the, the floating chair is, is is like honestly the best thing. All right, so this is our first optional dungeon. There's a never reap. I don't remember the story behind this one. Uh, there's something. Uh, but I just do know we we'll, we'll gotta go complete it. So just do it. I do know that it has a really nice sword in the boulder, boulder and sword. It's a great night sword that is. Yeah. Great night. Dark night. Ugh. Yeah. I remember uh, when the first time I did, uh, went through this place, uh, I got... Some snake is being a jerk. Go yeah. kill it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Get yep. ready to but throw going... hands! <laughs> yeah, but uh, the magic children's bed you can also get from Three Lines and Wondrous Tales. Oh, okay. So I'm never getting okay. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, we got some DMW'd. Who got DMV? We got one DMV. Ray. Ray, why did you get DMV'd? I'm going to be doing this as a sum just because the other things were bounced. But yeah, some people gave me shit in here because I wouldn't give their monk the tank gear when I was the tank. I was like, then you should have joined the other tank. The fuck? Yeah, I was going to say. Like, if you're fucking, if you want to request loot to join a fixed party, run it unsynced. Oh, all three, three of them were in a fake party, not the tank. No one wants to play tank. Well, yeah, I have tank anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Tanking is my passion. Oh, I'm being attacked by birds. I tank birds. for the lore, not for the actual <laughs> tanking. <laughs> Provoke? That's not something my character would do. I don't provoke, I serve my duty. Okay. How's it going, Lucy? It's doggo walking hour. Uh, what isn't it like anyone? That, any dog owners like in the chat specifically? Like, how often do you take your dogs out for a walk, like per day? Because I know it's like that's a daily, that's a daily fucking task. Uh, we just throw the potato into the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go nuts. <laughs> it's like, honey, I'm gonna go walk the dog. <laughs> I mean, her dog is so small that the whole backyard is like fucking gigantic to her. Yeah. So she gets her exercise through that. Uh, one per two days. Okay, okay. Oh. Uh, I chose the right class. Oh wait, shit! I gotta put oh, the damage uh, thing on me because Dragoon's AOE game is fucking garbage until Stormblood. Yeah. Even no, not then... even. Uh, yeah, yeah, Stormblood, Stormblood, because. Uh, like, yeah, I don't no, know, like, don't... I, like, I know Dragoon's getting reworked in 7.0, and, like, I'm a little nervous about that because I think Dragoon is just fine as it is, except for the mm -hmm. AoE stuff. Like, if there's if there's one thing that needs to be overhauled dramatically for Dragoon, it's their AoE game. 
because they don't fuck they don't get their first attack until level 40. Like level yep. fucking 40, dude. Like until then you're just doing single target actions for giant mobs and all that sort of thing. And then they don't get their second AoE until like 22 levels afterwards. Doom spike back 62. In my, back in my day we used to have a pole dance and they said no. <laughs> there was the pole dance and then you could not ask Corthus what was it called again? Well, it's basically uh, the third. I know what you're talking about, but the name yeah. uh, eludes me. Well, you could open the skill list and check it out there. Just give them their attack so Yeah, I mean, that's literally all you gotta do, is just give them the AoE much earlier than what they do now, because as it is, this shit sucks. That's but everything else, like, but, but in terms of, like, single target stuff, like, Dragoon is top. Like, I, I love Dragoon. Dragoon is great. Although I do, I, I have really come around with uh, Reaper, too. But that's more for my main really? character. I love Reaper so much. Yeah, Reaper's, Reaper's pretty fucking nice. I, I love how fast it is, despite the fact that like it's a it, it's a maiming class, so it's not as it's not mm. as speedy as monk or samurai. Uh, mm. But you know, I I like it when a class doesn't have that much speed because it makes double weaving things easier. You know, it's kind of the problem I have with monk and samurai is like if I if I want to double weave, like I got to make sure I, I have a certain amount of skill speed to make it possible. Or dark knight. Yeah. Uh, even at one point, you have to triple weaver start night. All right, we have Got to him. fucking kill an ad here. No, no, we have to yeah, find them in the darkness. Here. Are they? Okay, yeah, they're. If I recall yeah. correctly, there was a glitch with this fight. How so? Uh, when it launched, uh, if you can, f if you like, bring down your draw distance, you can see where they are. <laughs> mm. uh, but I'm pretty sure that was like patch like day two. Oh, okay. Uh, so they took the fun out of it. Black may just make you feel like an unstoppable god when you do damage and move at the same yeah. time. Well, I mean, when you're fucking. Uh when you're uh, using Xenoglossy just for the sake of doing damage while you're moving to like the safe spot, like that in itself feels good. Um, I was talking about it though earlier where Black Mage used to be my favorite DPS in general, but I kind of fell off of it, uh, especially like towards the beginning of, uh, like the end of Shadowbringers and the beginning of Endwalker, because the damage doesn't lie, right? Mm -hmm. The numbers don't lie and, and they spell sacrifice they spell for you. They spell disaster for you. Yeah, <laughs> they spell disaster for you. Sacrifice. But, um, mm -hmm. Um, I don't. I, I've actually, I've, I've actually grown a dislike for how rigid it feels. Because yeah. honestly, because like, Black Mage is always a turret. Like it is the selfish magical DPS that's a turret, and you, you cannot afford to move that much. Um, it, but it's not even so much that. It's also just like the the cast time of the spells, like back to back, um, and I I just don't feel as good playing it now that I, I used to. And I, I, I think mean, it's I hate. I think it's just because I mean, I've grown accustomed to other jobs. It's like, I, I wish it had this and this or that class, you know? I mean, I hate saying this, but you know, all classes are like, they say all classes are created equal, but we all know, in fact, that statement is not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I hate saying yeah. that because that's actually true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, one class I've really come around to for Endwalker is Summoner. I actually have a lot of fun with it now. Playing Black I mean, Mage, I feel amazing. Then I place down my Ley Lines and AoE immediately is on top of it. And it's like, it's one of those lingering AoEs too. So it's like, leaves like a shit puddle. It's like, I'm not leaving the fucking Ley Lines here. Where you put them down? I mean, remember how fucking like, remember how OP like launch Samurai was? Yeah. Just all the fucking damage it was able to do? Yeah. So for of that, they, they removed crit. <laughs> I think, and also oh, red. Oh man, a, 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 a lot of jokes that I regret making back in the day. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, Dude, maybe the black like mages Sam with rollerblades. At least they added like the ability to teleport to your ley lines later. Yeah, between the lines is a legit great skill. Honestly, triple cast is a fantastic skill, and but like by fucking yeah. like Shadowbringers, you get two charges of that shit. Mm hmm. So it's like six casts where you you don't have to worry about like cast times and shit. Blue Dino's about to die. I hope you got benediction. Uh, does this work? No. 
God damn it, Radiant Age just doesn't, it doesn't work on him. Oh, sorry. These bees are still alive. And again, I can't say real. I can't really say much with the current classes because I've been out of the game for over like two years now. So, hmm. I think you'd like Reaper. Yeah, and that's what that's what a lot of my friends are telling me. I'm interested to see the dragoon work because I've been a dragoon main since yeah I played the game. So I'm curious to see that. I was never too bothered by the dragoon changes. The only class that I was bothered by changes was funny enough Dark Knight. And that was the only one, like, when the Stormblood changes hits, I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> I don't know a who lot you of are anymore. <laughs> a lot of people said that back then. I, I mean, but Dark Knight's slowly it. losing its job identity has been an ongoing issue since Stormblood. Yeah. Uh, where now the, it's just... The thing it, is, they, it's had, just, they, had it fine in, they had it fine in Heaven's Ward. Uh, debatable, I'd never liked Dark Arts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, lot, it's, it's a lot easier to deal with now that they got rid of the Dark Arts plan. I'll agree, agree on there, buddy. Yeah, it's it just it's get good with your MP management. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh, kiss my ass! I rated. And I say that you and I and I think and I think you're a fucking bootlicker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, no. On a serious note, I I do think they need to work on giving back Dark Knight some of its job identity back. Besides, I feel in just like edgy warrior. You know, now as a warrior main, that doesn't bother me too much. But there's obviously there's a bias in that when I say that. Uh, Sacred Totem. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, fucking, yeah uh, we have to spread them around and. Yeah, okay, we have to get them out of here. Okay. You know, I haven't been in this dungeon for about three or four years. <laughs> yeah, so when he, um, when he cast, when he uh, sets those totems down, you gotta get those totems out of the uh, area of effect. The boss is completely immobile, so what you should be doing. It's just grabbing the um, totems and then just dragging them out. This is a bad idea, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, because oh, the, dear, because huh? the boss was placed on top of the other totems that we put down. Now this one's gonna get up. Now we have to kill the totem. Yeah, keep the boss away from the totems that we dropped. Okay, there we go. Also, the uh, the whole keyboard and mouse controller fight like never bothered me. What do you mean? Because depending on what class I played, I either played uh, every time I tanked, I always felt better tanking with a controller. Yeah. Uh, but any time I played DPS or healer, I had to play with keyboard. Oh, really? Like I never I never seen the argument extend to what type of controller you're using in terms of job identity and balance. You know, because I always like keyboard or mouse or controller. That shit's always preference. I don't think it really has an effect on like how you uh, how a job plays. Because it's just a matter of comfortability at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it depends. It, like for, for me, it always depends. Because every time I went tanking, I always felt like I, I'm feeling more like that's more action yeah. style in a way. Like the because moment someone tells me the that and... the, the moment someone tells me that if you want to get the most out of your warrior, if you want to get those 99 parses, you got to switch the controller. And I'm going to tell them right to their face, you're full of shit. <laughs> it's a fucking it's it's a matter of being comfortable. Well, the first problem there is listening to people who talk about parsing. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're uh -huh. absolutely right. Thankfully, that's kind of been reduced. Which it is, which it is very tempting to go back to fourteen now that I have a proper gaming mouse and gaming keyboard with like proper shortcuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I've been. Oh yeah. I no stop it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how you got that. It was fucking hilarious. I you're good at guitar here. Have a gaming, have a gaming keyboard and mouse. Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean. I, uh, after playing the game so long with people, I can't imagine myself using a controller. Probably I've would tried be better like times. Because I have a setup before my class and stuff that I have to use. I love, now you see oh. fucking Lackwee. I don't know how. I don't know how fucking how folks play with those macro key like macro mouses that have like fucking ten buttons on the side. Yeah. Like so, because because I'm sure that shit becomes second nature. Like I got no doubt Pretty in my mind it. about that. But it's like, there are gaming, there are gaming shoelaces. It's called RGB shoelaces. We'll look it up. Huh? <laughs> okay. But uh, no, nah, man. Like the most I need for my mouse, like maybe four buttons at most, like a top and a bottom row. You know, I, I use um, I use the side buttons on my mouse for like miscellaneous actions like sprint, 
tank stance. Mm. Or, um, uh, I guess in the case of White Mage, a size. I'm weird like that. The Maasai one has six shortcut keys on the side, yeah. and then a programmable... Uh, I can program my ma my center mouse button yeah. to do stuff. Uh, and then I have six shortcut keys on my keyboard. I used to have. Like I used to be pretty big on like the keyboards that have like the six macro keys on the left side. Yeah. Um, right. For abilities, but it's also like after a while, I just kind of stopped using it, and I kind of just grew out of it. I feel like if, yeah. I feel like I might fat finger something if I actually yeah. would, like press like I don't know like. So no, I just I, I just hit the top row of numbers like as like by default. Yeah. I, I know the biggest problem seconds. I had with controller was using the W bar on controller. Uh, with controller, you you can map yourself to either holding L two and then R two first. Yeah. Like sw have different hot bars and stuff. There. Then they added the double tap the L uh, L one L two or R two to have a W uh, hot bar, mm -hmm. and that one worked fine. Yeah, I'm in the market to getting another chair for my for my office, but I'm not getting a fucking gamer chair. That shit hurts. Oh, but it looks on. cool. I don't care. Yeah. Don't you want to get the secret labs? Uh, well, it's a one top. Hey, remember, thank you for the bits. So, John, have you been following any news about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? I've been watching Maximilian do geek the hell out of it while recovering from COVID. Uh, first off, I hope you have a safe recovery. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for the bits. Uh, secondly, um, Rebirth is something I'm going to get day one anyway, so I really don't need to follow up on it. I'm excited for it, but I don't need to follow every bit of news. Because I, I, I don't trust I, I already know it's something I'm going to be getting day one. Yeah. The thing that I love most about it is just the memes that will be coming out of it. Yeah. The Segway... The Segway is probably the best one for me. <laughs> that and Red 13 on the... Uh, Red 13 on, on the... the Chocobo. Chocobo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than just some, like, rarely early trailers, you can't trust Square Enix. You can't. Yeah. They're trailers. <laughs> also, probably... Yeah, yeah, because they, they will just spoil everything. Oh, God. I'm still salty about the Kingdom Hearts one. Like, hey, yeah, like Terra become uh, Terra got a uh, acquainted with darkness. Oh, cool. I hope that's really early in the game because that would have been really bad. <laughs> what do you mean it's in the final half of the game? <laughs> oh, cool. You get to fight Genova at like really early on because it showed off in the trailer. Okay, this is the second to last fight of the game. Oh no! All right. Oh, no. Snake. Uh, yeah. Hold on, I got him. I got him. Another reason. To level up to oh wait, now it's after you. Good. Ow! I got hit by 74 degrees. Is that Celsius or is that uh, Fahrenheit? Oh, it's fucking, I'm fucking dying, man. Where's my pot? Oh, no. Where are my, oh, Where my are, potions are in my hot bar? Ah! How'd you take aggro? Uh, because um, Blue Dino fell off the pit. I got you. I got you. Hey, no, no, no. I'll raise him. You do something else. God damn it. Oh, there we go. Oh, like healers, go like healers raise. Just keep continue okay, DPSing. Fine. I'm gonna hit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> fine. Wait. Oh shit, I lost my charge. Think how oh, you no, have that small bit of invincibility when you wake up. Yeah. Yeah. The transcendence yeah. buff. When you are revived from KO status, when you get up, you will have a five second transcendence buff. Where you basically you're immune to everything so that you don't just immediately die when you get up. However, you lose it the moment you take an action. So when yeah. you get raised and you're in a dire circumstance and you need heals immediately, don't fucking click anything. Otherwise, you're going to lose the buff and you're going to die, right? Yeah. Like, By the way, stop. sprint is an action. Don't do it. Which is funny because like the transcendence buff, what it signifies was something that was always in the game. But we only recently got the transcendence buff as an icon just to make it really obvious. Yeah, because people dumb and don't know fuck. Yeah. So it's like, hey, dipshit. No read. And then the game, player base said no. Actually, speaking of trailers, though, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was me and my friend were talking about like Metal Gear commercials and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about the Metal Gear Solid Five trailers, how they kind of just showed off the big twist with uh, costing like, what about him? And it just zooms out to a guy like next to Big Boss. It's like, yeah. oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what, you wanted that to be... Great, that's great. That's... Yeah, this stuff is actually really pretty nice. Just, I'm, actually, like, I'm, I'm getting all, all the gear as I can right now, so I can trade these in for seals for the relic. Yeah, I was uh, totally I, I need them Because like, all the things that you can get with Poetics, I got already. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but all that stuff is the seal shit. 
Wait, um, yeah, so people. folks, if you're just tuning in, you're wondering, like, why the fuck is Andre a giant in my bottom left one? My camera's doing the fucky wucky again, uh, where it, oh. it, it froze, and I don't know why it's doing it. So in the meantime, I'm just replacing it with images. Uh, speaking of, let's change it up since we've got another dungeon coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's see. We next the next one. It, the you unlock it in the pillars. Oh, uh, the pillars. Okay, we'll be there in a second. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to jump quickly to idle share. I need to get some. Need to get some more materials, and I'll meet you at the pillars. And by the way, thanks, not thanks, not not a cut. I got no, a chair. You get a good bar, <laughs> no, I was just stretching. Sorry, I'm still recovering from this goddamn cold. I wonder what square excuse for Sora to get back to level one will be this time. Uh, it's called "We Don't Care." You're gonna buy the game anyway. He's out of shape. <laughs> Uh, what's gonna happen is he's gonna like start a retail job and that's where he loses all of his energy. Uh, to be fair, Namora really doesn't have full control of every person that's only Katase at the helm. Yeah, wasn't that always the case? Fucking, uh, Namora was the director of Remake, but like, he didn't write anything. That's uh, that's the beast trope. Yeah. Well, yeah, in the original but... 7, all he was was just the designer. Yeah, he was character designer. Katase yeah. was, the, yeah, like yeah. Katase was the main like helm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pillars, uh, what's, what's coming up next? Uh, it's... Is it uh, Fractal? Yeah, it's Fractal. Okay. So, take it is on uh, that. The uh, pillars. It's in the pillars. It's next to the, where the airship is. Well, of course people are just going to blame Namora. He's the one that's been, like... Like, just, like... That character designer. Uh, Namora. Like, alright, cool. What else? Like, he's the, he's the Kingdom Hearts guy. Alright, cool. Let's blame him. It's always, like, the yeah. main... Like person who's there to take like all the criticism, I guess. Like, uh, no, I don't think yeah. you know. The place in the blame solely on the Mora is silly. You don't do that. Oh no, but like when when people you they they usually go for like the main uh, director or producer. They show off like how people yeah. like to me on that's like it's Sakurai's doing pretty much all the work. Yeah. Well, in reality, he's just a director and stuff. It's not that one. No, no, okay, that's just MSQ. What the fuck? I I stickily went to MSQ. Um, uh, it it's, is, uh, that's Hildebrand, which we also have to do later. You know, um, it's probably here next to Oz's Law. Yeah. 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 It, it's that one. Because I was kind of trying to find it myself earlier. Yeah. It's like the, the same thing about use. It, it's not quite the same example because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's more of a higher role, but it's like blaming Sakurai for everything Smash Brothers, mm -hmm. you know, or at least praising uh, Sakurai for everything Smash Brothers. Well, it's like, you know, there's a whole team behind them too. <laughs> And thankfully, Nomura is no longer the scapegoat for ruining Final Fantasy. Now they're blaming Yoshida. Yoshi P. Yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> oh, good God. Fuck those people. What the? F when, like, the first thing I see on, like, the Final Fantasy subreddit, it's okay to not like 16. All right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. The fuck? Don't follow up on that. Just don't. Because you know that. You know that. You're just setting yourself up for a bad faith argument. You know, it's mm. like. Just fucking leave it as is and just keep playing the fucking game. You know, I'll be the first to say that Final Fantasy 16 came and went for me as well, Mick. I, I, I will agree. But I don't know. So some folks are really trying to fucking push it that, that, that this is the end all be all reason why Square's going to tank. And it's like, why? Because it wasn't Game of Thrones for you? <laughs> because you fucking do these fucking Dragon Ball shit? I was like, I don't know what to tell you guys, but Final Fantasy was always like this. I, like, yep. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, man. Anyway, we have to go to Asa's law. <laughs> 16's too political. <laughs> yeah, I miss the games where you play as an eco-terrorist. Huh? Ah, shit. Whoa, all about? right, hold on a second. All right, Aaron. Aaron. I know your heart's in the right place, but fuck the novice network. <laughs> 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 Wait, this one just uh, tell it to join the novice network. Oh, Lord, the fucking novice network chat is a cancer on earth <laughs> I yeah. want nothing to do with it and i'm speaking i'm speaking as a mentor a proud mentor on my main character i will gladly help a fellow out when they need help but that doesn't mean i need to hear everyone's problems <laughs> and what what people are because saying more often than not just... remove the novice chat is just an excuse for people to just make it another fucking 4chan board like, and I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Like, life's too short. 
<laughs> anyway, that's the wrong don't, don't, don't go there. But yeah, I was in there for a bit, and then I just noticed how. Yeah, I just noticed how people were acting like complete and utter bell ends. So I was like. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I've seen some pretty fun like things in the Novice Network. <laughs> uh, how do you leave? Uh, you create a new account. <laughs> no, I think you can just hit the gear icon on the bottom right and just choose to leave Novice Network. Yeah. Anyway, Fractal. Fractal Butthole. I do like this. I mean... Uh, it I mean, saying the whole 16 is a console exclusive doesn't mean jack shit when Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, and 10 were all originally on Sony consoles. Uh, 12 as well. Yeah, but that's 12. <laughs> and 11. <laughs> no, 11 came out on PC like day one. I don't accept that. <laughs> I mean... It will, it will be. Era, I don't know, seeing like all the commotion online, it pretty much feels like the same fucking era. Hold on, where is the goddamn entrance? Oh, there it is. It's gone, Wedge. Mm, Open I'm the way up. to the fractal continuum. Wedge, what the fuck what are you doing over here? The teleporter. <laughs> But I'm already here. Just bring the teleporter over here. Yeah. This ball isn't working so sad. Where is it? I mean, people joke that co like consoles are dying. In reality, no. People are actually finally getting adapted to the idea of using like computers. Mm -hmm. But to the normal person, I want to buy a PlayStation so I can play my Madden. Yeah. There you go. No, Which, even I mean, then, okay, I don't, I don't you go right ahead, but you know, all right. <laughs> I mean, honestly, even then, I'll still keep on buying console uh, while yeah, available. Yeah, I'm still console gaming. I love consoles. I, still, I mean, I love have, love my PC and love doing stuff on my PC, but it's also just nothing beats the time coming home booting up the thing. You can play Madden. Yeah, the thing is, I know you can play Madden on PC, but the problem is the normal fucking lamest fucking like Madden player is going to be like, no, I want to play it on Xbox. I want to play it on my... Because my friends are on Xbox. There mm -hmm. you go. Like, but it's, there's crossplay. Yeah, but all right. So, like, how the fuck are you gonna explain to a kid like? To, yeah, like their parents, I know what you mean. I well, just trying to explain you know, crossplay like, to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, will you get out? And of like, that? and like, just seeing like the Steam Deck excuse doesn't really help when EA kind of doesn't let you play a lot of games because of their fucking EA app is not compatible with Linux. Like, I get it. PC gaming is definitely usually the way to go. Yeah, yeah. But it's not going to take over the world when you still have people, like the simplest people who just want to play a game on their TV, and that's it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Nor normies being normie. -ing. Am I the normie? Looks into the mirror. You only need a PC to play Hi-Fi Rush. No, you don't. Isn't it already? Isn't it already on a. You don't even need that. You just, you just, you don't even need a console. You can play it on your phone through cloud streaming because that's what Xbox. Is. Saying, like, pre uh, preferably, mm -hmm. like if I have, if if I have the choice and if I know it's like the most optimal version, I'll play it on PC. You know, but in the meantime, if it's more than playable on like a console, and assuming it's not like compromised too much. Uh, then I have no fucking problem playing on the PlayStation 5, Series X, Switch. That's what I mean. Switch, well, like that's that's arguable, but the Switch tends to get sloppy seconds for multi-platform games. So <laughs> I mean, that's why you don't buy multi-platform games yeah. on Switch. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, but we have multi-platform games. We get in the Arkham games on Switch soon. Except there is Mortal interested. Kombat one in the Switch. I'm surprised they even fucking bothered. Like I know the Switch like is is gangbusters like like pound for pound the best console of this generation it just in terms of sales, but folks, if you have not looked at a comparison footage between like Mortal Kombat One on PS Five, PC, and Xbox compared to the Switch, it's like they thought this was okay. <laughs> uh, you know what's you, you know what's even funnier about the Switch version? What's up? They said it's they say for the Switch is okay, but it wasn't released on Xbox One or PS Four. What? Yep, it's it's a next gen and Switch exclusive. Man, no current gen, I guess. Now. They did that for Mortal Kombat 11 as well. Here's the thing, Retro Fox Town. I don't recall people dunking on Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch as much as one is because I think with 11, it's not it's not as egregious. 
Like, don't get me wrong, Mortal Kombat 11 on Switch is a downgrade in every sense of the word, but it's still 11 playable. Wasn't, MK11 wasn't cloud. It was a download, but it wasn't cloud. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think there was the option to use cloud, but no, it was a it was just a long like a big download. Yeah. I want to build a PC to get into emulation and unofficial ownership of certain things like TV shows that have gotten fucked over by their owners, but I don't have the time or money to build one at the moment. Well, I mean, <clears throat> I was gonna say pre-builds. Pre pre yeah, go. I was gonna say pre-builds. If you don't mind spending an extra penny on one, because you know you're, you're you're paying for the convenience. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a, a good PC, like it, like in your case, just for emulation, you don't need to spend that much money on all if you're using it for emulation. Unless you, run, be, I, unless you want to run like PS3 emulation at like the highest settings. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And even then, that's not I mean, perfect. Yeah. No. Yeah, and you can always upgrade it later, uh, like a fraction of the mm -hmm. cost. Mm -hmm. So I'd say you just go for a pre-built, like save some money, you go for a pre-built. Well, un not unless you're going to be using. I would say uh, at the at the very least, if you're going to go pre-built, uh, mm -hmm. get a list of the specs anyway. So that you know exactly what you can replace and cannot replace, so what's compatible. Uh, TLDR, just use your goddamn research. Yes. It's really easy. <laughs> like, yeah. It's it's never as complicated as you think it is unless it's rocket science. It's like, what's the yeah. difference in an i9 and i7? All right, what do you need it for? Uh, yeah. Office. Office work. I want to I wanna write out a Word document. <laughs> All right, then let me show you uh, Linux. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to learn Ubuntu. Oh yeah, just convince your friend to build your PC. Absolutely. If you're fucking, you got you got friends uh, in technology like that. Absolutely. Fucking save you money. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. If you're bothering your friends, I'm I'm pretty sure your friends will let you know. Yeah. They're all sides. Yeah. If you're emulating up to like N64, fucking a calculator nowadays can emulate everything like up to PlayStation 2. Uh, you right. can literally hook. You can literally buy a hundred dollar phone, buy a Bluetooth controller, and an HDMI to like USB C, and you're set. Yeah. Hmm. They have the internet on computers now. No, that's news to me. Mm. Every once in a while, I'll just, uh, I'll also I'll, I'll quote something like that. It's like, hey, there's a New Mexico now, <laughs> but people won't know that I'm <laughs> quoting substance. <laughs> uh, what that about just PS3? Really fucking dumb. Funny enough, PS3 emulation is pretty light on GPU. It's mostly just a CPU usage. It's yeah. the biggest thing. That's not involved the fucking cores that nobody know how to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, really early on, someone just literally brute forced uh, Last of Us to run. Yeah. Like really early on emulation is like, yeah, as long as you have a powerful enough CPU, like PS3 emulation is pretty good. Uh, by the way, John, there's a detail you didn't mention in your Mega Man Zay. Oh, fuck, I'm getting, um, actually didn't twitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Where no. the bosses use different attacks, <laughs> depending on if you're I... playing against Gray or Ad. I don't care. <laughs> Whoa, when did you make that video? Um, Mega Man actually, ZX? John, uh, you didn't, you didn't yeah, mention it. It was after, uh, Mega, after the uh, Mega Man Zero video. Oh, oh man, I guess my videos, you? I guess my videos just aren't getting pushed anymore. No, I, I, I remember seeing it. I just remember trying to remember how long it was. Oh, that was a couple. That was a few months ago. Yeah, that was a fucking, how long ago like, was your Metal Gear Solid Two review? Uh, that was in. <laughs> uh, no, I was like, no. I know, I know, I know what he's getting at, but like, I'm also genuinely trying to answer this question. Uh, fucking 2016. Okay, so you forgot everything that happened in the document of Metal Gear Solid Two. No. <laughs> oh no, you have to, now. Svan's gonna go on it. He's gonna talk about Metal Gear Two for the next three hours. Oh no, that's me later this month. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, look, if the algorithm is fucking shitting on my channel, it wouldn't be the first time. I think I know all the calls it though. I, it was every ever since that fucking DMC video got age restricted. Like I think that was it. Like YouTube was like, I can't trust it anymore. We used to be friends and then they fucking took me out in the back and shot me. Well he, yeah, he's decided to fucking from uh back instead of the front. It is funny how none of my DMC videos have gotten with hit with age destruction though. It was funny though, fucking um I think I I, I think I told you guys this already, but I gotta share this with the chat because uh it, it only happened like a couple like uh, earlier, like at the beginning of this week. Uh but so when I originally uploaded uh DMC Devil May Cry video, uh, it got age restricted. Like little t close to twenty four hours after it originally released. Um and I had to re upload it because there was a sponsor attached to it. 
then it's like, okay, well, this is a big deal because I have to make sure the sponsor is getting their threshold required. So that, that was a whole thing. Like I had to re-upload it. I didn't delete the original upload, though. I, I privated it uh, because I wasn't sure if the click-through rate for the sponsor was still valid uh, for those, but I figured better safe than sorry. I get an email from YouTube uh, early this week saying that the original upload of DMC uh, Devil May Cry was taken down because it violated a community guideline. And at first I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, well, we, we, we timestamped a specific moment that shows like grievous bodily harm that goes against our guidelines. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like six seconds in, what are they talking about? And I'm thinking to myself, are they talking about the HelloFresh ad? Because like the first six seconds, that's the HelloFresh ad. So then I'm looking at the video myself and what they're talking about is that clip of where I show the stump man on fire. <laughs> and it's like, yep. what? It's a stump man on fire. Like that's their job. <laughs> Be on fire. That and the fact, I'm pretty sure that clip and video has been shown all over the fucking place. So why is so it to them? the video got taken down completely? It's gone. Like, like private or not, or otherwise, it's gone. Uh, uh and it's like, wait, huh? <laughs> like, I'm so been been confused. Up. Yeah, because like the fucking yeah. video got age restricted in the first place because I made one of the, uh, I made one of the, the the limbo signs say get cucked and that was funny. I don't regret it. <laughs> but yeah, that like, wasn't hit. But, uh, but a man on fire, yeah, no, you can't. Uh, absolutely not. Fucking oh my god, man. Like this is that's the, it, that's gonna it, this is what's gonna fucking take my channel down a fucking bot like this. Mis misinterpreting what the fucking clip means or some other shit. I know that or an intern really trying to meet their quota up. Seriously. Like we do answer your question earlier, the Metal Gear 1 uh, resolution, I don't care. <laughs> it's a PS1 game, it rants at 240p. I don't give a shit if it's like upscaled to 1080p, 1440p, or fucking 4K. If it's Metal Gear Solid, that's fine. That's all that fucking matters to me. Them censoring Metal Gear Solid 2, on the other hand, I I can't. That's 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 the end. They censored two clips, and nope, I'm at my wit's end. Man, I'm still kind of flabbergasted that my archive of Final Fantasy VI stream got copyright claimed. From what? Uh, it was during the escape sequence from when you defeat Kafka. Okay. And there's a song there that was Fuck copyright you. claimed by some random. I think it was a Brazilian company, so I probably got them bought. I mean, it doesn't matter much to me because I'm not monetizing that shit, shit at all. It's just an archetype for me. But either way, I was just flapping at it. Uh, what these enter in MGS2? War footage. That's all they did. That's, that's <laughs> uh, all they did. Like stock, got... war, stock war footage. Yeah, that's all, that's all they yeah. did. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, we I have to... I'll, uh, I'll open one. I don't know, maybe next there. month I'll probably, like, once the Master Collection, I'll probably stream something. We'll see how things are. Yeah. I'm still kind of been thinking about streaming with Metal Gear at some point. Or maybe I might not. Uh, kill the thing. Oh, yeah, right. I think if it manages to eat it, it gets a buff that makes it considerably dangerous. Yeah, but you gotta remember, Konami has, they have to license out the actual, like, used footage. It's not like they... Like, yeah, this isn't something just, as easy as a content creator borrowing a clip for free use. Yeah, like they're it's, 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 it's an actual it's, company. It's in a like, product that they're selling. And, and from what I've heard, uh, when they actually asked the question, why did it have to be cut? It's literally because like we just can't find the person who who we got it from. Like, yeah, they're nowhere to be found, so we can't <laughs> legally put that in game. I without told you already. Right. They're eighty six years old and they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that, this one puts them in. Uh, in the Bermuda Triangle. Wait a minute. I mean, yeah, like footage, like war, <laughs> like actual historical war footage, shouldn't be copyrighted either. But that's not a that's not a copyright problem. That's actually, yeah, that's just like how America does their copyright like products and stuff. 
-hmm. And that would also kind of affect John, if you think about it. Yeah. So, it's kind of a lose-lose situation in reality. But a a big thing about me, though, is that I'm not selling a product. Because you don't have to pay to watch my content. It'd be a different thing, though, if I was selling a product. Because then I would have to go out of my way to make sure I got proper licensing for using this or that, that sort of thing. And it's like, yeah, this is why I don't fucking sell my shit, dude. Uh, you know, I hear this stuff. I'm not glad with that. My job isn't that complicated. <laughs> I mean, I'm more surprised that like Metal Gear Solid Five hasn't been taken down yet, because that <laughs> thing uses a lot of copyright material. It uses a lot of like '80s music. It actually uses like actual real logos, like all of the Sony computers they use. Yeah. And again, same thing with like MGS4. They're gonna have to repay the licenses for Apple, uh, the iPod, and all that stuff. Like, it's. Uh, a lot of things is probably the easiest way to describe it. Oh shit! No, it's fine. It's not much there left. Oh hey, pressure popper. That's probably the reason why the History Channel went to shit when Showtime created the Smithsonian Channel. All that juicy archive footage that the History Channel pretty much ran all went bye bye, and that was the beginning of the end. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would make sense. Oh, God. This world's going to shit when we start monetizing the past. It's depressing the fact that it is so fucking true. We can't remember the past life. It costs money. It also makes me wonder, like, if they do port MGS4, what the fuck are they going to do with, like, using the PS3 controller to go? Well, no, didn't they, um... Um, didn't a document leak saying that uh, a 4 is going to come with a warning saying that uh, to preserve the integrity of how the game was originally released it's going to make references to the PlayStation 3 and shit like that? Uh, I don't know if that was leaked because again we only the Master Collection only goes up to 3 at the hmm. moment so I thought I recall seeing something that uh, that that addressed how they were going to handle MGS4 I mean, that would be really interesting, yeah. seeing, like, how they would have to say, like, you know, you're playing the Switch, is like, that's right, Snake, we're on PlayStation 3. Dual, Dual layer, layer 2. two. Uh, mm-hmm. I had to download this. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are they talking about? Oh, good lord. Uh, where's the patio? Yeah, there it is. Haunted <laughs> warning, PS3 mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's part of the ESRB <laughs> list. <laughs> no, That's right. Somebody, it's right it's, it up. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not ESRB. It's Peggy. Oh, I still have the chat boxes on too. Oh, I should probably turn those off, huh? <laughs> Let me read it to your mind. Let me see your Steam library. Ah, <laughs> oh, I see that you too <laughs> like kiss food a fix dick. What the fuck? Ah, <laughs> uh, I see that you too. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what is for a for a food uh, puzzle link? What is going on? You guys are on? saying all these fucking basic bitch mods. <laughs> you I like don't... playing Monster Girl Island, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, ah. fucking Psycho Mats is reading your Steam library. <laughs> I don't even know what half of these fucking games are. What is Breeders of Netflix? <laughs> also, is it still available? Ask him for a friend. His name is Liquid. He's currently an arm. <laughs> I'm Liquid. <laughs> why do you have so it. much of the Why do 90% of them have zero playtime? <laughs> why do you keep buying this shit you don't play? Did I point. just stare at my backlog? Dude, I feel that so hard. Uh, but yes, I am happy that they're finding a way how to implement the uh, psychomancy like, card read stuff. Hmm. So that's exciting. What are they gonna do? Uh, you have the options to insert, like, to put what uh, memory card saves you have in there. From oh, okay. Side. So like, you can just put like Suikoden and stuff like that. Oh, Suikoden, I mean. <laughs> Let's folder. see your Steam library. Ah!
se uh, several degrees of disappointment. Okay. All right, Snake, you must change the port to two. I'm on PC. Oh, I don't know what the like. Yeah. Ooh, I, I, I might get that. You probably are. E. Congrats. Uh, at least I got almost everything else. Mm, okay, okay, let's uh, see. You. Give me a second here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unplug your hard drive. It's <laughs> just to be safe. <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 no. Um, that's not what I want to load, actually. You should... Uh, let's see. Now! Uh, disable that. There we go. If better a fucking chat bubble than just a deck mod. <laughs> I mean, the chat bubble is nice. Um, let's see. Let me uh, go back to ARF. Oh, God damn it. Wait, am I? Oh, God damn it. I went too low. They really like to make you remember that there's verticality in this game now. What I was just like, oh, because again, fucking Heaven's War was the first expansion to have flight, so yeah, they made every every area really fucking large. I was, I was probably it's the worst. It's impressive. That on the sea of cloud. <laughs> That's impressive. Honestly, the, the, the most annoying thing about Azazel is only one. There's only one fucking eighth right. Uh huh. Uh, and that's it. Like you have to manually fly to everywhere else. There you go. There's another gif I put in your little chat. Uh, let's see what to do here. Dude, I love that gift so fucking much. I mean, that was me when I was writing my fucking master thesis. It's just like, a <laughs> uh, by the way, how are you disabling mods in game? It's uh, their chat commands in the chat box. <laughs> mod disable big dick mod. Enable pee pee. <laughs> Maximum pee pee, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting him for a game for plastic surgery. <laughs> okay. Anyway, for this week, get our accompaniment node. But, uh, uh fuck that ball. Because I got the outlet. I want to show mm -hmm. off little bird buddy. So, what do I have? That would be nice. You know, um, guys, we're going to go to fucking nine and three quarters. Let's go. Never mind. Let's see. Next one is the same. Is it? Okay. Oh, uh, Arboretum? To... That's in uh, Idleshire. Yeah, go to Idleshire and then yeah. go out of it. Oh, it's like right outside. The... Huh. <laughs> I've been to the quick sides. Maximum PP means so many things. <laughs> I, In my eyes, it's just a real big cock. <laughs> it was oh, this is. big. Mom, look. I grew it myself, and I was like, I uh, failed. Oh, we also have to do Google Library hard, but we're going to do it in yeah. order. So, uh, where's my, where's Midnight do? Oh, no, I think she's hard mode. Uh, no, the the unlock you're looking for is outside of Idleside. You have oh. to go outside. Okay, Western or Eastern? Uh, yeah, Eastern. No, Western, Western. It doesn't matter. I'll just fly over to the area. Yeah. With you seeing Midnight do just reminds me of like, oh, right, yeah, I'm dyslexic. Hey. How many times did I read that as Mountain Dew? What are you doing here? What are you staring at? Oh. If you're looking for Crowley, you should find out the rise of stone. She was asking after thinking, though she did not explain why. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, oh, I was yeah. Like, what the fuck is your stole? Is it still here staring at Alexander? Uh, you're still like, why the fuck are you staring? Yeah. You're blind. Midnight Dew is Google Heart. I'm also sure she's uh, Arboretum Heart as well. If I'm remembering that right. Yeah, here we go. An overbrain ambition. Yeah. That's the one you want, and then you have to go a little bit further south then. Okay. Time for crab. <laughs> this place full of doo doo. I don't like it. All right, class, explain yourself. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> cool hearts just having to pay late fees. Absolutely. Do you want the chair for Romani? Um, I can get it myself, Naka. Um, because I remember, like, it's not expensive. It's a pretty cheap mount. If you're offering, no, I'm not gonna say no. 
By the way, uh, six point five drops on Tuesday, and the Rising event also ends there too. So uh, yeah. if you haven't done it yet, uh, you only have about two days to get this mount. Like it's free, and it's also really cool. Yeah. It takes you like at most five minutes. Five ten minutes, yeah, at most. Yeah. Depends if you want to care about the Jesus Christ story or not. Yeah, exactly. Present hall pass. <laughs> Bitch detected. <laughs> 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 And uh, don't worry, if you miss it now, you'll be able to get it for uh, a year from now, uh, just like uh, Bangor, though. Yeah, yeah, because, like, so the way it works in this uh, game, folks, if you miss a seasonal event, uh, when you when it's next year's uh, event again, last year's rewards will be available on the MOG station, like the cash shop. And because this year's reward was a mount, uh, this is probably going to be, I'm going to say 18 bucks. Like, ballpark 18, figure out it's, it's going to be 18 bucks. It's, it's a single seater. Uh, yeah. But it also has a graphical effect. So they usually like to upcharge for that sort of shit. So I'm, I would assume this mount's going to cost like 18 bucks if you don't get it now. Mm -hmm. 14 because haha funny. I, I mean, I, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right. Um, Our next dungeon is a saint. Um, Was it Moshian's Arboretum? Oh, hold on. I, 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 I'm called. terrible with French. Uh, Mo Moshian's. Yeah. Moshian's. Yeah. I'll just be grand. All right. <laughs> Who haven't I invited yet? Fucking. Uh, I'm going to invite Santiago next. Uh, thank you. Uh, like, I do appreciate it. Okay, you also got this one. Okay, I've never seen a lot of it on that. <laughs> what, you never? Really? Yeah. I feel like sometimes I'm the only one who uses this goddamn mount. I used to be all over this mount because it's just a fucking chair. Yep. I got it mostly because I like love that scene from Curse the Cowardly Dog. We are not getting me. Yo, shout out to the fucking fro song he's wearing. What a look. I mean, not everyone can rock a fro. Alright, let me do a ray check. Make sure everyone's good to go. I already did a rage. <laughs> Fun fact: This is my first time doing this dungeon. Let's go. <laughs> Are we in Star Blood? We're Heaven's Word. Uh, we're doing. Yeah. Uh, we're now in post Heaven's Word, so we're doing all the post Heaven's Word content, which is a lot. You know, because we still have. Uh, yeah. We have a couple more side dungeons to do. We have squadrons. We have to do Palace of the Dead. Uh, then we have to do um, the rest of the MSQ's dungeons, uh, and then uh, Hildebrand. Uh, Hildebrand, that sort of thing. Hildebrand, that's going to be a session. That's also going to be a smooth session. Yeah, uh, also... Your durability is Laurel. I can repair for you, Blue Dino. Um, when we when the instance begins, uh, right-click my character and choose Request Repair. Yeah, I should be I able to fix work. your shit. Yeah, I've been working on getting my crafters up because I realized the best way to level up the... Uh, hmm? Collectors Who is, is cringe. I think it might be Blue Dino. Yeah, why, uh, Blue Dino, why don't you just do it now? Uh, just right-click me or somebody here that has crafting level up and you, uh, choose Request Repair. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think the best way to level up Gallery is when you get access to Die them for 1 yeah. up till 80. Oh, you say that. And fucking Grand Company turn-ins are also cracked. Really? Oh uh, yeah, Chucky. We're also doing extremes uh, later down the road. Alexander Savage, mm -hmm. though, maybe not. Maybe not until later, because I'm going to get a dedicated group for that one. Um, but that requires getting seven other heads of uh, folks that I know that can do the content. Because I don't want to fucking like meme the entire session. I actually want to get shit done. No way. There you go. There we go. You are no longer broken. Like, Ishgar okay. turn-ins are cracked for crafters, but, like, gathering stuff like that, like, assuming you don't want to do, like, levs, which are also really cracked, fucking just do Grand Company turn-ins. Like, once a day. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how I got my gatherers to 60. I didn't do a single quest. <laughs> Wait, are you even doing Alexander Ultimate again in Shadowbringers? Yes. Uh, when, uh, Ultimates are the exception. Like, I will be streaming Ultimate Progression with Romani. And we'll be doing them, uh, we'll be doing them, like, I don't, I don't want to say an order of release, because I don't want to fucking start with Yukab. <laughs> Starting with Ultima. Well. No, we're probably going to start with Uwu, and then do Yukab, and then T. And then, like, when we eventually get the DSR on top, we'll, we'll work that out. I don't know about that. That That's not for a long-ass time, though, so I'm not really worried about that now. Let me eat my chicken. 
Let's just call that late stream content. I mean, even if it's unsynced, those fights are still fucking hard. Yeah. I, Uwu, though, like, here's the thing, because I know, like, Uwu, Uwu is, is labeled as, like, the entryway ultimate, right? Like, it's, like, not necessarily baby's first ultimate, but it's definitely the easiest of the ultimates available. And you know what, though? What you call easy, I call comfortable. Because <laughs> my favorite thing about Uwu is that it's only fucking 14 minutes long. Fuck you, Cobb, T, DSR, top, 18 minutes plus. I'm fucking tired. No, not much on T. I love T. T's my favorite ultimate. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I can't say it bad at you for long. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the it's just a central reference when he's getting the child into the made him fucking sick. <laughs> I can't stay angry to uh, long. It's not hard until Titan Jails, which is funny because people have plugins to help with that sort of shit and people still fuck that shit up. Yep. You, you can install mods, it. you can't install scale. <laughs> but I could uh, buy a hacking. clear. So We're gonna do everything with this though? character. One session is gonna be fucking Romani tries RMT. <laughs> oh god. So when are, when is the Mahjong screen? Oh I mean we did Mahjong last time <laughs> when we were doing the gold tosser grind. You saw that man. Fucking two games lasted a whole goddamn hour. <laughs> uh -huh. How do you think how do you think it feels playing like Yakuza. Like, oh, <laughs> I'd imagine well, I it's pretty miserable. No, but like, oh, mm. yeah. Wait, so that don't play Yakuza. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, just play everything else but Yakuza 0. You can play Yakuza that's 0, it. but then please stop playing just Yakuza 0. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the Yakuza I'm, I'm starting with, and I kind of stopped because I got sidetracked. Might as well watch this while waiting for my Eureka Orthos to queue. Hey, cool. Uh, thanks for coming along, Lord. Also, uh, don't get DC'd. Fuck <laughs> 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 it, make sure your internet connection's stable now. Because like, I'm so burnt out from Orthos. Like, I, it happened like a couple months ago, but it still fucking stings. I got to like uh, floor 92 in Orthos, and I fucking DC'd and I lost all my progress. Ooh, well, God. Yakuza, Mahjong and Yakuza isn't that bad once you know to like, just set up a actual like high level bot next to you and just copy all the moves that the bot does. I actually gotta hold on to my two jumps until my burst is ready. I shouldn't be doing that. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a dungeon boss. It's like the most casual fucking content, but still. It's just a good habit to get into, you know? Yeah. I'll ride these guys. Don't thank me. Thank the subreddit for just immediately, like, saying that, too. It's like, for those people having trouble with Mahjong, Here's a program that kind of just lets you copy the opponent's uh, <laughs> homework uh, moves, so you can just, uh, so you can just mm. think of the best move. Yeah, could you do sucks? Uh, PS2 wise, yes. Kiwami is great because it has virtual on, and that's you can't find me on that. I wonder if he's a bit biased there. What are we supposed to do with these again? Uh, Rose hip. Uh, you can DPS them down, or you can just ignore them. I mean, at this point, it's it's, it's, it's it's harmless just to avoid the yeah. the ads. Although, wait, this is the first uh, Saint Arboretum, so we can do the haha funny bee skip. <laughs> oh right, I remember. This right, one. right. So, all right, I'm, I'm going to explain to Ludana what we mean, uh, just so that he's not caught off guard. Just uh, it's not here. We're, like, we're, we're going to keep going in the meantime. I'll let you know when we got when we get to it. God, man, how's it already fucking October? And I'm saying that I'm, I'm saying that as someone I, I, I fuck. I mean, I don't mean it's like I like, like it's negative or anything like that. I love October. October is my favorite fucking month of the year. Just love everything about it. I love the festivities. I love this. I'm I'm just in a better headspace like in October for some reason or another. The kind of weather's the, the weather's cooling down. Everything's starting to get spooky because I love the Halloween aesthetic. I mean, you say that, but the first weekend of October here, we're gonna be get, we're gonna be in the high nineties over here. That's fucking skeleton, dude. Fucking just get out the west coast. <laughs> <laughs> Have you easy. tried moving? It's, it's I'm sorry, I don't want to. I'm sorry, I don't want to die of humidity. 
Well, uh, why don't you just move to a cooler place that doesn't have high humidity? Uh, yeah, um, it's over the gar over the garden wall time for me, says Jay Frosty. Um, I'm pretty sure I ask this question every year uh, for October. Uh, but what are you guys uh, uh, go to like October specials or Halloween specials that you guys like to just watch every year? Uh, yeah, my webcam is doing the funny thing where it's frozen, so we're just replacing it with gifts. I forgot to replace it for this convention, though, but we're still on better call, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, me, and my, me and my wife started like just watching like Halloween movies. Yeah. When I'm like when I'm home, so uh, it all started when we started dating, and she showed me probably, uh, not Twilight, uh, night before Christmas oh for the first God, time. Oh my God! Right. You forgot to explain it. Oh wait, no, it, it's not here. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's, it's after about, this. Um, it's after this worker hawk actually. Uh, let's see. For me, I just find a comfortable horror game that I like to play. Right now, I'm playing Dead Space. Well, it's about Dead Space 2, which I do enjoy. All right, so we're going to take care of this garden bee cloud here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see that honeycomb wall. Uh, when we break that down, we're going to ha we're going to open ourselves a pathway. It's, it's, it's just a whole bunch of honeycombed bees and shit like that. Uh, we are going to break down this honeycomb. That we're gonna run past all the ads. Do not engage with the ads. The ads will engage you, don't matter, but we're gonna ignore them. We're gonna mad dash our way to the second honeycomb wall that's blocking the exit, and then we're going to get out immediately. We're gonna be ignoring the ads. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, when you kick the beehive, literally. Ah, uh, yeah, St. Uh, Moshiana is the first dungeon. I got called to try for doing my rotation properly. Heaven's Sword. Wow, that's pathetic. Well, oh, uh, anyway, that's a motherfucking bee. <laughs> Are you seeing the size of that bee? Oh, Lord. I do believe that one Nicholas K said, no, Lord, not the bees. Not the bees. Not the bees. He's killing all the bees. He's killing all the bees. Oh, I've been attacked because I have AOEs. Just pop a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, you're man. a summoner. You don't have one. <laughs> this is fine. I'm playing so. I mean, for how like around the once it actually gets to around the end of October, like that's when like all the horror movies starts popping up on TV. Yeah. So I catch a few. So if you watch AMC, holy shit, AMC is nothing but horror. So. Well, yeah. I remember yeah, last yeah. year. I think they had a they had a child's play marathon. Everybody point and laugh at the bees. <laughs> what are gonna do? Sting me, little pricks. <laughs> Alright, uh, whenever you're good to go, Blue Dino. Excited to finally watch Coraline tomorrow? Uh, they get people to shut up, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it by virtue of it. I never watched it before, so I don't know uh, what to expect. Uh, but still, no, I'm looking Wait, forward to it. It's an actual movie, not just art? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, Bill. That wasn't just a dig on you. <laughs> but uh, no, no. I'm on, 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 and seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, I like to broaden my horizons, that sort of shit. Oh yeah, let's get rid of the fucking nighthawks. Come on, let's see. I'll probably I'll be the last to pull. I mean, it might just be me or like any of that. Like, I'm, I kind of don't care for that Johnny, like not John, uh, Tim Burton style stuff. I guess. Well, like, stop motion. I know it's not done by him. Yeah, like I know, no, not stop motion. Like oh. just like spook style, I guess. Oh, like that, I know it's I know it's not done by him. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, what's the name director. of the style called? I think it, it's. I think it's. The, uh, I think it's literally just called like Tim Burton style. Like gothic art deco sort of. Animation is uh, no, no, no. That's just um, that's just that's just more talking about like how it's structured. We're talking about like the aesthetic. Uh, hold on. Oh, I gothic think, yeah, horror. I think, I think we, is a good way of putting yeah. it, Mr. Mad. Yeah. Yeah. When 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 Tim Burton comes to mind, I just immediately think goth, like gothic art deco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Batman's full of that shit. Hot topic. Hot topic. Line. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the moment I start talking shit about Tim Burton, you appear. <laughs> yeah, get get out of here. Go back to what you're doing. He's talking to his cat. I'm talking to my wife. <laughs> okay, yeah, so your cat. 
What is Gromit uh, in his Caroline cause stop motion also on to him? What the fuck? I have no idea what that's referred to, Blue Dotto. I think it's just trying to tell you to go play on to tail. Yeah, but it still gets like lumped into like like that Tim Burton like style though. Well, didn't Tim Burton only produce Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, uh, but he gets all the yeah, credit. Yeah. yeah, he gets all the credit. Like Namor, yeah, like like yeah, yeah, gets all the credit. Namor gets all the credit for uh, everything. And crap. Oh, yeah. yeah. We killed Swamp Thing and he didn't even give us his PSA. I don't put plastics in the fucking swamp. <laughs> no more of a Dragon Quest. No, no, that was uh, the Dragon Ball creator. He made Dragon Quest. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he also made Chrono Trigger, right? Yes, I will. Just like, just like Hashigeru Miyamoto himself made Zelda. <laughs> just himself. <laughs> Mm. No one else. Small indie developer Shuki Amiyamoto. It's his first outing, you know. You have to be nice and then pay. Swamp Thing, what a dumb name. You're just jealous that your name's not Swamp Thing. <laughs> Maybe it's actually Swamp Ass. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like, yeah, back in my day, they used to call me Swamp Ass. <laughs> Don't ask why. <laughs> By the way, you're gonna tap everything. Small thing, what a joke. Uh, like, like I'm not shitting on like Night Before Christmas and stuff. I generally like those movies, but it, 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 it it's really kind of hard not to make fun of it when it all gets like lumped in together with every yeah. like all of Tim Burton's works, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite, least favorite Tim Burton production. Not necessarily oh. something that he directed, but something that he had a big hand in contributing towards. Uh, Edward Scissorhands is still probably one of my favorite. I have not of watched that in so long. Uh, I yeah. think I'm overdue for a while. I love Beetlejuice though. Beetlejuice, oh, oh. Is great. Beetlejuice might be yeah. my favorite. Like I know that's kind of weird for me. It's like, oh, I thought you would say Batman. Don't get me wrong. Like I love Batman '89. Oh, I do. Right. He also, yeah, he also directed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, yeah. but it's also Batman like in Beetle terms of just like, but Beetlejuice just hits fucking different. Yeah. Oh. You guys yeah, never watched about. Beetlejuice? Did we watch Beetlejuice as a sub thing? Don't say oh, it again. Should. It might appear. <laughs> Just say it! <laughs> Man. Actually, we were talking about one of the favorite things to watch there. I mean, uh, we watched that. Oh, Halloween. okay. All right. So I already know what I'm getting. I'm, I know what I'm already uh, lumping in for the October stuff. We're watching Beetlejuice. Oh, God damn it. He's, in, he's behind your closet now. It's crazy to think that movie got an animated cartoon. It was oh, okay oh, though too. Like the the anime, no, yeah, no, people just cartoon was. It was fine. It was, was it's just weird. Like you know, like a the, very the horror inspired movie got turned into a kids' TV show. Also gave me one of my first like fucking girl crushes outside of anime. Uh, Lydia. Lydia, yeah. Uh, I, when I was a kid watching, I, I, I love Lydia. Uh, I even say so, yeah, like I think uh, Lydia's design with like the red cobweb like cape robe, whatever the fuck it was. Mm -hmm. Like I, I just that's a choice. Absolutely love it. I mean, Little Shop of Horror also got uh, uh, one of those. Uh, I can't lie, I, I am into the goth girl aesthetic. Yeah. I, can't, <laughs> I can't lie about that. <laughs> Although, now, now, now there's one I think of build just after that. There's one thing that happened, I think, last week, or was it the week before, uh, during this musical. Maybe you heard that story. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I did hear about this. The senator that was giving a handy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much? <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> yeah, there's also a musical. I heard the Beetlejuice musical is really good, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. I think. I mean, if you got someone hard, yeah. It does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Matt, just look up Lauren Popert and uh, Beetlejuice musical. We can't say context because that's politics, and politics is bad in yeah. video games. Okay, Beetlejuice is one of my favorite things to watch during Halloween. I can and never also, un I, I can never unthink of Beetlejuice with the fucking photo of uh, Beetlejuice next to the Joker from Dark Knight together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> you never seen yeah, that? Photo? I don't think I have. Yeah, no. That uh, like it's an old one. But, but maybe I cool. have. I just don't recall it. Because we'll make that the next webcam image if that's the case. <laughs> okay. 
fair non political uh, well my fair non political I, I, I game got it. Not I, here. I, I got it. <laughs> yeah. If you see an eyeball like from the boss's like attack animation, that means look away. Make yeah. sure you're not facing the boss when the attack finishes. Get away from me. Tony go. No. It's just if you see an eyeball coming from Ryan, don't look at it. It's just Michael Keaton staring at fucking uh, Heath Ledger. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I was honestly surprised to learn that Michael Keaton was Bill just back in the day. So wait a minute. Batman is the bad guy? <laughs> Don't forget uh, the aura. Other than that, like, uh, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I, that one wasn't hitting well hmm. compared to his other works, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I yeah, I guess it's like, least favorite uh, Tim Burton things. Um, yeah, Frankie I didn't, really, like, I didn't really I didn't really care about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I didn't even find it, like, bad. I just didn't give a fuck about it. I guess for me, honestly... I have to say Batman <laughs> Returns. I there's um, a lot of things about that movie that just did not sit well with me. I'm split on returns because I agree that it's not a it's not a good Batman movie because Batman barely fucking matters in that. Mm -hmm. Um But it's got a great aesthetic. The soundtrack is oh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh and I, I legit did like Danny DeVito uh as the penguin for like the right and wrong reasons but uh so like aesthetically it's it, i think it, it's pretty peak I'm more surprised that movie pushed the pg-13 rating i think it's just because of everything that penguin says yeah mm -hmm. that and him like basically being feral like that hey anyway, feral like he was a sexual degenerate in returns mm -hmm. which was like that was a new thing for the character at the time uh, Alice in Wonderland, the the live action one, I don't remember at all. Then again, Alice in Wonderland always I never really cared about, even as go as far back as like the Disney adaptation. I just know it because it's a Kingdom Hearts world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want to go to. Uh, someone jumped the gun there. Uh, what is next? Also, I got to change the GIF. Uh, yeah, let me. Uh, uh, find uh, let me see. It's not uh, a gift, but it's a photo. <laughs> uh, Faro's Serious Heart. Mm -hmm. uh, one second. Uh, Faro's Serious Heart is... Uh, is that a Mordona? Uh, that, I think, if I recall... Uh, that's uh, Limsa Low Minsa Upper Deck. Oh, Limsa, okay. Limsa, really? Yep. Oh, my fucking friend but, is going to shit the bed now. Uh, you might want to finish the quest first. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, okay, I have seen this image <laughs> before, uh, but I'm, I'm more oh, than I happy to uh, fucking have it on my thing again. Let me, uh... Yeah, so the reason for the bottom left is a gift because my fucking webcam's frozen. It's doing that stupid shit again, so uh, I'm just using GIFs or funny m images as a cover-up for it tonight and, until I find a solution for my problem. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> It's so out of yeah. place, dude. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I love that image so fucking much. <laughs> uh, let me go. Yeah, let me finish the quest. And, uh, I don't know why the hell I jumped the gun of it. It's like one of the oldest images I remember because it's circled around when, like, the Dark Knight rises. Like, the Dark Knight <laughs> was, like, struggling all around. <laughs> I should actually sit down and actually watch the uh, the Nolan trilogy. Oh, there, there's the, man. There's the, uh, I know they're see. fine. It's just I like no, when it comes to Batman. Thing, like, I'd rather just I, watch. I, I like legit Batman like. Movies. I still think Batman Begins is great, and Dark Knight yeah. is the Dark Knight. I, I love Dark Knight. No, Dark um, Knight is just the only Dark one that's Knight's like it's like the only one's like it's like the really hit and miss. It's just Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, I mean, I, like I don't like I don't mind it, but like I fucking hate. The fucking uh, smoker voiced Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why they just went with the fucking like. Yeah. They're like fucking. Where are the other drugs going? Yeah. Well, that Stop also. Me. Stop it, Batman. Bane though, Bane though, like no, that's that's. Yeah, great. I mean, you're watching for Bane and fucking 
uh, yeah. Tom Hardy's voice for it. I mean, I also admit. Where is the trigger? Where is he? He's fucking pitting the shit out of this guy that's on his fucking deathbed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all painful. For you. Gotham is yours. Do I love that they, uh, that they used that bass as a voice for the Harley Quinn show for yeah. Bane. <laughs> yeah, because even. It, I'm glad there's somewhere. No. no. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You, you can't say it. We're PG thirteen. <laughs> I am cutting this card. <laughs> Fucking takes a pair of scissors and just drops it. Out. <laughs> I'm going to crash this stream. I have no survivors. Uh, let me Google that for you. All right, next is Pharaoh Sirius. So it's back in Limso. Okay. Yep. It's upper deck where you can find it. There's also the whole breaker one. Where's my fucking electric car, Bruce? <laughs> I put a deposit down. <laughs> uh, is that here? Or is that... I'll oh, say just back. Oh, is it near the... Um, no, is no, it in it's the, the, the Aft Castle? Uh, yeah, Aft Castle okay. is. It's the better choice. I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs> um, anyway, what? Yes. just finished watching the, uh, oh, the last God. Teen Mutant Turtle movie that came out. Wait, are you sure it's no. very serious, or is it Hallbreaker Hard? It should be there. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me watch it. Because Storming the Hall, I think, is Hallbreaker Island Hard. Uh, things are getting serious. Is the name of the quest. Uh, okay, then it's not in the Aft Castle, then, because I don't see it anywhere. Uh, uh, JC, uh, uh, you're not wrong. Uh, then there's the next one, too. What's the name of the damn place again? Well, let me... Uh, no, yeah, because getting... Like, you got to need a quest first. Or is, is someone else have it? Uh, let's see. It should be... I feel like I'm I, like I'm staring right at it. And I, uh, oh, go, oh, is it in Western Linosia? Wait, it's in Western Linosia. No, 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 no. go to the upper deck. Okay, okay. I think I would have seen it by now. I think. Uh, go to the upper deck. It should be there. Yeah, General says it's in Limso. Like, a, like a, I'm blind, dude. Like, I. I Storming the hall. So you want to be a marauder? I think it's given it? by the same. <sighs> Who's the NPC that gives it? Oh, hold on, let me see. It's uh, hold on, uh, track, track it. Tra uh, how do you say this name? Uh, that... Trey tra uh, Trey Hart. Uh, yeah, or Trey Hart. Hart. You got to do Hart. why so serious quest first. But we already did a wait. Storming the hall is the quest. Oh, I thought that was Hallbreaker. No, he, I think he has both of those questions. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the reason why I was asking what NPC gets it, because sometimes uh, NPCs will have two quests, like, loaded. Uh, and the only way I'll know that is by actually uh, interacting with them. Oh, yeah, I'm already in the closest state, right? Yeah, because we already did the first Pharaoh. Pharaoh Sirius uh, is an ARR dungeon. We already did that already. Oh, don't tell me this dude's down here. He is. No, that's not him. That's the one that gives you the hull breaker. Uh, Blue Dino, did you do hull breaker normal for ARR? Wait, you haven't done that one yet? Because if you did, you should get the prompt for uh, fucking... No, this is hull breaker. Yeah, that's not the right NPC. Yeah, yeah we need to do Pharaoh Sirius next. Uh, Pharaoh Sirius hard next. And I'll just send it to you. If that's the case, then I'm missing it. And I'm wondering why. Because I know I did Pharaoh series before. Let's see. Where's the other deck? What does this look like? This? Uh, Blue Dino is at the NPC right now. Where's Blue, where's Blue Dino? Fucking uh, Wimsa Upper Ducks. It's, it's in Maelstone Command. Uh, command, okay. I wonder if it's one of the um, soldiers. Uh, probably they came from the deep. I think that's one one of those. They came from the deep. Is um, the Sahagan beast tribe? Yeah, but I think they, that one that is the quest soldier. No. Hold on. No, wait. There he is. It's just outside. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking, uh, fucking. This is what I'm talking about. Like, if they have two quests, you 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 won't know unless they you, you actually interact with them. That's why I was getting a little confuzzled. All right. Yeah, so I already unlocked. I was confused. I already unlocked Pizza Hugger, so that's probably why it was easier for me. Yeah, to see. yeah. Let's see. Do I have a car this one? Let me just say this. Uh, airship landing. You know, uh, let's see where can I put this one. Uh, airship running. Uh, where's the. Uh, here we go. Alright, Feral Serious Hard. Oh god, we're getting swamped again. It's mm. not for them. <laughs> uh. Alright, uh, we Seal. All right, who has an invite? Uh, Lynn, you're coming with me. <laughs> Congratulations, you've been drafted. Dead or alive, you're coming in me. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait <a minute>. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm gonna do a ray check. I do like very serious. <laughs> Robert Cup. <laughs> I didn't know Robo was short for Robert. <laughs> He is I a am Robert. not Rob. He is a cop. <laughs> he is a Robert cop. Copy, copy. Half robot, right. half man. <laughs> All Robert. <laughs> Get ready. You are about to be dicked. I'm bringing you to Detroit. No! <laughs> <laughs> Robo Day's nuts. <laughs> Why did Robocop get a cartoon? Why did Robocop yes. get two cartoons? I think it's a better question. Oh, it, had a, it had a second one? Mm -hmm. They had two cartoons. Back then, everything was made into a cartoon cartoon. If more of combat having a cartoon was I would say Robocop is probably more egregious, though. Because like, you, you fucking make a. The only, I think the only reason why Robo Robocop had an animated show was because of the third movie. The third movie was mm -hmm. toned down considerably to like make it more general friendly, like more uh, friendly for general audiences. Uh, and yeah, it's that? considered the weakest entry, <laughs> outside of no like the shit. direct the TV prime directives. Oh man. Uh, well, it kind of there's a bit of a problem in the basement. I really come in here to fix that. All right, Robocop versus Terminator. That was an actual thing. They also had a Super Nintendo game, if I recall. Uh, NES game. Uh, yeah. Was it NES only? Was it? Well, no, no, no. I think I it, it, might, be, it might be. Uh, it might be multi-platform. I think it was on NES and on Super Nintendo. I've been costing it on the SNES. I might, I might be in high. But well, Robocop 2, though, was also pretty ultra-violent, too. I, I, think, I think it's yeah. probably a little more violent than the first movie. Uh, but yes. still, I that's something you make a fucking animated series about. Like, directed towards Seriously. kids. Uh, I mean, Robocop speaking of like weird NES games, I put my like my tw my five x five or whatever it's called. Yeah. With video games, and I put Batman on NES because I actually like that game. Oh, the Suns All game is great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. If you were wondering like, why that game it was like, I just like that's the one that I grew up with as a kid. Yeah. It's also a good uh, game, and it has a fucking oh, banging ass sound. Hard as balls. It's hard as balls. Yeah, yes. It's great. I mean, it's an NES game, so yeah, the sounds. But I do agree, it's a good game. I couldn't beat it as a kid. I mean, I like. I'd recommend. Like, I'd recommend playing this on top game. It's it's a it's a really tough game, but it's really fun. Yes. I mean, it's tough, but I'm it's not impossible. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. I mean, some people look apparently just look at me from there like, wait, why did you put Baldur's Gate two on the list? Because I like it, and I haven't finished the third one. Uh, JC, don't worry. It wasn't just you too. I've had other people ask me, "Is like why that Batman game when Arkham like exists?" I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> wasn't, I wasn't wasn't aware of that a lot of the Batman games. I'm sorry. Is this my list or your list? If my it's God. your list, go make it. Out. Oh. Oof. Uh, and the Growl Luminary. This is where you learn the theoretic mimicry of your Blue Mage. Yeah, which is fucking vital. Yeah, I hate Arkham City. I love Asylum, not City. 
Oh, then he would absolutely loathe or. We're doing one of those like top 25 things that I posted on my um, social a couple of days ago, and folks were surprised that. Well, some folks were surprised that I chose Arkham Asylum over City, and I was like, no, man, fucking Arkham City is a great game. It really is, but I, I, I just think Asylum is just much fucking cozier to blow through. Uh, yeah, no, I would agree. Asylum is the one that I actually go back to more, more often because that one is, can usually be beaten like in one or two sessions, while City takes fucking forever to beat. It. Oh, man. Uh, take the tether yeah. to one of the spiders on the outside. Yeah. Even then, like, Origins is bad on crack, and I've 100%ed Origins. It's not worth it. For the record, I love how ninety percent of people's top twenty-five have Kingdom Hearts two. It's because Kingdom Hearts two is good. Yeah, all right. Kingdom Hearts two <laughs> is. Like, I mean, it really is. In, like, it is. It is still the standard I hold that. action RPGs to. Oh wait, shit! I need to find a spider. Like, I know it's easy to think that's like you guys just need to fucking move on and play more games. Like, you guys are the Smash Brothers melees of <laughs> fucking action RPGs. So I was like, no, man, fucking Kingdom Hearts two is. Incredibly well designed. Yeah. Like even if you're not a Kingdom Hearts fan, like just the combat of that game. Yeah. Yeah. And that's to say, that it was around the, as Kingdom Hearts Two is when I started giving a damn about the yeah. boss. Also, folks were talk, like talking about like man, fucking DMC Five was in your list already after like the review. I was like, yeah, man, fuck, I had a lot of fun with DMC Five. Mm hmm. That DMC Five was amazing. I want to play it, but I don't want to open up my copy. <laughs> just download. What are you gonna? <laughs> I might. Yeah. It goes on sale again. Oh, uh, I mean, do you have it on? You could get it on PC. I, so, oh, I have it on PC, but I want I want to play the, that uh, those special PS5 special edition like features. <laughs> you can probably download that at this one. Do you yeah, know no, that? So can. the reason. Uh, so it was fucking. I don't remember who told me this, uh, but maybe it was you, Fonz. Uh, but uh, DMC5 special edition English is discontinued. Uh, so oh. the PS5 version apparently only got one print. Yeah. Which is uh, why it's Xbox. next to impossible to find. Which is why likely that the copy I got was the European one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is because a friend, like a friend, just got a PS5 and he was asking for the copy for a yeah. copy of it. And he's like, "Well, if you're lucky, a GameStop could have it." He's like, "I'm checking online. These copies are going for seventy to eighty bucks used." Yeah. And I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me? It's a PS5 game." <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, it just got one print run on PS5, so it's just really hard to find a Wait, physical. Why? Uh, a physical, five. yeah, NTSC version of it. Like, yeah. you can still get, like, the European version for, like, 30 bucks. That's what I ended up getting when I mm -hmm. thought I meant to order the North American release, but. I mean, yeah. what's the any difference? Uh, just. Well, some you of the can't. Um, you, DLC is DLC. a problem. Yeah, DLC because you, you have to have a European account. Welcome to my world. <laughs> well, well, this world sucks. <laughs> USA. USA. <laughs> well, so, yeah, do you no, have yeah. to cheat? So a friend of mine asking me, is like, hey, like, what's going on? And I was looking around. I was like, so yeah, DMC5 Special Edition PS5 got one print run, and that's it. Uh, for some reason, Xbox just got a, a second print run or something. I don't know why. It's also Xbox, so those games are <laughs> generally cheaper. But... Yeah, if you're looking for a DMC5, I'm sorry to say this, but the cheaper option is going digital. Or, or you, you know, just out. just just get a European version if you don't care for like. Like if you have a European reason. account, it's literally no harm. Yeah. 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 You're positioning yourself somewhere in Great Britain, in Britain, and you'd be good. And then there's my case where I bought DMC5, kept it sealed, and I only had it for twenty bucks, and now I don't want to open it because it's going up to two hundred dollars <laughs> now. So I'm like, fuck. It it's your retirement pay plan. bills at some point or another, yeah. It's, it's about it's about to reach the price of a, like a used copy of Earthbound. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ. I shouldn't be doing that. Actually, I've got to stop doing that. It's a nasty habit of mine as a tank. Uh, a sealed copy is going for two hundred. And we need to uh, I hate to have to reduce in the amount of physical editions. We need to have a different preservation and ownership. Hold on. No, okay, I was gonna say it's no one picking up the goddamn key. What the fuck? What? I think JC posted. 
I gotta take a look at that later because I'm in the middle of the stream now. What the hell is under me? The hell? <laughs> yeah, so right now, uh, a brand new, like right now on eBay, a sealed copy is going for 116. Uh, just a used copy is going for 70 bucks. All oh, right, this thing. Um, fucking, I'm gonna grab aggro this. Okay. You're gonna kill it over okay. the sealed crack. So you gotta seal the hole up. Because otherwise, things get chaotic really fast. I'll okay. take this one. Got that. You, don't kill it. <laughs> Get away before it's over the seal. I know that. I was about. I did a bit more damage than I was expecting, to be fair. Okay. 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 Get over here, you piece of. Jesus Christ, it does look like you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. Dude, this is, the, this is the same energy as that fucking, uh, the image of the, the, the gamer oh, on the PC the, the with Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, with Jesus. They yeah. Said Actually, do you have that? I think I have that still. I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably make that the next image. Right. You know, the thing that gets me the most is Sonic being in that image. Let's just get to this guy. What the hell is I mean, that's uh, that. I'm pretty sure that's gonna start being an issue for like games later this generation. If they get one print run and it's a good game, you're kind of fucked because that happened a lot with like the PS4 era. Mm. Well, like look at Godzilla. The game got discontinued, and now that game's stupid expensive. Yeah, but it, is the game any good? It doesn't matter. Godzilla it's here is fine. Yeah. Okay. Like, like it, it, in in that case, it doesn't even matter if the game's good or not. The fact that it's out of print, rare, means it's valuable. Uh, also, Triforce, you got to remember, uh, Gravity Rush Remastered got like oh, wow. a low print run, uh, and then of course, every time I travel, I check a GameStop and they have them for sale. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I, I've seen five of them at random GameStops, and I've been thinking of literally buying them just to resell them. I I think that's probably the play. I don't I don't want to be that asshole though. Oh. Uh, Honestly, doesn't want to be a scalper. Like I don't like I like I like buying games to play and collect them. I don't like to just buy games like thinking like just to Look, resell the value's them. gonna sh yeah yeah take advantage of someone who does have genuine interest in it and up charging them for it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Exactly. Like I I just I hate those fucking YouTuber videos that are like I bought this game because I think dude this is the gonna fucking go up uh, the video this week of the fucking Pokemon scalpers with the oh, that limited the edition Van Gogh like shit? that Van Gogh oh, stuff pissed me yeah. off. Yeah. Fuck a bunch of grown ass men putting this shit on an uh, eBay account just to make a quick buck, and they're like, "No, yeah, I guess fuck the kids or the ones that are generally interested in that shit." No, it's it, money. It, 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 it's really annoying when you're like, especially looking now as an adult, being a, as as like a Pokemon fan as a kid, and just yeah. seeing like all these grown men just stealing the shit that like I wish I had as a kid. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like, fuck off. I mean, they also like are attacking people for this shit. It's like, what the like, fuck yeah, it's is fucking wrong Black Friday me? shopping. All right, to be fair, that's tradition. That's different. Oh, okay, never mind. So you're telling me we should do it more? Yeah. <laughs> okay. My Please mistake. don't. Tradition is throwing days. bricks at scalpers. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. I mean, tradition fucking, I wish is I had that standby. Yeah. But this this fun fucking. It's an image of a cat just throwing a brick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't wish ill will to anyone, but if someone's scalping fucking video games, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I, I would I would have to agree. Yeah. It's understandable Honestly. if a game is worth that a val like a value of that. Like I'm not saying like yeah, a rule of ro like I have like three rule of roses, I'm charging three hundred for each. No. Get rid of both of them that. and keep one and then or some shit like that. Like I just scalping I hate. Actually, uh, yeah, Tristan, you want to LB here? Oh, yeah, sure, go. Oh, that did nothing. I'll take this out. Panzer Dragoon Saga, you want to talk about a game that needs a fucking re-release right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, at this point, not even a re-release, just a remaster. Just fucking re-release and just make it a widely available. Can I do that already? Or am I thinking no. of something else? No, uh, Panzer Dragoon, the original game. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that got a, a remaster, I think? Yeah, on the Switch. Wasn't any good. I have... 
Um, it's okay. okay. It's, it's perfectly playable. It's, it's not, like, it, it's not Saga, so no. Yeah, it's not Saga, so no one gave a crap. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, unfortunately. If, <laughs> I like. I'm speaking the truth. It's. I hate it because I'm a Panzer Dragoon fan. It's just yeah, like it's not Saga, so no one gave a shit. Yeah, now I'm like remember when I saw it as a kid in the store. I didn't think of anything about it at the time. And I was one of the few kids that actually owned the Saturn in my neck of the world. That shit happened to me when I'm going for a new NVIDIA card during the pandemic. Stood in line at the Best Buy all night and suddenly scoppers and crypto bros flood the entrance 10 minutes beforehand. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, like, I'm, like, I mean, but we're hands thrown, Chuck, because I feel like that is what the ultimate result of that would be. If I'm waiting in a fucking line for all night and then someone want, like a, a bunch of people just want to cut in front because they didn't want to fight. I oh my God, I would probably commit crimes. But I my mean, monkeys, look, my my board ape is more important than whatever game. Because <laughs> fucking play, oh, right? you mean I think that is completely utterly worthless. Huh? You don't understand. I paid good money to have this monkey JPEG. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous that your monkey's not JPEG. I mean, dude, I oh, will, wait, why not? Are you telling me you're a wallet inspector? Oh, yeah, no, here you go. Oh, <laughs> fuck, all my apes gone. Wallet inspector? Man, one of my students had a fucking sweat um, with one of those where things, is and I the... wanted... Okay, no. No, I think the gimmick of this battle is like when we when, when the remedy bond spawns, we have to take care of them, too. Yeah. Can I take care of all this? Hi, right, don't grow like that. Yeah, oh, fuck crypto um. bros for like ruining the planet. Wait, mm. you, what do you mean you just want a graphics card? But they're actually hurting the planet. Yeah, but whatever. My my, but I need my game in slightly higher resolution. It it, it was really shitty. Like, all right, cool. You can either wait for the game to go down in price, uh, mm. but then again, you see the immediately problem of that of like DMC five, where like, oh, cool. The game used to go for like forty bucks. Yeah, now you're you're spending seventy just to get a physical copy because you waited too long. Oh, you heard about FOMO? Well, that's gonna be extra bad now. I mean, it, it's always a lose lose situation with that. Like, all right, yeah. you either wait for all the scalpers to like lose all their stock, and then just because they like right after they lose all their stock, cool, the whole thing is already discontinued, so you still have to pay a decent amount of cash for things. Uh, we want to knock this into the gray bomb, I think, okay. or just the boss. I think, I think it's. Uh, I think this is fine. Ow! Ow! That hurt. <laughs> right, and uh, Xbox getting rid of uh, the disc drive in their main console soon, from what I've read, from the leak. Yeah, good lord. There we go. That went weirdly. Mm, good shit. Yeah, that was a little weird. <laughs> I mean, it won't backfire horribly because uh, the normal person is just going to be like, okay, this is just the future of gaming. They'll be like, okay with it. <laughs> you don't see that many people complain about not having DVD players anymore. Honestly, I kind of miss having a DVD player. You know, my biggest regret about during the pandemic era is like fucking trying to build a PC during that time. Because like, like when I was helping... um. Uh, when I was helping Nora uh, get some pieces for her new PC, like the parts that I bought for myself, like were like fucking five, six hundred percent cheaper than they were when I bought them just like a year, two years prior. I'm so happy about a about a new uh, I bought a gaming laptop right before the pandemic hit. Yeah. So like every like everything was priced just fairly well, and then like a week later, everything was like gouged to hell. Yeah. I didn't get my. I spent fucking well, like five hundred dollars uh, on a two terabyte PCI drive for uh, space, oof. and like, oh, <laughs> 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 um, you know, do I have the even answer? then, like, I made, I made a. It's been almost a year since I made my current PC, and yeah, that I think cost me just around three to four k. Uh, this one's kind of converted wide, though. Yeah. I might have to fucking uh, 
<laughs> Wait, what the oh, fuck? Oh, you, you can you can crop that. I th- yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna crop it now. Go go son. Remember to leave a slur after you clear the <laughs> like after the you fuck? clear. No, <laughs> I don't. I want to stay in Tomato Town. <laughs> I have to go to the airport. Yeah, Jesus Christ, go. So if you want to know the person in there that looks like John, his name is Elliot. He's from Internet Today. <laughs> That's fucking weird. <laughs> it, the funny part, person, he doesn't look anything like you. It's just the art looks like Yeah. <laughs> yes, my son. You must get the high, must get the gold pars. <laughs> uh, let me find the artist who made that. Because I, I, it would be great if we actually credit the man. <laughs> yeah, there's no signature on this thing. Uh, no, the guy who created it is Mike Nostain on Twitter. Here, I'll post it on the thing. <laughs> this photo wasn't for John, it was for someone else. It just, yeah, looks, like it just looks like me. Let's see. You guys heard Capcom is doing Mega Man NFTs for X Dive Offline. When I saw that, I was yeah. like, uh, you got a source on that? Can I see, I see that too? Because I, I, oh, want, yeah. I want to see people dunk on it. Yeah, I can get that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, put another picture in there that you could probably use later on, John. Okay, thank you. I, I said it once that. and I said it again. X Dive kind of deserves to die, and uh, <laughs> this is making it even easier for me to dunk on X Dive fans. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 my robot waifu with a big titty. I don't, I don't give have... a rat sass. It's a shitty gotcha game, and now it's full of NFTs. You can easily you just download no... those images offline somewhere. You don't need to play the game for it. But that would be stealing. Where there, you flew? Uh, there, there you go. I oh, I, well, it's on images for stream, I guess, because that was just my automatic thing. No, no, it's fine. All right. I forgot. Own a unique piece of Mega Man X Dive NFT artworks mm. in collaboration with Capcom in Taiwan, Capcom Taiwan, and Gumi. So this is an official Mega Man product. I am um, nobody not fucking gives a shit about NFTs anymore, man. But I mean, everyone, everyone called this That's fucking good. year or two years ago. Like I, I, it wasn't a trend to bash NFTs. NFTs were fucking dumb, dude. Like that's mm-hmm. why everyone poked fun at that shit. Now they're worthless. Good, fuck them. <laughs> yeah, because people kept on pushing, and then you yeah. got some dumbass executives decided, like, yeah, we want to get in that. That's money for nothing. Oh, people don't like this. They don't know the, what they want. The biggest issue I had with NFTs which is going to be really weird coming from me, is that all of them link to a fucking Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Every fucking, like, a project. Like, join this Discord. It's like... All right, the next one is in Gridania. You speak to the... I mean, country. AI is its own fucking can of worms. Yeah. Uh, it's fine, though. Pokemon uses it, so it's okay now. No, no, it's uh, absolutely fine. Fucking, uh, it's cool. That's all. Yeah. 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 I mean, Man. like... It's more of a it's it's more of a, like it's it's kind of scary like how much better it's getting because like mm-hmm. now and especially like last year it's really easy to distinguish what's AI because they fucking can't still do an anime for shit or mm-hmm. from everything that I've seen like image wise it all has this like sort of soulless gloss to it mm-hmm. like and it's really easy to tell like if it's AI generator or some other thing like that um, but you know I've also seen other things that are AI and the it's like fuck me, dude. Like this is kind of depressing. Um, <laughs> to add a bit to that depression, uh, yeah. I do have a friend that do- he doesn't do NFTs, but we were talking about it. He does adult artworks. Okay. He, he has a Patreon for that. Uh, he's not getting, judging. He's he's been beaten. Yeah, no, not judging that. It's okay if you draw like, yeah. your, your horny shit. Uh, but he has been beaten, beaten in sales and like Patreons from an AI, like just AI. Our that fucking that's, that doesn't make any sense to me man like fucking like it's one thing when you're supporting like artists on a patreon right nsfw or uh, sfw no matter what though but what, when yeah. the the creator you are supporting doesn't even make the damn thing themselves mm-hmm. and you are essentially paying someone to make you a piece of art that they themselves don't really make it's just fucking weird man like i don't understand like i guess like the argument is like the end result matters but it just fucking feels weird yeah again this this always this always comes to the problem of what is the common man gonna care yeah and i I think the answer is the common man does not care because the common man does not know 
it, yeah. it's it's something that will be forever done in niches that we all have. Yeah. It's forever stuck in video, like the problem with video games. Yes, we can complain about video games, but as long as it sell it sells well, yeah, people won't give a shit. Yeah, general audience is ultimately what matters and what pushes these cells. And if they don't know, they don't care. Yeah, you know, and I know it's like. The, the the idea, the thought of processing that is what ultimately makes it very depressing. Because it's like, well, man, what the fuck do I do? And you do what you can, but... Yeah. You stick to your, you, you know, if you got principles, you stick to your fucking principles. And what I think at that point, the best you can do is hope that enough people respect you for it and continue to purchase your goods. You know? That's the way I look at it. Because like it or not, this shit's here to stay, and most won't give a fuck. Yeah. And if we get lucky, you, and if we're lucky, and if you're lucky, it'll oh. be like NFTs just suddenly crashing. That's great. Uh, I mean, uh, what's, uh, what, like, what's next? I'm sorry, Rob. Uh, what's next after? Uh, um, uh, it is uh, Ampador. Har Ampador the, lost it, the lost city of Ampador. You have to go to Gretania to the uh, head of the country guild. Okay. It's called uh, One More Night in Ampador. Right. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. After that one, Tech Bros will be the uh, fucking death of us all. My only hope is that I live long enough to piss on their graves before I do. I yeah, mean, but then it, the it fucking Tech Bros have a grave. They have a tombstone that like self clean or some other shit. So like that pisses yeah. on there for a second. No, it probably has their NFT on it or something like that. Uh, I mean, I mean the big um, you said the Conjurer's Guild, right? Yeah, Conjurer's Guild. I mean, again, the te the biggest thing about like the just like yeah, you can make fun of tech bros, but the reasons they're being hyped so much is that the common man sees them. Well, they're making money for they're making a shit ton of money mm -hmm. just by doing like the simplest shit. Like that's the biggest issue. Just look at the world's most richest, therefore handsome, uh, smartest <laughs> man in the world, Elon Musk. And I hear he has a fucking eighteen-inch cock. Yep. Uh... I hate saying that. <laughs> I joke, I joke. I hope people understand that shred of irony that I'm saying anytime I fucking mention yeah. that man's name. Yeah. Um, I just, I just fucking despise that man. But he's, but he, but he made, the, but he's the world's richest man. So he must mean that mean that must mean he's the smartest man in the world. What's never mind. He's behind you. A, never mind. He spent forty four billion dollars on a fucking like app <laughs> that's now worth under like eight, like eight million. You don't talk about his failures, only what he has his successes. Okay, what has he succeeded at? Uh, he made money, and that's all people care. <laughs> he inherited money. Oh my god, the man. Bitch. <laughs> and honest to god, like, I don't give a fuck if this sounds like holier than now sort of shit, but I find it laughable of all the fucking bros that follow him around lapping up the shit leaking out of his ass cheeks, hoping for a handout. Like, that is honest to god like the funniest and also the most depressing shit i've ever seen in my life that's why i do not follow what this fucking guy does i blocked him on twitter and i will keep on calling twitter i also have him blocked on twitter well I just, I mean, guys i won't mean anything that's x now you should be blocking him on oh yeah yeah no no no, no, no. get it right it's elon musk presents x the everything X. fuck you <laughs> just <laughs> fuck off i hate everything that just came out of your mouth <laughs> Let's see, if I was going to tie it to a chair and figure <laughs> force figure with Icelandic licorice. Apparently it burns, according to Linky. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't He didn't buy Twitter. He <laughs> Masterful gambit, sir. <laughs> 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 He's literally setting himself on fire. Yeah, it's the one I... Yeah, I remember the comic. I saw it was like him but, seeing a dude driving a car, oh. he buys it off and, and drives it straight into a tree, and I was just applauding it. All right, I'll send him hard. Um, all right, go play a little selfish this time. Uh, gotta see Editha here. Uh, so I'm gonna invite Editha. We know, we all know we can just leave X Twitter at the moment. Uh, but it's kind of hard to do that when, you know, it's tied no to a lot of things that we do. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it's, uh, and the alternatives are taking a while. Yeah. Alternatives sure. are going to take some time to build up if they do. I mean, that's kind of the question, right? It's like, is, is something like Blue Sky even going to take off to, to make it worth it? And all I can say is, I don't know. Um, I, you can just hope that it does. Honestly, we just need we just need him to implement the pay for using X thing, and oh, there we go. Oh yeah, no, the moment that drops, you you know, like people are just gonna fuck off. But yeah, the biggest issue I, is just like Twitter is just a very special website that is kind of hard to recreate mm -hmm. with like just people, I guess. 
Because you can have an alternative, but like unless you have like the kind of the chaotic fire that is Twitter. Yeah. Like it's it's a really well, hard thing. Though, like, for, so far, like the the, the, the the one praise I have for Blue Sky right now is because because it's not exploded. You know, the, it, it's kind of like a, a, a niche sort of closed community sort of thing. I know artists love Blue Sky. Um, from uh, from my from my circle at the very least. Um, so it's like I mean that's cool, and you might you know that might be compromised a bit if Blue Sky takes off for whatever reason. But it's also like. The issue that I'm currently fighting with myself when it comes to like making the shift over to another place because you fucking hate one option over the other so much is that you know it, I it took me ten years to fucking build that 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 Twitter account you know and like it, it's still like like the, the the best way to like push shit outside of just like using community posts on YouTube that sort of thing which like honestly God that's more of a me problem I completely understand that you know that's just something that I need to work on. But it's also like the idea of starting over on something is just kind of exhausting. Despite the fact it's like, dude, you're only 36. Like you got plenty of time left, I hope. <laughs> yeah. I mean, one thing I've been noticing is that I've been getting a lot of artist bots following me on Twitter. I'm like, uh, what? Uh, I get those porn bots all the damn it, time it, now. It, it's fine. Elon Musk said he's fixing the bot problem when yeah. he bought Twitter a year ago. Any problem he's tried to fix has uh, not been exactly a problem. It's not Jesus and Johnny, it's someone else, it just looks like Johnny. Yeah, it just looks like me. It's a stoppelganger. Oh, God damn it! I get that, but honestly, in your case, I don't think it's going to be that pain in the ass. I, like, I, I ultimately want to go to some place that makes me feel comfortable or just happy. Like I, like, I still use Twitter, right, because it's essential to what I do. And I also just like to stay in touch with some folks, but at the same time, I also got to, you know, it's a package deal. Like, you have to take everything that comes with it. And mm -hmm. everything that comes with it, every day, I, I get it's worse. I, I, I fucking hate looking at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I get depressed and that sort of shit. On desktop, at the very least, I have a plugin that disables trends uh, and that sort of thing. So, like, I don't, I'm not totally online 24 7, which I don't think anybody should be doing in their lives. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, like, stuff information trickles down anyway and like it or not there are just some things you're going to be made aware of that you wish you didn't and it just puts a sour on your whole day yep like it's it's good to it's good to remain privy to the world around you at the same time i also think no one should be absorbing information on a 24-hour cycle because that shit is just rest. overall detrimental to your health man Something, I mean, something it, Kojima predicted this something something Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the I mean, it's, it is. It has been proven that you just need to disconnect, otherwise you're going to have a meltdown. Yeah. Like being, I mean, the, we, 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 it's called being terminally online. You know, and most of the time we we use that as a, a derogatory statement, as like folks who just need to fucking go outside and touch grass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but I think, like, on a, on a more serious note about that, it's also, like, no one should be staring at their social media page all fucking day. And the yeah, big, doom scroll, dude. Thing, Don't fucking doom scroll. The best thing I've done in my life is delete Twitter off my, like, f like the actual app. Yeah. Like, that, that means, like, I actually have to go out of my way to open up a website to go into tw Twitter. Yeah. And that helped and that helped me a lot just to get off Look of that away. website. Like, a, like, a lot. Uh, the blue dino's thing is staring inside, so everyone outside. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when he, uh, when this when Akamov costs, uh, casts near Squama, it's going to create a clone of your character, and it's going to do a a huge conal AOE depending on which way it's looking. So to counteract that, what we do is that before the cast finishes, we have everyone look away so that your clone is looking away uh, when it spawns in. Otherwise, we have to do like a big song and dance like that. Not the end of the world though. Okay, uh, look away. Uh, look away now. Look away no. now. Look away now. Look at it's only the end of the world when uh when the tank forgets to turn around. Yeah. Oops. What's up? Why do you say oops? You'll see. Oh. <laughs> I turned around to do. Uh, what Don't I turn one second... around. I had one cast left of freaking arc impulse, and that happened. And you got a goddamn fire claw. Cloud hit me. I mean, the biggest issue with social media this is just everybody wants to be the main character. Yeah. Oh my god, you are not fucking lying. Uh, June, to answer your question real quick, do you think there'll ever be a new Final Fantasy MMO? No, because 14 is so successful. 
Yeah. Uh, that's when 14-2 will be a thing. Yeah, yeah. when 14-2 comes out, yeah, then we're all fucking screwed. Uh, but uh, I don't think there's ever going to be another uh, 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 Final Fantasy MMO because this one's doing really fucking well. Mm -hmm. So it's like, instead of just wasting resources on creating a whole other ass game, just improve this one. Which they are. I mean, we're getting a graphical update now. And Square will oh, never yeah. make another. Well, okay, you said FF MMO. Yeah, like, yeah. Square will never make an MMO. It's like, ah, Dragon yeah, yeah. Quest 10 will like to make the differ. Unless but Square I, goes I under, which I don't think it's good. I don't think it's going to, JC. Like, honest to God, I think I think 14 is doing a lot of hard carrying for Square Enix. Yeah. Well, again, Square Enix isn't just video games. Yeah. They have, they like, they actually, they're a publishing company. They also are technically an animation company. So, like, uh, don't they have a big, uh, big market in um, gambling in Japan at the very least, too? Or is that Konami? Yes. Yeah. No, that's, Konami. No, that's, also, that's Konami. That's also Konami. Uh, but, they, but, they, but they've also done stuff like that for. Like they have licensed pachinko machines yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I remember that. Uh, if I recall correctly, Blue Dino pull these guys into the sunlight. Yeah. Uh, the corpses need to be exposed to sunlight to get rid of the barrier. Ow. Game Freak, I agree that we ne that it's kind of a shame that we never got Dragon Quest X. The problem is I don't think it will do well in America. No, I don't because think it's a because it's because at least in Final Fantasy we got lucky with eleven, so they were able to push fourteen here. Uh. Dra it, the problem with Dragon Quest is it's so like still turn based. Even as an MMO game, it's still kind of hard to like, you know, get the attention of people to play that. I have no doubt that I probably would enjoy myself to an extent. Uh, fucking uh, Yoshi P had a hand in that too, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, Dragon Quest X, yeah. Uh, so therefore, it's good. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wait, according to all this, uh, Jason's asking, how is that Dragon Quest X offline game? I, I kind of forgot that was even a thing. That's the first time I'm here of it. Yeah, I don't... I, yeah, I haven't really been paying attention. Um, you know what? Actually, now that you guys are here, because I was actually kind of struggling about this question uh, with a, a couple of friends on another, another Discord. Uh, we were talking about a uh, very uh, super influential anime, like we're talking like Shonen Jump stuff specifically, and it's like what is considered like one of the big like names out there. And I, we're talking about what like, I'd say. Well, it depends on the era that you grew up, because if, if you're a '90s kid, you're likely big Dragon Ball fan. Uh, yeah. If you're from the aughts, early aughts and stuff, you're a big Naruto fan. Uh, mm -hmm. and then yeah. I, th I thought about One now Piece. Probably... Nothing. I'm thinking about One Piece, and, and, and it's like. Well, One Piece was mocked relentlessly because of that shitty four kids, like, handle. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. caused it to explode in the West afterwards? If it did. Um, hmm. my guess would just be how cons how it actually just got better over time. Yeah. I'm talking yeah, specifically that's... Western markets. I'm not talking about worldwide. I'm talking about Western markets. I'm pretty, and that, yeah, it's like, that's... and that's where I, like, because I don't read One Piece. I don't watch One Piece, any of that then. So I'm completely unaware of like what made it explode as much as it did. Yeah, I think it's just they it kept on going. Yeah. Just, it yeah. Kept, so it, it, it just persevered, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Like it had good character development, good character arcs. It had some amazing like fights and arcs. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it actually dealt dealt with some subject matter in a very mature way, honestly. Strangely enough. So no, it's kind of weird but hearing it from a, about a character that can stretch all over the place, but I think that can't be. Yeah, because we're talking essentially like the anime uh, Mount Rushmore. It, just in terms of general appeal, and I was able to think of Dragon Ball, Naruto, and I, like, I was thinking One Piece, but I was also like, oh wait, when did One Piece explode again in the West after the four kids shit? I would say like, so I would say probably around 2000, like mid 2000, like early 2010s, like up to 2012, I would say like, yeah, it probably jumped up in uh, jumped um, up again. I don't count Pokemon Blue Dino because Blue Dino is a uh, Pokemon is a video game franchise before manga or anime. Uh, not to say that, not to uh, decry the success of either the manga or the anime because those are those are hugely big as well. But I'm talking just uh, something that started as a comic book or a manga and anime rather than a video game. Like One Piece is also really hard because it's still technically a '90s anime. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. just stuck at the moment in like the year 2023. Yeah, 
I mean, because at least now, at least now, when there's anime adaptations, it's usually about a year apart where it's going for. Uh, right now, like I think One Piece is only like a like under a dozen chapters before it's current at the moment, like Damn, during uh, yeah, anime. Uh, One Piece has all usually had to deal with. Yeah, but had like, to deal with if we're talking about like today's age, then yeah, then mm -hmm. you talk about like my hero, my hero, or um. My hero Jujutsu Kaisen. Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Chainsaw Attack Man. Titan. Do we? Chainsaw I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't say Jojo? Chainsaw Man. Not cha no, but Chainsaw Man is also getting up there though too. I got a lot of friends that love the fucking shit out of the Chainsaw Man. Mm, uh, let's see, but she told my beloved. Uh, there was. Uh, I, I mean, jo G well, thing. Is, yeah, I guess jo after the, well, JoJo got a second dose of life with the. Uh, David production animation. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Jojo was shown off first here in America with the OVA. And, and that, goes as, that goes as, uh, early, echoed as early as the fucking 90s and uh, yeah. early 2000s. But then again, that only started with uh, uh, Stardust Crusaders. Yeah. Thankfully, they got a whole new, again, shot in the arm between the David Productions uh, adaptation of Phantom Blood. Yeah. Even though before that, we got that weird movie that's technically lost media at the moment, I guess. Yeah, from and then there are guys like me who learn through about JoJo through memes for a four through the four channel hey, memes. Uh, any ex any exposure is better than no exposure. Yeah, I was like, what the hell is this guy? Why is this guy throwing? What's a tank roller? What what? The first ever instance of JoJo that I ever saw uh, was from my uncle. He was showing me the OVA, uh, not the entire thing from scratch. We didn't watch the whole thing, uh, but he showed me uh, Jotaro against uh, Darby. And how he just fucks with him because he's trying to bluff him. Yeah. Um, and I thought that was like no, no, that was that was that was weird, bizarre. You might even uh, say. <laughs> uh, I got I got exposed from it from the Dreamcast game that my friend had when we were kids. Yeah. So like when I first moved to America, he had a Dreamcast, and JoJo's Bizarre Adventures was one of the games he had. Hmm. Oh, Blue Thunder, your stance fell off. Uh, yeah, there you go. But even then, I haven't actually watched anything out of, of JoJo. I'm probably gonna wait until I get my own place and just marathon it for a bit. I wouldn't recommend marathoning it. I just recommend, fine. yeah, just do it. Okay. In, just do it in bits. Okay, I'll refer to your experience on that. I said I haven't really been into watching anime for. for I'm very picky with years. what I watch. I'm very very picky with what I watch because there's just so much of it. Yeah. The thing is, I'm, I'm probably gonna sound like a, a snob and says, but just with the explosion of isekais recently, it's just made me go, yeah. It's not even so much the yeah. fact that it's an isekai that drives me nuts, it's that I hate these fucking things that have like paragraph long titles. Like, and I know that's mm -hmm. like my that's life that's in the underworld, like my life in the other world, where I used to be a cuck and now I'm the grandmaster of sex. Yeah, mm. that kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the and they all. It's always this one main character. I get all the ladies to fall in love with him for some fucking reason. And then some people are starting to use these for friends fantasies. Like, oh, I got actually cut by the main character, so I'm gonna I, I go still... do something. Like this. It's like, what's going on anymore? I, I will say this though. Out of the out of all the isekais that I never watched, uh, uh, isekai uncle is probably one of my favorites <laughs> that I've seen recently. <laughs> Mostly because the uncle's a Sega fan, uh, but it's actually really good. I mean, I just saw one about. Uh, actually, it's not an Isekai. In attack it's not an Isekai, but basically, there's this manga that I've been reading recently. It's about a guy who is returned from an Isekai, and the world's moved out. Like, it's been about 16 years since he disappeared, and he's just arrived as a homeless bum. Uh, get he's the like, boss out of the, um, the bubble, Blue Dino. Yeah, that bubble is Regen. Uh, there's oh, yeah, an isekai of a dude just stuck in the toilet, so like, isekai is <laughs> anything. Yeah, so this, this boss has a gimmick where it's either like, I think light aspected or dark aspected. When it's dark aspected, a lot of its attacks like do the opposite of what it's supposed to do. Yeah. So now it's, we killed it once, so now it's going to have a detrimental effect, so regen is, is actually going to be like a dot. I think on everybody, so, yeah, so get it out of the thing, yeah. Uh, what's isekai? It literally means you have been reincarnated in another world. Uh, isekai just means uh, a different world. Yeah. Uh, 
So, for example, like, I've been doing these seconds for quite a while. Uh, one of the earliest ones I do remember seeing was uh, El Hazard. Yeah. Uh, that's an old one. Uh, actually, technically speaking, Shadow Prince is one as well. Uh, <laughs> that's Shad a flow, yeah, I guess Shadow Prince is an easy guy. Fuck you, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I pissed on that. Uh, there is Escaflone, that's also Isekai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make character, it, 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 anything where the character gets into a different world from their own. That's Hold on, uh, Sonic X is a reverse Isekai? Hold on. Why, yeah, why reverse? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, oh, shout out to Haikuto. Reverse, it, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Sonic X isn't a, isn't a reverse, it's an Isekai because the main character is Sonic. I don't. I will refuse to accept Chris Thorndike. -like. That's the main character. And then later on he goes to the Sonic world. It, it, it's kind of shit because like it's just it's just the explosive of like, the explosion of light novels in Japan hmm, yeah. that's just been like Isekai and light novels are just getting adapted to anime and stuff. That's just because people because people in Japan are fucking tired of the world. They want to go somewhere else. <laughs> but that's low puto. That's low puto. And honestly, I can't blame them considering how shit it is over there. I don't know. My taste in anime has changed throughout the years. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I'm more of a manga. Uh, like, I'm more of a manga reader now. I don't really. Yeah, so CJ is like, some of you actors on this some unspoken quest to find every isekai out there. There's not. <laughs> 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 well, what the fuck am I doing here? Yeah, I still say that one of my favorite. Uh, well, recently, uh, the more I think about it, one of my favorite anime has been made in the past. I think, fifteen years has been Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I just have so much fun. Okay, let's see. We're done here. Next up, we have to go. Oh. Did to... they get rid of the flavor text? Did they? No, I said I watched flavor text. Yeah, I recall there being flavor text with this guardian statue that it, it highlights like the jewel that apparently gives this thing life. Mm. Um, but I, I guess they that maybe it, maybe it depends on like the kind of quest you've already done. Yeah. Uh, that sort of thing. All right. Uh, we're going to hand over the quest for this one, and then we're going to take a small break because my stomach is okay. kind of grumbling a bit. Uh, I need to get some more water. This place is sweat. We also got to change uh, the image, too. Yeah. Let's see. After this one, we have about one, two. We have about three dungeons after this one left. Okay. Optional. So it's not months. Yeah, because the and other ones are MSQ. And we'll we'll yeah. be doing those later. Yeah. At least this at least this anime season is looking something more interesting. That Goblin Slayer is finally getting a second season. Took three oh, years, yeah. damn it. Goblin Slayer is an anime that relied on initial shock value and then the rest have I mean, I mean, yeah, the initial shock value is there, but then like the rest of it's actually just really good because I ended up binge reading the entire thing. Damn. Mm-hmm. Right. I still, okay, and the next one is Hallbreaker. Oh, is it? Okay, then cool. Then we can just jump into it immediately afterwards. Yeah. Okay, let's find ourselves right. a um, nice place. No, no, we can just stay here. Because there's no enemies here. And we're okay. too high level to aggro or anything. Why is oh, that switch? God. Oh. Alright, uh, fucking. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Gotta get a refresh on my drink. Uh, comms are still hot. Uh, I need right, to I'm gonna go get some water. Yeah. I guess it'll just be me for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, chat. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to be streaming Phantom Hourglass tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. How's everyone doing in chat? That's good to hear. Oh. Well, I hope you guys hold up there. I uh, wish you the best.
Only a family of four? Not a whole generation? My thoughts on the MGS collection beyond MGS1. Um, I never had any issues with the frame rate. Uh, again, I played so many different versions of MGS2 and MGS3 that the frame rate never bothered me. Uh, especially with MGS2, playing it on the Vita didn't really bother me. The, I played through the original Xbox version, which has horrible frame rate, but it's fine. All right, I'm like, back. The biggest issue I kind of see with the collection is just that people are just going to overthink of the resolution, not really enjoy it for what it is. Yeah, like 30 on like 30 is kind of baffling seeing how like the PS2 version ran at 60, but I don't think it's a deal breaker. Mm, don't underestimate people's pet pettiness. Oh yeah, no, I, I mean like I'm looking forward to seeing everyone complain about Metal Gear, like the Metal Gear collection once it's out. Uh, Wait, me yeah, they're gonna reel about Metal Gear being too woke, and then why <laughs> did they make they made it too woke? And where's the yeah, funny senator? That. Where's the funny senator man from Rising? Oh my god! At least fifty videos about some bald, angry dude just saying, yelling that game is woke. The other fifty are saying it's anti woke, and everyone just. What do you mean asshole. it's telling me to ask? What do you mean it's asking for my nationality in MGS two? I'm American, you, damn it. That should be the default nationality. What do you mean I have to start staring at asses to find this one chick? I don't have to stare at man asses. Oh, uh, yeah, like at least, at least with the current versions, hopefully the codec call loading shouldn't be as bad as the PS3 version. Mm. Also, hopefully, the, the resolution on the pre rendered codec calls don't start fucking the bed. <laughs> Taint flip. Oh, good lord. It's not a talk about you, kid. Uh, Fonzie, do you still have the picture we took off together with uh, David Hayter? Of course I do. Where, oh, I, am, where I was wiping away my tears for fucking crying in front of him. <laughs> Man, I was just happy to see him. But would you mind sending me that picture? Oh, yeah, no, def can... definitely. Definitely. Uh, let me see. Okay. Now, it was so amazing meeting. It's, it's the first time in ages I've actually felt really shy around someone. Dude, I, I didn't expect to literally break down in front of the man. <laughs> uh, that's pretty gay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, cut it, cut it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's David Hader, and like when he says, hey, you're pretty good, I just like. Oh, dude, like that, 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 that hit, dude, that hit me like really well. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Man, it hit me as well. I was like, okay, I'm back to pee. I feel like I'm a seven year old. Also, though, one of the best moments I had with TMG is when he just fucking crashed my panel before it started. That tried to get the calorie mate. I'm Dude, so I sad that I wasn't able to make it, but Guitar Hero <laughs> kind of took priority. No, no, I get it. You're just casually winning a fucking Guitar Hero tournament. <laughs> my jaw dropped when that happened. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> is this happening? I used to see this on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll get you ready to go here in a second here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it. Hopefully next year I'll actually be able to attend your panel. Mm. I'm looking uh, forward to it. I, uh, I've kind of just accepted the fact that uh, TMG is still going to be my yearly travel thing from now on. And I'm yeah, it's probably going to be the same for me. <sighs> and honestly, I'm all for it. Let's go there and meet my friends. I miss RetroCon. Actually, it's kind of big. Shrink that down. Yeah, let's just shrink it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I just love that. I just love that picture for <laughs> <so> fucking months. <laughs> I think I grabbed it from Fonzie. Uh, okay, we are about to do Hallbreaker Isle Hard. Thankfully, this is a little more interesting than regular Hallbreaker. Because Hallbreaker oh, is Lord. a fucking snooze fest. Uh, let me see. Fucking it's on. it's one of the damned. Dungeons, when I get it, I die on the inside. Uh, I'm going to invite Hisoka. Uh, Joaquin will get priority for the next one. Mm -hmm. He's been he's been following us for about uh, <laughs> five days. <laughs> <laughs> well, more like three hours, but you know that's close enough. Uh, Psychotic X, yes. Um, the folks that I'm inviting are folks that are watching the stream. Um, but it's kind of like I don't really have a priority system outside of if you haven't helped us yet, then you'll get priority. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but yeah. But essentially how it works most of the time is that folks who are watching the stream are helping me uh, do this shit. How dare. Uh, Adam, if you want to ask a question regarding SGB, go right ahead. I'm just going to give you a heads up now. If it involves asking if we're going to play this or that, the answer is going to be eventually. Uh, or if the answer, if the question is whether or not we're going to resume Seven Saints Row and Spider-Man 2, again, the answer is going to be uh, eventually because that, that's not our priority right now. I'm good to go. Uh, are we are uh, planning on bringing back Smash Saturday. I mean, right now, SGB is on a very part time schedule. We only meet once uh, out of the week. And even then, that's not every week. It's every other week. And it's like, whatever we can record in that small amount of time, we'll do it. But we're not looking to have a full time schedule as we, as we did before the channel uh, went on hiatus. Isn't that just to prevent you guys from burning out again? Yeah. Well, it's also because we only have so much time in the day. Yeah. You know, and the, for Ash to be to work, all four of us need to be there. So myself, uh, Elliot, Matt, and my uncle. Who hasn't unlocked it? Who's cringe? Uh, let's see. Hello, that's me. <laughs> I am cringe. Oh. I forgot to go finish the quest that more with the dry docks. I'll be right back. Oh god, I, f I, I found some old 14 photos. Oh my god. Ew, this is me in Heaven's Ward. That's that's cringe. Oh no. Who didn't unlock it? Uh, me. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot the final stat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know to hit, hit a rage check when you're good. Yeah. I think also Blue Dino forgot it, so. It's one of those, oh wait, I forgot the last step. I was at the door, then it turned away. It went to... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I found some of the rare photos of me being a Lollafell. Crazy. What bet did you lose? Oh, no. This is like... <laughs> this is like launch Heaven's Word where I'm like, I'm going to be a whole new race at the beginning. Hmm. I got a free Fantasia from the physical... From, like, the deluxe edition. Uh, and then I immediately just changed back into a... To a... To a human. I don't like this. Oh, uh, you're, you're a normal... Basic bits as a human like me. Cheers. Uh, what I think of the Simple Ace DLC for RE4 Remake, it was great. Um, it is well, I haven't played it much yet. better than the OG Separate Ways. Uh, and if you haven't played it yet, you should. Uh, I'm guess, sad that it guess. wasn't released with a whole new version of Resident Evil 4 first before it was uh, ported, I'd say. Honestly, just get the RE4 Remake. It's absolutely amazing. It is, and get it on PC and uh, downgrade it to the part where you can do the fun glitches in the game, where you can just skip your story. <laughs> All right, this was just the test place, if I recall correctly. Yeah, the 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 context of this dungeon is it's it's not really so much of a dungeon; it's more of a just a it's a gauntlet of uh, training exercises. You're essentially whipping these soldiers into shape. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, you're beating up some beasts. Uh, Selena's doing fine. So is Diego. Both are fucking food gremlins, though, around this time. Uh, like, despite the fact that their balls uh, are fucked. That's just cats in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot I faced a VTuber at an anime con at Yu-Gi-Oh. What do you mean? Um, I fought I fought a cosplayer doing a one of the Hollow Life members as a cosplayer, and I fought him at Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> and and uh, of course, they were playing Tier Limits, so I got my ass kicked. Diego was the Bodega Cat. No, that was Chico. That was a couple of years ago. Diego is the uh, orange, the tabby that we adopted while I was in Georgia. And Diego uh, is which, just a fucking bundle of joy. Uh, which member? Us, we say. What do you mean? No, that's that was the that was the person cosplaying. The oh, okay, okay, okay. Person okay. We say. Are you telling me you lost to a YouTuber? You're gonna yeah. Get, that means you're not gonna get all the likes, yo. 
Ooh, get them out of the orange ship. It gives them a it gives them a buff as long as they're in it. Yeah, they get haste and damage up. Damage up. Oh man. I was checking out the buffs the descriptions and like uh damage up just damage stealth is increased. Haste. Yeah. Weapon skill cast time, recast time, skill speed spell cast time, recast time, and auto attacks are increased. You uh, could just say they're moving faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they snorted a fuck ton of crack. Oh god, it. all right, I found the TMG photos. I just found the photo where like the guy in front of us had every Metal Gear <laughs> getting signed. All right, fuck. We stood in that. How long did we stand in that line? Wasn't like it was a three hours? hour. It was a three. It took us three times to get our like to get our signatures. Yeah. And I was I searched the I scoured TMG for a copy of Metal Gear Two. I guess I two. The one I was gonna buy back home, uh, that one got sold. Oh yeah, right, we've been on some ladies. I think Chris has the photo because I don't have it in my uh, in my thing okay. at the moment. Okay, probably have to ask him to send uh, the it later. The photo with Mitrios and Chris at the uh, Metal Gear line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty sure Chris has that. Okay, I'm probably gonna send him. Yeah, we we need to uh, we need a uh, we need that photo. What the fuck is it? You know, it's kind of weird. It's like I've, I've done so many damn side quests mm -hmm. with this pirate lady uh, and her squad. I just forgot that you fight her and her minions in this dungeon. So it's like they're not pirates that don't do anything. They, they actually do stuff. They're, they are actually, you know, pirates. Yeah, pirates. I forgot the only photo I took with you, John, is just with you and Nora while she's dabbing. <laughs> <laughs> I will frame this and put it on my wall. I mean, there was a it'll it'll make a nice dartboard. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm coming after your ass next. <laughs> I mean, there was a group photo we took after we went out to eat. Oh yeah, I, I still have I still have that photo. The one thing that I realized is that I look like a total creeper because I'm just behind John's head. <laughs> just my I wish to smell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's come on, like I'm like fuck. Why did I just go there? I got the group photo of us uh, before you left home. If you, yeah. if you want that one, I, I, have I, it. Think, I, I already have it. Oh, fucking, it's Joe Sasquatch. Monkey, become monkey. Ultimate clear where. I think after this one we start fighting. No, yeah, this one we're going through a little bit of a. Uh, after the next boss, we're gonna start just fighting humans. Yeah. This is like the last of the animals. These aren't monkeys, these are Sasquatches. I mean, what the Sasquatch is not a ginormous monkey. Ah, uh, well, you know. That happened on return to monkey, school coat. So, return to monkeys, so play Samurai again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or main assault bad guy in your stripe number. <laughs> Jet 14, return to monkey. Oh, banana. Dude, <laughs> I cannot believe. But I just had like that moment like yesterday because my fucking Donkey Kong 64 video showed up in my recommendations and normally I hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate getting my own videos recommended to me. I, I, hey, I, I, I'm just I'm, I'm really weird about that. Um, but uh, that was already almost a fucking year ago. Yes, I I felt like I just wrote that fucking rap <laughs> like yesterday. <laughs> It is kind of weird how and freaky how just time flows differently now. I mean, I was thinking about this as well when I was like, oh, right, I'm teaching that's kids. it. Unshells you your beer. <laughs> Put that email back in there. See, this is why I blocked myself on YouTube so I don't get my own recommendations either. <laughs> Wait, what? You can do that? No, but it'd be funny. It's like. <laughs> 
Okay, don't attack the shell when it shows up. It will attack you. This is counter attack. It is aid right. <laughs> but that's a completely different boss. <laughs> uh, no. See, oh, this is why I'm the captain god. <laughs> Wait, okay, there we go. Bring me the nose and wig, for I am a clown. Fuck, that really hurt. Actually, I think that, that, that I think it just kills you if you're inside the uh, the slime puddle when you get hit by lightning. Uh, this entire area. Flash freeze. Puddle. Ground's gonna freeze. Mm -hmm. Gonna stand right here. Oh, slime dodges it. Okay, thank you, uh, Soka. Oh, oops. I'm old. I mean, I think this is when this. Uh, oh shit! Oh. Uh, I uh, ow, can't control ow. myself. <laughs> Either too. I think this is actually when I started to make the dungeon like the sound started to become really interesting. Well, more interesting. We're uh, more, more uh, like patch three point three now. Or yeah, this 3. is patch. This is patch three point three. I mean, dungeons and design is really good until you have to run it every single day for dailies. John will think this is blasphemy, but Ape Escape 1 for me is the only PS1 game that outranks the Finite for me. Imagine having fucking opinions. Like, yeah, also, what do you take me for? Why would I get angry about Wait, that? Wait, hold, hold on. You said <laughs> Symphony of the Night is the best one? Metal Gear Solid is right yeah. there. <laughs> well, okay. You like something actually, more than the other game? All right. <laughs> Neat, well, anyway. <laughs> actually, I think that uh, the misadventures of Tron Bone are better. No, no, no. Uh, we will I mean, price-wise, he's no, 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 no. He's it's the most expensive game, so therefore, it's the best. <laughs> it is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> High tide and low tide. So, uh, if these guys are named after high tide, low tide, then I guess you know they're controlled by the phases of the moon. <laughs> yeah. But it's just they're just a pair together. I don't think they, they, anything changes if you like go after one or the other. So I don't, I'm only marking them because whatever. Of course, I have it. <laughs> it was this dungeon though. Like I remember doing it for the first time where I really started like getting into like the like the the background lore of like my main characters and stuff like that. Because I love mm -hmm. this. I love the fact that this place is a training ground. Uh, and. Uh, Considering the, the things that I have, my character grew up with, and that sort of shit, like it's, it's just really fun to like. Uh, there was a there was a post I saw a couple of days ago mm -hmm. where it's like the lore you have in your head over your OC, and it's like the size of like a fucking, mm -hmm. like an eight hundred page novel versus the lore that you actually write down. It's the past. It's the size of a fucking self help pamphlet or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My character's lore is pretty equal. It's just like, why is he here? I don't know. I don't know. Look, this actually, for me, buttons, man. actually, I think I started really to think about the lore of my own character. Oh, yeah, seeing mm -hmm. Google Library hard because I was like, yeah, he likes really likes being surrounded by books and yeah. explore reading things. Oh, so yeah, I, I did see Yoshi P's lore for their character, and it's like the edgiest fucking middle schooler shit. But you know what? <laughs> I think everybody is guilty of that. And then people are surprised 16 came out like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you seen the way the man dressed his and he's in his... Yeah, movies. like, it's fantastic. I don't give a fuck what your OC lore is, man. I don't give a fuck it's like, it's this, if it's the cringiest shit that make me cringe, like, from 20 years ago, I don't give a fuck. If it makes sense to you, that's all I'm <laughs> no, As so long as you don't become that asshole that tries to live it through their game. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, fuck. we're fucking, uh, not naming names, but... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Not you, Trios. <laughs> I don't think I'm pretty much. I like like the, the, the like the thing you, you have the limit break macro like stuff like so what like everyone has those I think. Yeah. I mean I can't say anything. I had literally the uh, the GFs like tutorial as yeah. my gunbreaker macro. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Then there was the entire. Then I remember the goddamn... when gunbreaker was announced. All right, my limit break is gonna be the Final Fantasy VIII tutorial. That's also the reason why I haven't touched any recent Final Fantasy game. The lack of turn base. You're gonna have to define recent game freak because Final Fantasy hasn't been turn based since fucking Ten Two, and that was twenty plus years ago. Uh, it's been turned. theoretically thirteen. Theoretically, but even then, that was uh, if if we're including thirteen, 
that was 13 years ago. <laughs> so recent doesn't really cut it anymore because Final Fantasy doesn't do turn based anymore. I don't know. Who could have thought? You know, it's hey, like this is this is Final Fantasy you thought 20 years ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like six. Actually, it was 10 too. Yeah. Uh, where is the potion for this? Uh, um, there. Uh, yeah. there. Okay, I'll take, I'll, take I'll take this. I'll take this one. Don't open the chest with the bombs. You get a nasty surprise. Yeah, the the point of um fucking hiding in the uh, well, getting the, the open the church is so you're looking for the vial that has that gets sort of the dirty venom uh, debuff that you have. Otherwise, uh, well, you just have that dot and things hurt. Like if you want to play a good, like a good turn-based RPG right now that's somewhat current. Yeah, Dragon Quest Eleven is really good. Yeah. Game Freak's 41, holy fuck, got a grandpa in the chat. God damn. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Finally, we got someone older than you, Truth. <laughs> At last, I am no longer the old part. We have a new one. I surrender my t crown to you, Game Freak. <laughs> uh, I've actually heard that Sea of Stars is also a good RPG, turn-based one. Yeah, and that's and that's and that's really new. But like, if, if I'm talking more like 3D, more like a more updated 3D, like turn-based RPG, like that. Uh, Dragon Quest Eleven, and I hear Nino Kuni is really good too, but I haven't played those. Uh, Nino oh, I hear Nino Kuni kind of dropped off after the first game, though, because I don't hear anyone talk about the second one. I kind of just Nino Kuni was. All right, for me. Probably first, the problem with Shin Megami Tensei is like Persona fans try to get into it and they kind of ruin it. Mm. So, nah. <laughs> He's no, not wrong. Uh, SMT five is SMT five is good too. Yeah, I, I, also, I, rec I recommend uh, SMT three more. That game is driven by its atmosphere rather than anything else. Josh Summer, uh, uh, Summer, I have to ask you. You said you wanted a successor to Final Fantasy X's battle system. Are you talking like within the Final Fantasy series itself, or are you talking any RPG? Because if it's the latter, then I'm sure there's tons of games that have that same system. I don't remember. Uh, we have to go back to the... Oh, yeah, the uh, I'm going back to the F-Castle. Yeah. Yeah, play, play Yakuza 7 like a Persona. <laughs> But is that that is a weird way to say play Persona Five, because that's the only game that ever. It, made, uh, made. it does it does have the Persona Five soundtrack. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly, and you know that every. What do you mean this? What do you mean the this? What's it called again? This person playing jazz music. Mm, no, that's Persona music. Every like Tokyo every reference is now a Persona Five reference. Oh, good lord. <laughs> It's Undertale Ruin Skeletons. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, can you stop writing this comic book in like Comic Sans? Did you say Sans? I'm like, no. <laughs> I had a comment that Jazz persona. Oh. But, I don't want to start. I don't want to start yelling Persona Five again. That was that was me a couple of years ago. Where everyone like around me is like Persona Five, Persona Five. I don't care. It's a good RPG. Please but, stop letting it like overthrow your life, please. No, I must uh, do it. I mean, I and then people try love playing it. Persona Three and Four, and they're like, these games are hard. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't how it's supposed to go. Uh, let's see, we don't hold break. Okay, next uh, up is Great Google. Great Google, uh, okay, Great that's Google. an auto-fire. Yep. All right. Oh, so, like, let's change the uh, fucking image. Okay. This uh, one, hmm. and we are going to use... Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> Kill him. Bojack <laughs> like, <Quanji. Jack> Quanji. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. Uh, you are Wonders Tales. Uh, where are you? You are. Uh, oh, there, right. I see him. Yeah, I see him. Time for crap. 
Oh yeah, Sin Yago, by the way, I love that edit you did about the Final Fantasy V Chocobo theme with the fucking slap. <laughs> yeah, we oh, talked yeah. about that during one stream, though, and he, he made it a reality. He made it like, oh, yeah, I love, love you for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was going over to work and then people just stared at me funny because I cracked the fuck up at work. <laughs> You need a ride? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired, Dad. <laughs> Fucking just ferry me over there. I can get a drink of water. Pick up Bart. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do not touch Willie. Good advice. <laughs> I was having to sit on the seat, but you know, the most important person is there. Oh, by the way, why is this choke up in there? Huh? What are you talking? Oh, you're talking about um the little the stuffed companion you have in your seat? Yeah, I have no idea who that yeah. is. Absolutely no idea. No idea who that is. They seem to be. I don't know why, but, the, but but just but just seeing him just makes you angry that one of a game that stars him is very expensive. These yeah. days. <laughs> uh, Chocobo GP or is that Chocobo, Chocobo Dungeon? Racing is Chocobo Racing is stupid expensive. Really? I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's the most expensive Final Fantasy game on PS One right now. Oh, good lord. Uh, not going to care like for the uh, Twitch Prime. I appreciate you watching my stuff. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks for everyone also tuning in to watch the um the spotlight I did for uh, Project O Six. It's going to be the last spotlight for Project O Six specifically because I'm, just, I'm now I'm just waiting for that the rest of the that that game to be finished before I just do a dedicated versus video on it. Um, that oh, was a, that was that oh, was a fun time. Fuck these prizes! I'm not paying seventy five bucks for a copy of Chocobo Racing. <laughs> Why spend two hundred dollars yeah. on Chocobo Racing PS4 when you can use the same amount of money on Chocobo GP's Battle Pass? Uh, I'd rather take the Chocobo Racing. It's like the box. I don't Here care if Squall's a uh, playable character. I'm not buying a shitty mobile game. I disbanded the entire party for Thunder just kicking Ahsoka out, but I didn't want to be mean. <laughs> just kick the person. I think that uh, would Joaquin is coming next. Uh, let's see, how much is Chocobo Dungeons 2? thought they asked. Chocobo Dungeons 2. Uh, uh, 40, uh, it's, it looks to be like a 40 to $60 game used. Uh, uh there's this one asshole selling it for 170 but. I'm sorry, go on. Uh, no, 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 I was like, um, uh, if you're waiting, you need to wait two minutes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking my water anyway. Yeah. It, no, it's going for like it's going to like forty to sixty bucks. It's just some asshole on eBay selling it for one hundred and seventy for no reason. Yeah, that sounds like something that people would do. Ugh, three hundred dollars for the Van Gogh stuff. That's man, it like being an old school Pokemon fan and seeing how it is now. It just sucks. Hey, you want to play one of the older games? Well, for, like, fork off an arm and a leg just to play them, like, legitimately, physically. Yep, that's how I feel. <laughs> I'm currently staring at my outlet minion. Uh, there are some minions, especially the ones that fly, that will, when you leave them idle long, uh, long enough, they will just rest on your head. Yeah, if you're allowed, um, I'm fucking. Uh, does anybody have the koala minion? Because uh, that mm -hmm. one's actually pretty cute too. Because that dude will just climb your shoulders and like rest there. Uh, same with the lesser panda. Oh, uh, lesser panda does that too. Pretty sure. Hold on, I'm going through my. No, I don't have it. Actually, I need to get more, seal more min minions. I think it's like if you slash back in them, they'll do it. I mean, the yeah. Actually, <laughs> actually, another minion that will do it as well is the Puff of Darkness. So it'll rest on your shoulder really? if you're, yeah. So it'll rest on my shoulder in, in a bit. Hold on. Oh yeah, I know the Nanamo minion does that too. But do we even have Nanamo as a minion? Or is that later in Heaven's Sword? Oh, no, I have it already. Okay. All 
Alright, uh, fucking, let's do great. Oh, this takes me back. Here we go. This was the okay. fucking dungeon to grind uh, for relics, oh, yeah. uh, for tomes. Because it was, I think, like the shortest one for your. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was the most bang for your buck. Um, and I kind of have Stockholm Syndrome with this dungeon, despite the fact that it has a phenomenal dungeon theme. But it's also like I hate being here because <laughs> I ran this dungeon so many fucking times when it was real when it was real. And oh, yeah, I remember that as well. And All also, right. this is where we're gonna hear uh, the best boss theme in. Heaven oh yeah, Street. this is our first. This is uh well, we already heard Revenge twofold in Dunscape. Um, yeah. But now this is like this is one of the first few dungeons that introduced it uh, as a like uh, end dungeon boss theme, and it's fantastic. There's also a, also the this is also where I started to really pay attention to the music in the game. Yeah. Well, hey, remember uh, Super Mario 3D All Stars? Yeah. What about it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's officially going for sixty four dollars on GameStop. Sixty four dollars. So sixty five bucks at, on GameStop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I it's mean, above MSRP. It's above MSRP. It's, it's now it's starting to get above MSRP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here it comes here. It's it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> well, well, you should have got it when it was new, idiot. I didn't want to. But no, actually, I want to pressure. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, what the fuck was Nintendo smoking that year? Well, they that same year is when they announced Chris Pratt as Mario, so probably something good. <laughs> no, no, fucking. But, uh, that was also the same year, dude. Like, I genuinely enjoyed Mario Thirty Five. The mm -hmm. fucking Mario 99 game with uh, NES Mario. Yeah. Like, yeah. I genuinely enjoyed a, my time with that. And they just took it away. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with it. That's uh, so Game's crazy. Like, hey. It's been 65 for a little while. They don't last long in my store. I think it's because of the scarcity of it, because they're, they're, they're out of print. Probably. It's kind of crazy because, like, a year ago, you can find them everywhere still. Yeah. Like, sealed and everything. But that's fucking... Uh, I don't know. Fuck game collecting. What do I even oh, do? Oh, right. Well, fucking the boy and the dragon gay. Uh, let me do my uh, bow to it. I was going to say, I don't think we're allowed to say that anymore. Yeah. yeah. I always I always do that uh, because in, in roulettes, when I when I run this dungeon... If we, go, if we pull this dungeon for roulettes, uh, I will always stop to do an emote towards the boy and the dragon gay and... The chat afterwards is always like, wait, what? <laughs> because they just don't see that book. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy for them. Yeah, yeah, good for that. Good for that dragon. Why is it in the entrance? What, if someone tries to steal it so they can burn it later? <laughs> oh, God. Make heroes are great again? Is that what I'm hearing? Hey, Scott, actually. Uh, some rare games we sell for cheaper than online sales, but even I cringe at the... Here's the thing, though, Game Freak, since you're a GameStop manager, uh, you can probably answer this. Um, in regards to the GameStop that sells retro games, I'm not. I'm assuming if your GameStop does or does not, I'm not sure. Um, if you're selling retro games, do you have to follow an MSRP guideline for those games, like an official MSRP value for old games, or do you just guys, do you guys just go on eBay and ba base your prices on those sort of shit? I'm guess uh, for, I'm guessing it's just a dig like they just look at the price, like on their system and just print the tag. Mm. Mm. You know, because when I go to when I go to uh, like mom and pop joints or like retro game stores, more often they are basing their prices off what they see offline, like online, and then just basing around that. The 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 the, the age of the the, the old fashioned mom and pop store are, are essentially dead. And they're, yeah, I'm not saying man. they're gone completely, but they're really fucking hard to find. That department is outside my pay rate, so I honestly couldn't tell you. No, it's okay, honestly. You want to keep your job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is crazy that, like, the, the best way to get Pokemon games is to, find, like, get lucky at a GameStop. Because that'll be the cheapest place to get the older Pokemon games. Yeah. This is like, assuming, of course, like, you're just not emulating shit, you know, because that's like, like, like yeah, like if like, because honestly, that's... like the end all be answers, like if you just want to play the game just to play it, just anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. But it's not ethical, John. It, don't you know if I emulate a game, it's going to cost. Listen, like, speaking as someone who like, used to like, have that kind of viewpoint, uh, no, just stop. 
<laughs> like fucking old games are really hard to come by, especially if they're out of print or never been re-released. Don't yeah. fucking spend sixteen hundred dollars on Little Samson on NES. No, it's fine. I'll I'll use them soon. Right. Thank you. Yeah, I've been thinking like I want to get a hearts, you know, a Soul Silver version of of, of Gen Two. I still but have my copies. <laughs> oh, yeah, same. yeah. And I've been I haven't been able to find one in years. And then I then I went to TMG and saw one. I was like two hundred bucks. Are you out of your fucking mind? Oh no, yeah, no. Po just anything Pokemon is just stupid expensive. Like even unless it's like stupid, obscure like. uh pinball yeah uh the mainline pokemon games are always gonna be expensive so that's why i put on my pirate head and egg leg and go yar har har pirates are in this year <laughs> i'll start spending money on all games when nintendo makes it fucking economical for me to do so until then it just my ass. <laughs> yeah i agree think I the retro game lucky. bubble resale is gonna burst at any point no no. Because no, if it's if it's not one generation, it'll be the next generation. Like folks are grading Nintendo, Super Nintendo, like third and fourth generation consoles, fifth generation too. But by this time, like two years from now, three years from now, it'll be the next generation. It'll be PS2 games, it'll be GameCube. It's already happening with GameCube collecting. That oh, generation. Fuck, fuck, Yank, yeah. fuck GameCube collecting. Like just in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's ever going to go away. It's just going to shift generations. Oh, yeah, no. Prices are slowly going down, like, post-COVID. But, like, some games are, like, after COVID, some games are kind of stuck at those price ranges and they refuse to go down. Yeah. Get really? fucked, thousand year door scalpers. <laughs> I mean, no, you but say now that, it's, the, but... it's the OG release. Yeah, yeah, never been released before in America. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I, I mean, the funny part, you... they, when they announced thousand year door remake, uh, like the prices shot up again. Mm -hmm. Because because of its relevancy. Yeah. yeah. Again, if you just want to play it, the play just emulate it. Just fucking emulate it. And you should. A thousand year door is amazing. The non woke release. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yeah, see, this is the part where, like, what, what was that ghost name? I forgot her Vivian. Name. Vivian. Vivian. Yeah. yeah, this is when Vivian was fuckable. All right. Oh my god. None of this woke dick the crap that I've been Like, people unironically say this shit is what gives me depression. <laughs> I'm depressed. Why? The person to your doors gave me depression. <laughs> Did you see the fucking uh, the the patch notes for six point five and like the the emote we're getting where the character looks bummed and then someone oh, yeah. added, someone edited depression has been added to the game. <laughs> yeah, I was laughing. Yeah, I was playing right now. Yeah, I love that one. Uh, uh what's my stance? If a character's cool, a character's cool, and that's okay with yeah. me. Yeah, my stance is like, uh, like, clearly representation matters, but it's also like, when I say who gives a shit, it, it, it's more like, I'm, I'm asking, he's like, does it Ow. really fucking matter? Yeah, you got fucking smacked, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I'm is it really that. so bad that they're just asking for some representation on a character that is clearly aces for that sort of shit? You know, fucking let Vivian be trans for fuck's sake. Yeah. It's not hard. It's really not. I mean, it... I mean, then again, these guys get angry because of an option in a game. Oh my god. Like, I don't want to get too deep into that because I don't like no. fucking wasting my time on shit that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's like, that is a really fucking silly thing to get angry about. Yep. I, I hate these Californian politics. Where do I live in? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Whatever. I'm excited for the Thousand Year Door. I'm excited for people getting mad at Mario being called Gonzalez because it's like Spanish appropriations or some shit now. I don't know. I well, mean, fucking Game Freak, you just can't share your Overwatch name like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm just uh, excited to 
I'm just excited to get, and finally be the words <laughs> for me to buy a thousand year doors. Because it's been stupidly expensive, and with my import fees, yeah. Ugh. I'd rather not have to import too much. Yeah, I was like, what, what what kind of hurdles is someone who lives outside of the country, like, what that you deal with in terms of, like, getting games new or old otherwise? Well, you know, because, you know, you know, String, String lives in Australia, and mm -hmm. he fucking has to deal with uh, import costs all the fucking time. And from what I understand, he is paying a pretty penny. It's pretty much the same, same here. I mean, it depends on what kind of thing is being imported. Electronics, uh, basically, you have, I think you have around 12.5% tax that you have to pay off it for to Ooh, import it. Like an import tax. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. And then there's the, of course, the shipping fee. That can depend on where you're shipping it from. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh-huh. No idea what you're talking about. Uh, sounds, like, sounds like something uh, like a PlayStation matter right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go look at it. Yep. It's looking pretty cozy. And though it's also the weight that also affects it. The heavier it is, of course, the harder it is to import it. It's a pain in the ass. I mean, uh, for example, there's a hoodie I want. Uh, it costs like $70. The shipping and import and all that stuff cost is 120. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh my god. Right, uh, I'm just, just making you myself. Oh, <laughs> uh, like, uh, socialism doesn't get you that far, huh, Trios? <laughs> I don't know. Is there really a, I should accept communism. No. You know, I, I'd, I'd rather <laughs> take the no insurance if it means I can get my electronics for dirt cheap. <laughs> <laughs> But, but overall, that's just the pull out of This is why I try to like say. <laughs> that's just why I tend to save this stuff for either when I go to the U.S. or when someone is willing to ship it or ship it to me for a cheaper. I mean, way. Yeah, I think the cheaper option for you is literally have one of us like hold like, like you like us order a game for you just hold it till we meet up with you again and just take yeah. it with you. Yeah, it's ultimately cheaper. <laughs> Assuming also like you're not in any rush to play it. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's what I did for my Steam Deck. I got Gento. Right, you got Gento buy for you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean honestly I love my Steam Deck, but I was like, holy shit, that's annoying. I managed to put it into my backpack and smuggle and put it pulled it back in. They can't take it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I only took my, like I'm so glad I only took my Steam Deck for like TMG because I'm like I did not have time to play anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean we did. Well, we did have that Mario Kart nonsense oh, in yeah, our hotel that, room. That, like that was a that was a group effort. I'm talking about like just sitting down, and relaxing for a hot like when I want to take a breather or something. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of impossible. Very yeah. hot. <laughs> as much as fun as as much fun as I had over there, I fucking slept for. Fuck. 14 hours when it came back, and I wasn't even delayed this time in Canada. God, I wish I was. I wish I was able to say that because we went immediately to work after that. A panda. Oh, what's up? It's gone out of sleep. It's a pretty fucking rabbit-looking panda, man. I wonder if it's a reference. Hey, look at that. It's not a blue mage well. I'm looking for a thousand year door remake, man. That shit's really fucking hype. I'm, I'm just so happy that game is escaping the GameCube jail. Yeah. A mongoose. Speaking of, I always feel bad for customers who trade in Switch games that are Peggy copies that were obviously bought from Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. It's very hard of my DLC <laughs> 5 Special Edition. That that happened to Chris when he bought uh, Final Fantasy 15. Yeah. And we told him, like, the, the DLCs are better. I was like, I can't play the DLCs. He was like, why? The game doesn't let you. I'm like, what does your box say? It was like, <laughs> Like, it says 15. No, no, no. What does the bottom left say? Peggy, you bought a European <laughs> copy. <laughs> You're a fool. You brought socialism into the country. <laughs> hey, Jason. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's also what I think when we hear the song. What a hoot. <laughs> read a book. <laughs> Give a hoot, read a book. And don't pollute. Oh, you blew it. Time to die. 
Alright, so this boss is going to do different things with the books, and we have to counteract them by standing in the appropriate puddles. This uh, thing's four tomes are push. going to spawn, and they are going to have different properties. Get them out of the uh, puddles, though. Don't tank them inside the puddles. Get into it now. And so this is uh, the library. Quakes, get inside he's... the puddle now. Get inside the puddle now. Uh, because these are uh, levitation orbs, uh, and that earthquake is how you avoid them. Uh, then he's going to respawn the books. Uh, basically, check out. That's the name of the attack. I think this one is the lightning with the imps. Yeah. All right, so Don't he's go gonna into... it's gonna turn us into imps, and we have to stand in the right puddle to get rid of it. It's the green one. So uh, wait until we're turned into imps, no. and then we're gonna go into that green puddle. Uh, tornadoes. All right, purple. Uh, dark. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's the size of that. It's a pretty easy boss. Yeah. Imps. This is right, let's go transform it into imps. We need to go into the green puddle to get rid of it. Uh, after uh, when you when he becomes an imp, he's gonna do properties of thunder three. If you're still an imp when this hits you, it really fucking hurts. So you have to transform back to normal, but to uh, mitigate the attack. I wonder if we're gonna see the last one. No, we're skipping. We're skipping behemoth. No, this is the he does the behemoth after that. He starts looping. Yeah. No, but I mean we're skipping the behemoth as in we don't have to worry about the meteor attack because this dude's already right, dead. Yeah. Yeah, I just yeah. woke up from a nap. Hmm, that sounds uh, lovely right now. Oh, uh, did you just come out of a, a binge session of uh, Frontiers? No. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> so we, uh, so uh, just a heads up, Jason, because we did, I did rant about it uh, in the beginning of the stream, but we're 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 doing the two week threshold for no spoilers or update three. I, I had a feeling. Yeah. Uh, even the, like I, I did. I did yell for a bit, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I can't. I'm not gonna go into the specifics until at least after two weeks. So if you haven't, if you haven't played it yet, update three on Sonic Frontiers. It's free. Doesn't cost anything. It's just uh, I'm I'm still gonna say buyer beware anyway. <laughs> oh, this is free, and I want a refund. No. Uh, what is left? It's just uh, really weird so that we hard. decided to wait so 22 hard. years to start screaming about towers in September. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was kind of weird taken out of context, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were told to never forget. <laughs> well, that's, no, that's, that's what forget. they meant by remembering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's a fucking like at, at the very least it's free, but at the same time, man, I, discourse about this is so fucking exhausting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially when it's something that is either hard or too easy, because the discourse is always just a bunch of shit flinging out of bootlickers. <sighs> Again, like I, like I said yesterday, uh, you give a Sonic fan an inch, they'll think it's a mile. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Miles. You know, it's that she was reading the book in, in rain. Yeah. I had a weird ass dream, and I know I should probably keep it to myself because it was weird ass. Also, this dude in the white, he looks like the fucking Kingdom Hearts character. I don't know why. Uh, uh, that's who? Lady. Who? Midnight Dew? Yeah, it's a Lady. That's a Femro. And we stand for Femros in this fucking game. Mm -hmm. I was actually part of a It's like I was pitch part black part in the a... scene. I can't see any details. I was part of a Femro parade uh, last week, actually. Went across oh, okay. all three major city states, and it was fun. Hmm. I mean, I have a. Femro also, it was aggressively horny. <laughs> Wait, what? It was aggressively horny. <laughs> okay. A lot of folks love their tall mommies. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, the last one is thankfully uh, the so question mal? is event. Is it a yeah? Uh, it's fires in Somal. Oh, fires off Somal. Uh, it's where is that? In? Is that in a? Is it's it in also? Show. Yeah, I see it. All right. Okay, where is it? And then we have to talk to Vidal No, Link is not aggressively horny. He's clumsily horny. The he man almost got his fucking channel taken down because of 
a guilty gear Bonzi. mod. Yeah, and that's because Hello. of phones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from a green screen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not here. It's fine. The fucker killed me in Halo, so uh, you still <laughs> never lose the retribution. I mean, I think you know, the best way to describe it is After that he yeah, comes from me. Like these areas here just exist and. Uh, yeah, they were rebuilt in it back in the day. Yeah. Besides, I'm hornier than Linky, so that <laughs> says something. <laughs> anyway, so about that dream. Yeah. So, for whatever reason, it was about like returning from TMG for a day or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like, for whatever reason, like Matt and uh mark are in the car okay and so they wanted to like drop by a dollar general first before hitting your house hmm. and like so i did and let them out and everything and all of a sudden they have a fucking rogue hostage situation in that fucking dollar general wait a what rogue hostage the movie Ro okay in a dollar general yeah, I mean, imagine fucking Die Hard in the Super Rocket. Okay, That's what okay. Rogue Hostage is. Okay. This is weird. Almost every <laughs> night. <laughs> it is dimension related. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, at least, you know, like, the, Mark pulls off the, the cool guy shit of, like, oh no, dude is, like, you know, holding him up with a gun and everything. Mark. Rips the guy and he falls on his own gun. <laughs> uh, we need a healer. Can you go healer again, Zio? Oh, uh, Trios. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a second. All right. Uh, I think this is a uh, this is our final uh, side dungeon, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, this is the last one. Uh, are we going to kill Nidhogg's wife again? No, no. But this is our second. This was one of the last dungeons added to Heaven's Word. Uh, this is mm -hmm. so mile hard. And um, if I recall correctly, BGM 100, because uh, the, this this dungeon's theme is a old 1.0 theme. Uh, it's called Quicksand, uh, and it's uh, it fucking slaps. Actually, so I'm going to put the music up a little bit. Excellent. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to go on in this age. Oh well. So I have made a portrait from a scholar. Right? <laughs> I'm surprised after how hard they made it after the last update, they put out a new update so soon. No, not Sonic Frontiers, a H novel. <laughs> <laughs> and by heart, I mean. <laughs> oh, I think the seven TV emotes might be turned off, actually. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew it was a very good for it. You know, really, why did this get not I'm actually curious. <laughs> yeah. If you want to play Machinist Blue Dino, it's already unlocked. Yeah. Uh, since you're in Heaven's Sword now, all you gotta do is go to Foundation. Assuming you haven't done it already. Because I saw you as Archer earlier, and I wasn't sure if you were, like, considering leveling up Bard. Oh, so the cool thing about the these ad pools specifically, um, so you see these Steam Geysers. If you leave the ads on top of them, they will get a vulnerability up. Uh, you'll make them weaker. So if you're ever in this dungeon, you wanna, you wanna lead the ads to the, the, the Steam Geysers, because it'll make them easier to kill. This goes for uh, this goes for any dungeon that has like a stage hazard. 
uh, it's always worth it to see if the ads are affected by it. Uh, there's a dungeon later down the road called The Burn uh, that has uh, these uh, rock slide uh, areas where uh, rocks will just tumble down on occasion. If you lead the ass to those, they will uh, get bones from that. And can just make them much easier to kill. So it's like, if you want to, you can grab these blooming uh, chichus as well. Like, I'll grab them for you. And then we can lead them into, like, the steam geyser here. And then we just go to town on the DPS. Not recommended. The game is very short, less than one hour of playtime. No choices or interactions are whatsoever. The fuck? It's like reading a porn magazine and complaining that it doesn't have a long read time. Stop <laughs> <laughs> skimming through the pages and enjoy yourself, you stupid fucker. <laughs> What? Never heard of foreplay. <laughs> That's why you can't fucking take your time with this shit, man. Like, that's all this literally is. It's just a visual novel. So, like, just literally just take your fucking time. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta play the long con. Got them. Long Kong was not my favorite Donkey Kong character. Always kept talking about his dick. <laughs> and his despise of Gersh Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, he's here for you. He's gonna put his dick in you. <laughs> he, he, rhymed, he rhymed you with you. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> No, I've not watched Nocturne yet, and I fucking hate it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do that after this. Fucking this bullshit Sonic Frontiers update takes all my goddamn time. <laughs> oh, that's the yeah, I don't want. Need him to do yeah, that. I know. I heard it's really good. <laughs> we don't talk about Diddly Kong. <laughs> Put your hands around him if you want some fun. Just close your eyes when he's gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> D K D K Dick. <laughs> 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 you cannot ban the broadcast. <laughs> oh, God. If he shoots you, you'll probably die. <laughs> and then there's Chunky. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, Craig is dead, too. <laughs> What do you think the D and DK stands for? Dude, all you gotta do is pronounce DK phonetically. <laughs> me! Oh, oh, this is a horrible oh, place to be I thought we were gonna kill him before <laughs> it, was, it was dead. Blue Dino, you got it. <laughs> okay. I thought he was gonna die before it exploded. Apparently not. Same here. Same here. That's what I said I had for the <laughs> exit. <laughs> okay, this is where it's like in the filibuster stuff. Oh, right. Uh, this and uh, Bailster's Wall share the same loot pool. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get the royal, um, the, um, yeah, the, uh, what the fuck was it called again? The, uh, the filibuster stuff. Yeah, the filibuster's uh, heavy coat for tanks is one of my favorite glam pieces in the game. Um, unfortunately, you can't die it. Yeah. That's the only thing I don't like about it, so you can't die it. All right. Four episodes kind of dropped down an hour, which is really weird for an anime that's not on Netflix. But, um,. Uh, free run dropped finally, and uh, John, I watch it with Nora. It's better with a partner, so you can have existential dread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I do that every day. <laughs> oh, the morning existential dread. Honestly, God, like you want to know what the worst fucking feeling in the world is for me, uh, especially like now more than ever. So I made a tweet a couple of days ago, like how I was talking about, like I was back on my night out bullshit, right? Because I just can't fucking commit to a daytime schedule for the life of me. And I hate it because most of the time I have daytime commitments when I need to. And it's like, damn, man. Like, I love my night owl shift because I'm much more productive with my, my work and shit. 
because I don't get distracted. But the problem is, is that I'm on my night owl shit and I get ready to go to sleep like around eight, nine o'clock in the morning. And you know what I think about afterwards? I wonder how many missed notifications and missed calls I'm going to have when I wake up and check my phone. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Oh look, this guy required my prompt response then. I was sleeping, so fuck me. What do you mean the government came and went to It's not even like do not disturb Lucid, it's just waking up to see a shit ton of notifications of shit that happened while you were snoozing. Yeah. Well, it yeah. Yeah. I would write, like today when I fucking woke up at twelve. <laughs> <Fucking nice. laughs> You're nice after last night. Belts there. That was pretty juicy. Mm hmm I woke up right at 12 today after, uh, after last night. Fuck, man, man. If I, if I could, if I think, if I knew if I can get away with there, some of this shit, man, I'd be a night owl all my fucking life and I just stream late at night or in the morning. Yeah. But the problem is, is that gamers. I can't do that because most of you guys live normal fucking sleeping schedules. <laughs> yeah. Nobody would sorry. be there. At least people in the U.S. Hey, people in the U.S. Right, if you, yeah, if so you like, change like, your fucking, like, like, like UK audience, like fucking finally, dude. <laughs> like, I can't be here. Right. Fucking three in the morning for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually curious about like the like the the, the the U.S. to U.K. ratio, or at least the in Europe in general. Like, how many folks here are watching from overseas, and why aren't you at bed? Uh, yeah, so let's be here. here. Go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm calling you out. <laughs> well, uh, Puerto Rico though, is that's uh, that's over here. Uh, wait, actually, what time zone does Puerto Rico follow? Eastern. Is it Eastern? Okay, okay. It's been a while. Yeah. I'm Canada's bad. not real. Nope, definitely not. Isn't that oh, just like a South Park? Isn't that just a South Park <laughs> thing? Like, never heard of the actual South Park. Yeah. Oh, get away! Uh -oh. Ow! Listen to your own advice. No, I was warning you though. I was all the way over there. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you you heeded my warning. I'm so good. <laughs> Time to learn Scholar now. God Isn't Galro just legit a Godzilla reference? Ow! Well, I think I, so. I, I, I'd assume so. Tell us what. I'm trying to get away. Mm. Fuck me. Hmm. We need that to guy. Get... Yeah. I'm trying to get uh, close enough to might use Might want to pop hollow ground. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't worry. I mean, it doesn't matter. We, we lost the healer. It was only a matter of time. I got a bit I do, love, I do love how they keep reusing this enemy type throughout the dungeons. <laughs> I'm, play I'm not dungeon. afraid of you. You learn fear. I don't think you can out heal this guy. <laughs> not just you, second wind. Second wind. Potions. Dude, like, don't, like, I'm talking to anyone here, though, like, that, that are probably thinking of playing this game. Like, don't sleep on your fucking potions. Like, just for a self-heal. Fucking super potion and hyper potions with the introduced in Endwalker. That's a free cure, too. Like, you just, just pop that. Like, if you need emergency heals. Shit's amazing. Uh, no, uh, Blue Dino, the thing with that boss is that he's, his attacks are not telegraphed. You just have to look at the boss and just respond, like in kind. Yeah. So if you like, if you see him raising his claw, he's going to swipe in front of him. If you see him hunching down and raising his tail, he's going to do a tail swipe behind him. But he can also just do a full 360 attack. So mm -hmm. just to be safe, just get the fuck away from him. Yeah. Yeah, but fucking uh, like hyper potions here. Like, this shit is just a free cure, too. And they're really easy to get. You should always have a stock, especially if you're a tank. Oh, my God. Like, your healers, 
will love you if you keep a stock of potions so that you can pop at your leisure so that the, the, the healer's not having a heart attack. But what if you want to give the healer a heart attack? Well, I, it, the, did the healer have it coming? No, but I like to be that asshole. Oh, okay. Hmm. Up, up. Coming. Oh, oh yeah, yeah Paladins also have clemency. That's true. If you, like in an emergency, you should use clemency, but if the healer is playing their job well, you shouldn't have to. I'm so fucking oh, fried right now. I forgot to even explain like a synopsis of free run. Uh, fucking magical or you know medieval fantasy party defeats the demon king. Yeah. Then they're like, "Well, shit! What the fuck do we do now?" And uh, the mage of the party, who's an elf, decides to get to know her party a bit better except you know she's an elf her party's passed away at this point oh yeah because they lived so long yeah and so she's just oh, no, 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 no. to learn about her party just stay uh, just stay max distance uh yeah so you have no reason it, to be up close to the boss and i'm just wanting to think about the aoe's right now yeah yeah well uh, even then the, the range of the heels are really big so i think you just stay just stay hard you'll be fine I'm gonna use this one, basic. Hmm? Because I can't use the other uh, so, heal on thing. <laughs> it's really good, it's really depressing, and uh, it makes yep. me not want to live forever. <laughs> yep. I guess you're then everyone well, else Anyone that just says dies. they want to live forever have clearly never lived forever. Anyone who wants to live forever clearly has not lived long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, he's gonna spit at me. He's gonna spit fire. He spit hot fire. Oh, so he's Shin Godzilla. You're not wrong. With like the purple spikes and everything that light up and everything. I love that. that Shin Godzilla's atomic breath is so fucking raw. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love when all those fucking lasers come out of its back and then when it focuses its fire breath into that laser cutter. Yeah. Like, that shit's amazing. And like you get to see it build up from like yeah. smoke to a little bit of embers and raging inferno <laughs> and cabinet laser beam, like cabinet resignation beam. <laughs> <laughs> and then Neko Arc got the ability for whatever reason. <laughs> it's Neko Arc. What are you expecting? To be fair, Neko Arc has had the ability since like the first multi one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, they've had the ability since Multiplot, but it's weird that they finally, like, modeled the animation specifically after it. I still need to watch Shin Kamen Rider. Hmm. Is that exactly what it sounds like, where the Kamen Rider gets, also gets lasers out of its back and... <laughs> uh, no, be? but it it's the... You know, most of the, the goons that you fight are like humans, right? Or yeah. like Sentai fighters, fighter humans. And what's the one thing about Sentai characters that we always like forget about? Uh, that they're humans underneath the two? No, that they're like superhuman strength. Yeah. Superhuman speed, all that. Right. So, you know, a punch isn't going to make a, go, a guy go, ah, and then pass out. A punch is going to take their head clean off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ever seen Invincible? <laughs> Spoiler warning. And uh, that's exactly what Shin Kamen Rider said. Really? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I see. So, no, it's like, it's, so it's like it's sort of looking at like a realistic application of the cool Kamen Rider sort of thing. A deconstruction yeah. in a way. Yeah. God, it reminds you of the, uh, <clears throat> the hard adaptation of uh, the Power Rangers movie. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Th that was the, um, that was from a couple of years ago, wasn't it? Are you looking at Michael it? Bay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was it Michael Bay? No, it Bay. wasn't. It wasn't Michael Bay. It was someone else, though. Oh, yeah, right. They made Ritter Repulsa into a sexy chick in that one. Yeah, like the fucking... The younger design for Rita Repulsa in that movie. I, I remember looking at that and thinking that was so weird because she looked like... Uh, this fucking girl from one of the seasons of Power Rangers, Divatox, I think it was. 
who I think, like, canonically was, like, Rita's sister, or at least in the Western uh, adaptation. So I thought that's what they were supposed to be. Term first. black is fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks, Auto Dot. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Uh, Power Rangers Turbo, the, thank you, Sonny Alton. The original Power Rangers theme appeared on my feed recently, and I sat down and actually listened to it. Wait, what I was that? One of the lyrics is like the the original Power Rangers theme. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. The one with the sweet ass guitar solo in the intro. Yeah. Yeah, I actually sat down and listened to the lyrics. Is like, what the fuck are these lyrics? They only <laughs> use their weapon. <laughs> Wait, there are other lyrics besides Go Go Power Rangers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's just, I'm like a listener, like, they only use their weapons for defense. I'm like, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, not all the time. I mean, just recently in the comics, fucking Lord Zed got a morphin suit. What? Why do they need a suit over his already fucking raw looking body? But <laughs> I mean that in two ways. <laughs> because it goes so hard, man. Oh, do you have a picture? Yeah. I'll put it muted. Nobody ever sings past Teenage Mutant. No, that's not true. Heroes in a half shell. <laughs> Turtle power. Turtle power. There you, hey, go. you can't Sing. say that. They're, They're the world's the world most fearsome Dream. fighting something. <laughs> uh, Donatello something. Leonardo does something. <laughs> right, that's okay. Uh, Leonardo uh, has swords. Donatello doesn't have swords. <laughs> Raphael eats pizza. <laughs> 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 Tiny swords. <laughs> Rafa yells, hitting the gritty. Uh, I just recently, I literally just watched me and Mayhem today, and it was a really good movie. So yeah. I'm not watching yes, it. Yes, I need to watch it. Uh, yeah, I didn't do. expect, I didn't expect John Cena to be uh, Bebop. Or, <laughs> what Rock said. Yeah. Wait, what's that? They cast another wrestler for those roles? Didn't they do that with Sheamus and, uh... Yeah, they did that <laughs> no, that Michael Bay one. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, they, Sheamus was fucking one of those guys. And Superfly is Ice-T. It is that, like, that, okay. that was great. His, his, his performance in that was really good. Uh, Post Malone's in that movie, too, so... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Check out oh, these ads gotta die immediately. Yeah. You can order one first. I don't, I don't know. The best Power Rangers theme is the sweet ass '90s guitar song. Okay, what about you the rest? Beat the, you can't beat that. Wait, which one? The minute, minute, literally the first like American. Oh, okay, there, okay. Right, right. I think they used it in the movie. It could be wrong. It's been so long since I actually sat down to watch Power Rangers. I kind of want to watch the Mighty Morphin movie again at some point. I was with. Uh, okay, good, I don't know. Oh shit! Yeah, we want to get him away from the. Uh, we want to get him away the... from the lava puddles, because every time he does the flying press, those puddles are going to get larger. Um, so you want to get him away. Okay. I don't know why, like, everyone wanted to fuck the lady in the the forest island, whatever, that they ended up on in the Mighty Morphin movie. <laughs> it is funny to think that two of the Power Rangers are in Double May Cry. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, because Ruben Langdon was a stunt coordinator. No. Um, oh, Johnny Young Bosch. Johnny Young Bosch. Um, yeah, and, then, and uh, uh, Dan Sopler. Yeah. Yeah. But um, Ruben Langdon also was a stunt coordinator for some of them, too. So, like, all of them have history sense. in it. Yeah. Yeah, because I think Ruben Langdon like, lived in Japan for a hot Yeah. Time, so, I mean, kind of speaking of Devil May Cry, uh, I wasn't the only one that thought that the Netflix trailer was actually a Doom adaptation trailer, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't hear that. Like, the typeface, the music. The font really looked like the Doom font. And outside of like the uh, the vocals to the music, it sounded like Nick Gordon at home. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me just kill the fucker. Luckily, we got a pro we got a Doom adaptation. It has Rock the Dwayne Johnson. What are you talking about? <laughs> we have two Doom adaptations. What are you talking about? Well, that's the comic. No, I mean we have two Doom films. I try to ignore that fact. <laughs> Good shit, guys. Which, well, thank you, Rock. Yeah. Yeah, we had Doom Annihilation two years ago, and uh, speaking of two years, uh, Doom 2005 was based in 2025, so <laughs> we're Those almost there. there uh, Doom. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got it wrong. This is not Duff. It's Doof from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> Several years later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought the whole clip was gonna play where it just like feeds it back to just Gurr just going doom doom doom. Meanwhile Super Sims just fucking lobotomized by the sinning. And we got questions. Oh, is Raphael you, uh, Psychotic X? Yeah, no problem. Thanks for uh, coming up. Uh, duh. What the hell? Anyway, uh, that's done. And that was the last one. All right. Then I believe that is a stream. Well, for no, it's not a stream until I disband the party. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> no. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, and now to see stuff. how much company seals we ended up getting for this because we are getting ready to also start on our relic and uh the thing i'm gonna say right now if you're thinking of joining me for the heaven sword relic grind it starts oh i'm actually capped on poetics fucking i might as well show it off now so let's see here let me go to idle shower let's see how um, Oh boy, yeah. it, I get to tell you the story of my problems with the grind. Mm -hmm. Alright, hold on. Let me uh, let me get to the, uh, the vendor first. We need 11 more on bright and I'm good to go to the finish table. So, for. There, uh, like uh, Realm Reborn, Heaven Sword also has its own set of relic weapons. Uh, thankfully, most steps are nerfed at this point, and they are nowhere near as arduous as any of the worst shit from Arami Born, so you don't have to worry about farming nine books or um, double light farms. It's just one light farm from my recollection. And most, if not all, the items available for the, every step can be bought with Poetics. Um, so in this case, like off screen with this character, I've been slowly accumulating the items that you need for the relic. So whenever you're capped off on Poetics, which is 2000, you should be spending them on items for your relic if you're planning on joining me for this one. So just to give you guys a heads up, 10 of each of, you want 10 of the identifiable bone, the shell, the ore, six aether oils, 50 singing clusters. We need 15 new mites, which means we gotta buy one more of those. Uh, 60 umbrites, cause that's the bare minimum you need. Uh, and we also need some crafting items uh, that we can get from uh, fucking uh, Grand Company Seals. Let me see, can you buy new might with Poetics? Or is that, do we need uh, seals for that? Seals for those. We need seals for that, okay. Yeah. I'm currently staring at it. Let's see how much was it again. Uh, there's also going to be an item that will not, will not show up until we do the Relic quest line itself, but that's fine. We can do that later. Uh, you can. Seals are cheaper. Wait, you can buy uh, new mites with uh, with poetics. I'm not just use the. Sorry, can you show your the chocobo bag one more time? Yeah, uh, one second. Do I stream? I do. Okay, that's gonna be the next time I that. What catches are your you eye? streaming tonight? I'm streaming tomorrow, not tonight. Oh, rip.
Let's see what else. Oh, just for the item numbers. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, 60 Umbrite, 60 singing, uh, 50 singing clusters. Uh, we need 15 new mites, so we gotta get one more of these. Uh, 10 of each of the identifiable items, six Aether Oils. Yeah, uh, it's not something you're doing all in one fell swoop. You, you, you're doing it over the course of like just doing content. But I'm giving the heads up now. If you're planning on joining me for the relic grind, you should be getting these items in the back burner just so that we can speed through along. You know, thankfully, Heaven, Heaven Sword's relic steps are not nearly as fucking bad as uh, Realm Reborn. That said, it's still a bit of a grind, though. It's not going to be all hunky dory because we still got to do a lot of shit. Uh, I will say, yeah, I did have a worse sad. time doing the Heaven's Ward relic than I did the AR relic. Really? And, and I did them both on content. Oh, man. Oh, God. Uh, I'll say this now. Uh, the crystal grind, one crystal refused to drop for a whopping seven hours of straight grinding. Um, Wait, were, you were there with me, weren't you? Uh, for the light grind? No, no, that was... Um, no, I... It was Ignis, uh, and it was somebody else i don't know but we we grinded the light step when it was relevant for 14 hours straight yeah uh like, and you were loopy. uh I, I, I was fucking miserable the, uh after the crystal after the my time with the crystal like that that, that long grind hmm. with the crystal without it dropping once uh while seeing my friends get all their crystals in that same amount of time i'm like i'm never doing this ever again don't and since then, I've never, I, <laughs> like, I've never, like, after that, I've never done the uh, relic ever again. Well, I never like, committed that, that hard to that a particular step after that because that was just mm -hmm. fucking bad. It was dumb. Um, you, uh, the items that you need for poetics, you cannot buy off the market board. You have to spend poetics on them. Blue Dino. You cannot buy singing clusters, umbrites, the identifiable items, all that stuff. You have to spend poetics on that. Uh, but the thing is, it's poetics. You get these just by fucking blinking, <laughs> you know, like it's so easy to cap on boy. You do your roulettes like you, you'll be swimming in that shit. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of items to trade in. All right, let's see. So you yeah. guys are probably going to get a little sick of the Overwhelm Reborn duty complete theme. I've been hearing it for the past minute. I've been turning to my stuff as well. Yeesh. Sonny, I'll go put a shirt on. Please don't do this. There are children here. <laughs> and if you're children, if you're up, go to sleep. Yeah, fucking um, if you wanna if you wanna get poetics fast, Alliance Roulette, main scenario, I think is the one that gives you the most. Yep. Um uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 roulette dungeon. They need to give that a different name. Um, especially by the I time we get did. to 7.0. I yeah, saw the relics for Heaven Sword relics are difficult to get. No. No relic is difficult to get. Like, that kind of drove me nuts because there was there was a fucking discussion number 782 about why the Mandeville relic quest lines are boring and bad because they say that the relics should be hard to get. And I'm just laughing at myself. I was like, relics were never hard to get. They're, They're just tedious. Too. They're just time yeah. consuming. They're just tedious, not difficult. Fuck out of here. <laughs> they're, confu they're confused and tedious with difficulty. With difficulty, it is. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah. no. Also, hmm. well, to be fair, I'm also that kind of person that I'm like, why do they make the relic into the Manderville quest? I don't know. Uh, but I, I look at that as the reason why they just made it tome dumps. Like, every step of the Unwalker uh, relic line is just tome dumps. And you know what? That's fine because I think the justification for this one is that you have to do all of Manderville and even to do it. Yeah. It sucks. It's like I only did Manderville just to get the two. two well, technically, is it three now? Like, par, uh, fights you get? Uh, yeah, two in uh, Roman Born, one in Stormblood. No, and then yeah, yeah, and like I only did it just to get those three, just to get just to get them through my fucking thing. I never yeah. really liked the Manderville, and people hate me for that. I'm like, I just didn't find them funny. They were entertaining, yeah, but they were like they're not the end all be all, I guess. All right. So the thing that we want to buy with company seals. Uh, that required for the relic. Let me check here. Uh, is, there we go. Uh, it, it might be in a different uh, tier, but we no, want it should to. Be there. Yeah, no, is it a uh, no? Is it um fucking uh, going to material? Materials, right? No, no, no. Um, over here, materials. I think you also need to be you also need to be at a certain rank with your grand company in order to gain access to some of these wares. Yeah, you need to at least be. Uh, hold on, it's second flame lieutenant. Uh, no. I just I just watched collecting it the other day. 
Going uh, to the... What's up? Hold on, I'm checking out right now. Because I know I just grabbed a bunch of them. Uh, let's see. One second. Okay, go to the sergeant class ones. Go into material, not materials. No, it's in, ma it's in materials. Okay. Wait, there's nothing in materials. Yeah, it's in material in serpent lieutenant ones. Oh, you're, um, you're Limsa. Yeah. Well, in, in going to the... Go, go is it the second, the, is it the first, second, or third tab? Third. Third? Okay. And it's in materials, you said? Materials. Yeah, it is, um... I'm pretty sure it's these four right here. Uh, no, 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 no. It's... No. What it's, is it? It's king cake. Okay. And it's the alloy mirror, titanium. The Adam, Adamant. the Adamantite Frances uh, Frank... Seska and the dispelling yeah, and arrow. Yeah, those you need. How many of each? Four. Four each. Okay, so you need four king cake, four titanium alloy mirror, four adamantite, and four dispelling arrows. Yep, that's what you need. All right, uh, then I'm uh, just gonna buy. And you also need a uh, feminine knight, which you can get there. The new might, the last new might, I'm gonna get last. Okay. I already have it already. Gonna add those to the saddlebag. Yeah. I think originally this needed to be high quality items too. Then yeah, they, uh, they, they nerfed they that. Up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, thankfully that doesn't matter anymore. Crying. Um, but yeah, uh, we won't we'll, we won't be starting that uh, next session, uh, but we will be starting it soon. Yeah. Um, so, uh, next Final Fantasy fourteen session, folks, then, because it's the month of October, we are going to start Palace of the Dead. <laughs> Fucking be scared. Yeah, I don't know I'm saying that. Uh, scared me. But yeah, so Palace of the Dead is a 200 floor fucking, I guess, roguelike. Uh, Ish ish sort of thing where it has its own leveling system. Uh, it has its own set of actions. It is a great means of leveling alternate classes if you haven't done so already. In fact, I'm going to be using that as an excuse to level summoner uh, for Romani. Uh, and it's it should be a fun time. It's good. I'm going to be running a set comp with that, though, so uh, I do apologize. That's not going to be like first come, first serve, uh, because I do want to reach 200, a uh, floor 200 with Romani, and that requires the utmost dedication and practice and folks who oh, have done it for a living. So that said, uh, it's going to be myself, it's going to be Ray, it's going to be Editha, and it's going to be Linky if he can make it. And if not, then Trills take it's over. It's going to be May. It's going to be May. <laughs> uh, but that should be pretty fun. Um, we're, also, we're also not going to be doing that in a session as a heads up because Plows of the Dead, like from zero to 200, is <laughs> that's more than an all day endeavor. We're probably going to be breaking that up into at least two or three sessions. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> it's got to be Kane. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that should be pretty fun. <laughs> I have to get in contact with these guys so to make sure that they're all good to go. Uh, for it's probably we're probably gonna start next week. Um, but yeah, folks, thank you all for tuning in and uh, joining me. I'm sorry about the webcam issues for today. I just don't I don't know what's fucking causing it today. I don't know why because like I was I was I was using Gibson, OBS. Gibson photos are funnier. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. But yeah. um, thank you very much uh, for uh, tuning in and joining me for today's stream. Uh, let's find someone to raid. Uh, uh, let's oh, actually, raise online. So let's oh, go raid Ray. What's oh, so the raid hashtag? Be? Uh, let me see. We need a raid hashtag for Ray. Mm. Patch knows depression. <laughs> depression. <laughs> uh, hashtag depression will be added. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, hashtag depression will be added. Alright guys, uh, send me right my love, give him a follow. He's a good dude. And I will see you guys uh, next time with more Final Fantasy XIV. Have a good night, everybody. Do take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs>